Okay, you know if you hear my voice at the top of the episode, it's going to be something different. <laughs> Quest Love Supreme may contain language that might be uh, offensive to some listeners. It's not work safe, especially this episode. Mom's probably going to disown me. But hey, we have fun doing it anyway. And now, a very special Quest Love Supreme. <laughs> Suprema, su, su, Suprema Roll Call. 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 Quest Love and Crew. Yeah. Your ruined Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Impossible cheesesteak. Yeah. yeah. Impossible chopped cheeses. Roll call. <laughs> Suprema. Su, su, Suprema roll call. Suprema. Su, su, Suprema roll call. My name is Fonte. Yeah. I bring the noise. Yeah. On QLS. Yeah. With the Bodega Boys. Roll call. Suprema. Su, su, Suprema roll call. Suprema. Su, su, Suprema Roll Call. Pandora's cool. Yeah. Showtime 2. Yeah. You want a real network? Yeah. yeah. Season 2. <laughs> roll Call. Suprema. Su, su, Suprema Roll Call. Suprema. Su, su, Suprema Roll Call. Boss Bill Reps BK. Yeah. yeah. Sunrise to Dark. Yeah. One Saw Jesus. Yeah. Takes you Prospect Park. That's true. Roll Call. Suprema. Su, su, Suprema Roll Call. Suprema. Suprema Roll Call. Suprema. Suprema Roll Call. I'm on paid bill. Yeah. That is my name-o. Yeah. Shout out to my Irish brothers. Yeah. We drinking J-Mo. Roll Call. Yes, Suprema. Suprema. Suprema Roll Call. Let's get it. Suprema. Suprema Roll Call. Yo, it's your boy Kid Mero. Yeah. And I got edible arrangements. Yeah. On the way to my arraignment. Yeah. Because every... Yeah. Roll Call. Suprema. Suprema Roll Call. Suprema. Suprema Roll Call. It's DJ Night. Yeah. I be eating rice. Yeah. I'm now on Showtime. Yeah. No longer on where? Roll Call. Suprema. Suprema roll call. Suprema, su, su, Suprema roll call. Suprema, su, su, Suprema roll call. Man, before we get started, before we get started. Everybody that's listening to this, go to the bathroom right now. Right now. <laughs> right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your headphones on when you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't tune out, motherfucker. <laughs> that's just keep and you if sitting you're, on and the stove. If you to the show, I hope you know not to listen to us like at work. Like, at work. Loud. <laughs> at work. Put the headphones on. Headphones you go, on. You're going to be HR Wait, explaining. I, I think we're putting too much pressure on how rogue <laughs> this show's going to be. I'm just giving people fair warning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm it's, saying, it's a know. lot of blackness in here. Yeah. Yo, yeah. It's a lot. Yo, look, man. Yeah. It's about to get real. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, this is going to be one of those episodes oh, yeah. that uh, Buckle I up. tell my mom not to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have the one and only. It's taken so long to make this to happen. Oh, Damn near two years. Two, yeah, yes, bro. this was our dream. This is our dream moment, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Jesus and Muro. To yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Have been talking even before <laughs> we did the theme, yeah. but yeah. What did I walk in on though? Like so uh, many. Things. We were discussing. We was talking about blockbuster. We was talking about uh, oh, yeah, why are we all video games. Rush discussing? hour. Can we talk yeah. about video yeah. games and how it was certain video games that just we couldn't afford. Yeah. So yeah. Like, Neo if you Geo. knew somebody that Neo Geo was like it was the Bitcoin of ninety two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ninety whatever. Like yo. Wait, what is Neo Geo? So Neo Geo was this. It was this. So it was this uh, game console. That this was like what ninety two something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. and um, it had one game. Yeah, and it was, <laughs> oh, Neo it was like a, like a, a game console. Yeah, yeah, game console. Game yeah. for what, console. But what was the game Where called? Where was I? Bonk's Adventure was there. Mario. He was probably in. No, no. Bonk's Adventure was yes, Turbo Graphics sixteen. Oh, was, was it? it? Yeah. yeah. Shit. Oh, Neo Geo was like Fatal Fury, right? With the Neo Geo with, that, with it, the ponytail and fight. Yeah, I think it was that one. But it was this crazy expensive. Like yeah, thing, you could. Normal people didn't have it. Yeah. Yeah. At all. I don't even think legally you could buy it. White people bought it. Yeah. You yeah. own one? I did not. No. But other ones. You knew people, oh, you knew people that had sure. some? For sure. He's like, I knew several. It was like a dishwasher. I, 
I had several friends. What was like even the drug dealers in my neighborhood didn't have Neo yeah. Geo. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about Neo what Geo, was what was so special? The thing about Neo Geo is that they had the Neo Geo machines in the arcade where you could mm-hmm. play the games. Oh, uh, and you could finish the game at home. Yeah. yeah. See, that's too much Wait, flex. What? That's too much. Oh, you rich, rich. Yeah. 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 It mean my, my meat, my meat voice. <laughs> Are you rich, rich? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you saving the shit at the arcade and then taking it home? Oh, okay. Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. You're saying 1992. There's a game I could play at. An ar- well, there's still arcades in 1992. Did you take yeah. it home on a floppy yeah. disk? I can't. I don't. I nah, it was like I wasn't a, rich. I don't know how it worked. <laughs> yeah, no, it was so just, how, just something we knew. Yeah. How would you finish your game at home? I guess because you had the console. It was like the first SD card type shit. Yeah. 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 So you just put the card in the machine at home, and then you would just finish the game. And the way the way my parents got out of not buying that, that was like that's a Babylon thing. You can't. (laughs) (laughs) There's no way that arcade can know what's going on. Where the hell was I when this? In '92, man, you You was was like in Europe or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like now, I gotta. You was you was you was out here doing th- doing big things, making videos and shit. You know what I'm saying? You like pass the popcorn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> See you want more? Huh? I feel like the whole episode is gonna be like this. You guys are gonna just talk about man shit that I've never experienced. <laughs> <laughs> so none of y'all had Neo Geo. No, nope. yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I think for me it ended after I had the, the regular Nintendo, yeah. and then I didn't make it to Super Nintendo, but I, I did get Super Sega Nintendo. Genesis. Sega I had Genesis. 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 That was yeah. like a, yeah. that that was a parallel move, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was a parallel Nintendo move. To, yeah. And then from now on, I don't think I jumped back on it until well, uh, I got, PS1. I, yeah. PS1. I got back yeah. in around Dreamcast. You know what? Dreamcast, Dreamcast really really good. Game changer. Yeah. I still have my. Yeah. Yeah. It, still, it still works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, I bought the Dreamcast, and then a week later they announced they were discontinuing. Damn. Yeah, That's the wild. Dreamcast and thing was they were the first to get there with the online. Like they were, they was a game. They had the 2K with the wild poly guy hands when you see your free throws. Niggas tap each other up like that. Like, now we laughing, but back then we was like. Yo, yo, yeah. yo, amazing. yo, you can see all five of Kobe's fingers. Yo, yo. that's wild, B. This is wild. Yo. They are never going to top yeah. these graphics. Yeah, yeah. I've never, I would not, I can admit, I spend a lot of time watching game playthroughs on YouTube, mm-hmm. like games that like I've never got to beat. Yeah. You're like an eight-year-old? I, just see how they do it? No, I watch. There's you like want to see the dude, ending? Yeah, there's a dude that beat Metroid in like... 20 minutes. Yeah. Wow. Nigga, I never would have did that shit. <laughs> never, <laughs> hey, bro. To this day, I go back and I play Nintendo games I used to, I didn't mm-hmm. finish as a kid. And I'm like, these I'm games is hard. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They did that shit on purpose because it was like, yo, let's make this shit dumb hard because we don't know what to do at the end. <laughs> like, we don't know how to end this shit, how to wrap it up. So let's just make it. And it would just be words on the yeah. screen. Yeah. yeah. Like, like the Japanese. The Mario Brothers with their castle, crazy like, I'm, I'm learning that now. Now, I'm feeling like I'm bringing up the ancient games because yeah. how I discovered Jack well, no, no, no. Not Track and Field? You, no, you Dragon's like, Lair 2. Oh, okay. Dragon's Lair 2. What was I that? got it's, it's a sequel. It's, it's the sequel to, well, you, you remember the to original Dragon's, Dragon's Lair? Lair, right? Yeah, yeah. They came out with the second one. Okay. Wait, Dragon's Lair 2, you said? Yeah. That, that, oh, the one that was on the laser disc? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. It, but it's, it it's on the app now. You can play it on You can play laser disc. You can play Space Ace. It was one of the most expensive video games ever made because they thought they thought people would pay to play it at home on a laser disc. Yeah. And not the little, the big, yeah, like a frisbee. Frisbee. Yeah. Like a frisbee. Wild. Wow, that's wild. And that's your, was, I thought you were talking about Sega CD for a second. Well, I'm saying now you can play it on uh, your, your iPhone. Okay. And for some reason, I still can't master, uh, I can't get to the end. Oh, yeah. those games are impossible, dog. It's yeah. killing Those me. games are impossible. Yeah. Like, I was playing uh, Super Mario Odyssey, which is like the new Super yeah. Mario I for, for Switch. That and I, that, I, I, I rocked that shit, but there's like parts that. of You recommended it, that to me. Yeah. There's, there's parts of it where it turns into the first Mario. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. And then I was wow. like, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, bro, nah. Like, this is, <laughs> like, wait a minute, wait a this is triggering. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I'm like, yo, I started sweating and shit. Like, no, no, no. I get the shit at my son. Like, yo, you do this shit. You're PTSD. <laughs> yeah. Wait, up. there's a hidden screen that takes you back to. So, like, in, in a certain level, in certain oh, levels, I know you go through a pipe. It's all the D's. Yeah. 4D, 2D, 3D, 8D. It's all fucked up. Mad D's. It's like, there's all wild D's. Everywhere. You gotta watch out for all the D's. You know what I'm saying? Trust what I just said. So, are you guys still active game players? Yeah, yeah. I try yeah. to be. I try like, to be. Yeah. Like I bought, I bought the Switch about what two years ago now, and I haven't played it in like about six months. Yeah. No, I, I got, got it for my really? kids, and I play more than them. So do I. Oh, we're, yeah. we're still on there. Yeah. Call of Duty. Um, oh yeah. You PS4. I'll be on Call of Duty, and you know what? I'm nice with it. So like I'm. 
like torturing sixteen year old kids, it's, and the name, my name is clearly Jesus online. It's not hiding it. Right. So kids, like some kid was so like, he was like, that's why you lost your show. I was like, that's why I quick scoped you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's wrong? Yo. You on the, you on a uh, PS4 or Xbox? Uh, Xbox. You Xbox? Okay, I'm PS4. You know what's funny? Like, I thought, my son is. I thought I was popping, and I saw a tweet from Ice T because someone was like, yo, what game system do you play? He was like, both. I was like, wow. No, but I did the same shit because my man was like, my man was like, yo, you, yo, you gotta get off that Xbox shit. That shit is corny. You gotta get on PS4. I was like, and then, and then he, I guess he made a plan with my wife to get it for Christmas. Yeah, so yeah. I got it for Christmas, and it's lit now. I was just like, wow, this is. This so is which different. of the Xbox and PS4, which one is the iPhone and which one is the green box? Shit. <laughs> oh, like, which, man. What, you know what? I was Android? like, I never like I bang with PlayStation One. And then I really fuck with no more Tekken, that was my yeah. Tekken, that Tekken. was yeah. PS2, Tekken. that was my thing. Because yeah. I had that, was GTA 3 and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And God of War, that was when I jumped on uh, that joint. God of War that, that first so God of War was damn. Oh, that so but the first Xbox, remember the first stuff? Xbox? That shit was yeah, like was two bricks of coke. It was so loud. I had one of those. Shout out a fucking F-18 exhaust fan. It sounded like when the JetBlue plane backs up. No, man. I had one of those, and I think I probably turned it on maybe three times. You turned it on like this. First, like, wow. An Xbox? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The original Xbox? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah,
Wait, are, are they from Philly? You know, I, I, they I, might be. Hey, I think, they I might heard, be. I, no. heard they I, I believe, I believe uh, I think Black so. Thought is from Reading. Newark. Yeah. No. <laughs> stop. stop. No, I think he's from the Black Thought's from the I think Black Thought lives in South Orange now. I knew I was in trouble because I was in the Bronx, and I'm saying John. And I'm like, everyone's like, what is that? I was like, I don't know. This is saying it, and I'm saying it now. I was living in Indiana running a website called The John. The John. The John. Yep. That's wild. Yeah, I'm sorry. You, I, actually, yo, you know what's up? Yeah, I know. All right. I so no choice now. every time I, I, went, some gr- I went to your speaking of Philly, I went to Shut your recommendation spots. You you told me where to get uh, the chopped cheese, a chopped cheese. Wait, uh-huh. where we're going soon. And, and, where, 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 where? and you told me. Yeah, right. So check it. In fact, like, it was yeah. it was after a Saturday night live tape. It was like uh-huh. two in the morning. Yeah. And I was like. I wonder if I should hit up that spot now. Now, of course, you know, I pulled up to the joint. I Wait, did. in Philly? It's still Paul. No, no. Chopped cheese. Chopped cheese, New York. <laughs> Chopped oh, cheese, New okay. York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Sorry. Yeah, so I went to the spot, and first I cased the place out from inside the car to make smart, sure I was smart. Cool. <laughs> well, you told me. Good move, good move. God, you, that's that's he, the first move. You told me. Keep your head um, on swivel. But it's weird. <laughs> it's it's the, the, the spot you told me is quasi-gentrified now. Which one? Uh, it okay. Uh, granted, it was across the street from a project. Yeah. Uh, the spot could be judged by as long as the cat is there and the <laughs> owner is not American, you'd be good. It, yeah. it was somewhere between Spanish Harlem and Mid Harlem. Was there the a side. twenty dollar bill autograph taped to the wall? <laughs> <laughs> no, Who, dog. It was, a, it was a legit chopped cheese steak spot. Yeah. You gave me the spot, and I like I, I waited till two in the morning to try. It. You know what? I'm not mad at the chopped cheese thing. There you go. I'm not mad at it. You're not mad. You know what the thing is? Like, we, like Philadelphia people, will kill me for yeah, saying yeah, that. Like, it's not, real, it doesn't, it, real it's not comparable to anything in Philly, but it does the trick for yeah. the inner city. It gets you through it. It's, it you know, it's the perfect drunk meal. It's yes. perfect. Like, it's, 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 like, it's, like a, it's like a Bronx burrito. Be like, yeah. you got everything See, but then in there. For, for our listeners in Iowa, could you actually explain what a chopped cheese is? It's like two. It's like you take a cheeseburger, like a burger patty, yeah, mm-hmm. but and just chop, chop it, it down. Chop it up on the grill. Throw some adobo, adobo on there. Throw some salt, you know what I'm saying? Go through the whole Goya aisle. But the key to it is Poppy got to use the oil that he used. In the morning to fry the bacon. To fry the bacon. Yeah, come on, man. You know that's right. Yeah. And if he don't toast the bread, he don't respect. He, he don't respect that's, you that's at all. Oh, right word. Yeah. yeah. Oh. If he just if he just grab a bowl, because they loaf. asked me if I wanted to toast it. You gotta get it toasted. We don't toast. A yeah. cheese yeah. thing Let's rolls. go. You gotta toast it. Yeah. We don't. That's right. And then what well, kind of what kind of cheese did you get? Um. See, in Philly, we Judgment. use American cheese. Nah, man. You yeah, gotta you use the triple pepper pepper jack. Well, no. Listen, I was gonna say I only use. Pepper Jack cheese. In Philly, we use American cheese, but I use Pepper Jack cheese. If your so. butthole is not quivering the next day and you shit it out, that was not a good chop. Yeah. If you're not naked on the toilet, sweating like, woo! But I'm going to tell you something. Mr. Point. You got to remember that. I'm going to tell, tell you something. Uh-oh. There's a spot in Brooklyn. Okay. Williamsburg of all places. Oh. Williamsburg is tricky. Gentrified it's chopped cheese. super official with their chopped cheese. Where, is, where, is it where, a gentrified where, spot or is it still like a hood spot? Mm, it's Williamsburg. It's Williamsburg so it's kinda, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You, you, know t- you talk. You talking about neighborhood. Where? 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 Uh, let me find it on my phone. Yeah, would, Williamsburg is weird because like which phone? you'll see like an old school bodega and you go inside and like they're just selling penicillin for real on the bread. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what, what is this? <laughs> Fam, if you like, you turn the corner and there's eight Dominican dudes drinking shit out of styrofoam cups and you don't yeah. know what it is. You know what I'm saying? And then you turn the next corner, there's a dude on a bike with no brakes and a, and a handkerchief. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what? How did that? Where, where am I? <laughs> Wait, since we talking about hood survival food, so what is the status of Ghostface always talks about nutriment oh, and a turkey yeah. sandwich? Okay. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo, 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 you got to be careful with the nutriment. Yeah, the nutriment, you got to. That's it, like okay, what, is, what is a nutriment? Okay, nutriment is, is, is a meal replacement. A meal replacement. Drink. But it's and also, the thing is, it's, you know, saying, you, know, you, it's, you yeah. think it's like cool. It's like, oh, it's I like can get shake. a meal. It's like yeah. a shake. It's a shake, but, but it's, in it's the a hood, crackhead it's, shake. It's, it's for it's people, a who, have <laughs> for people who have compromised Ooh. immune yes. systems drink nutriment. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, so people yeah. see you drinking a nutriment, they're they like, yo, shorty got the bug. Da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? on the low. If you see a motherfucker standing in front of daytime drinking a nutriment or insure, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know something ain't right. Whoa. 
Are you saying they're mules or like what do you? No, it's just like it's using, <laughs> it's, 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 no, it's, it's, they were on NBA Jam. It's someone who like they, they, <laughs> they lived through the eighties, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they lived through the streets. They had a good time. They had a good time. Code word. Now they got in their life together. They want to live to see their grandkids. That's right. They were in the cast of that's right. And now they had a life based on Tyler Perry. You know, I was wilding, but I found Jesus. I found Jesus. I also had sex with Stevie B. <laughs> <laughs> He was on tour. And That's no it. Freestyle Fresh was wild. Before I left freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> He's performing at the skating rink. You know what? What is the CDB? You know what? I believe that there's a freestyle uh, festival, festival whatever, like coming every year. to Radio City Music Hall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they do and they sell out every year. Yeah. I did not, not realize... Though. What God status Stevie B has? Oh, yeah, was, if you want to have sex with a forty-plus year old Puerto Rican woman, you need to fuck with Stevie B. If you don't fuck with Stevie B, you got no chance. If you if you trying to smash Titi Yvette, they got the oh. Betty Boop tattoo right here. Titi Yvette, yeah, yeah. and the Titi Rodney. You know what I'm saying? The two the two eyes on the on the low back, the Yankee logo, yeah. 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 With, logo. with the Puerto Rican flag yeah. in it. So, are you saying you got you got to sing the Postman song to her or some shit? You gotta say like, I wanna be the one. Yeah. In this, this is the most New York conversation. <laughs> well, oh, ever. this is so here's good. Here's the wild part. Dude, Hot 97 used to be an yeah, all yeah, freestyle yes. channel. Yes. Are no you serious? Hop. Just freestyle. Yeah. Like people used to call it in the Bronx. They'd be like, that's play that meet on meet music. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. What? Oh, he got slow jams. Uh, See, he got slow jams too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some R. Kelly shit. Got classics. Or... Oh, jeez. Yeah, we was here, I was hearing Stevie B being in Indiana, yo. Nah, you gotta put yeah. Stevie B. Is not the right I wanna DPM. be the one. That's his joint. I, I wanna, wanna be the one. The yeah. one. That's his. That's his. Like hear that? Yeah. I didn't oh, even okay. know I had this. this yeah, I was about to say you got this. This says a lot about battle? you and your four year old Puerto Rican women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're late in love with Puerto Rican yeah. grandmas. We about to come out in the wild. I have eighty ah. thousand songs in my DJ thing, and apparently I have. And Ooh, 40 two, Puerto Rican I have 20 Stevie B songs I never knew I had. <laughs> well, I am on a baby shower. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> I'm having uh, fun. My so good. Suck, my Congratulations on your Hey, Sasha, come on, man. In a two inch heels. I'm campaigning for the J Lo wedding. If I oh. play this, oh. are you in there? Am I fishing? You, and she's dancing right now. <laughs> <laughs> she's dancing right now. She don't know why. Her ears are ringing and she's just like. <laughs> If Alex, you, what is that? If you play this at the J-Lo wedding, A-Rod's going to put down the bouquet that he caught and uh, start dancing. <laughs> 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 you got you to play this with like, some TK. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 He was a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some cover That's girls. every narrative. That was a drug, yeah. You got to have some Brenda K. Star. You got to have some cover girls up in the seven. Brenda K. Star. Brenda K. Star blew my mind when she did that song. I thought she was straight freestyle, but then she did a song with KRS-One and Mad Lion. What? Whoa. I had a cassette single for. Yes. Really? Yes. Whoa, Brenda K. Star, KRS-One, Mad Lion. That shit slaps. I don't remember what the name of it was. <laughs> but if you throw that shit on right now, I will roll a Philly <laughs> and smoke some reg that regular like, that ass That sounds weed. like hip-hop, brother. You feel me? Babbit, that sounds like hip-hop. That, that, that shit is hip-hop, hip-hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My the table start doing a head spin. You know what I'm saying? All that. Holy shit. Okay, for, for it's called look? Double Trouble. Du I'm there you go. That's crazy. What, what year it's, was It's on a Mad Lion album. Okay. Oh, that's why we didn't get it. Yes, exactly. Was that nervous? Nervous Records? Nervous Records. Oh, by the way, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, wait, real, real quick. Um, I don't know if I ever told y'all a story about when Tariq and Malik got arrested at Millersville right before we went on stage. Nope. No. Because of Mad Lion? Well, okay, real quick. <laughs> He's like, shoot to kill. Every day. Every day. It was the Millersville Homecoming Show, 1995, The Roots of Mad Lion. And who's headlining? Uh, we were because okay. Tariq. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1995. You gotta ask. You gotta ask. You gotta ask. So here's the deal: Tariq and Malik. Tariq and, Ma uh, Tariq and Malik were Millersville students. Okay. So they they, they try to play this up as like the the the, the homecoming, yeah, like the return yeah. of our very own. Now here's the thing: when they were students at Millersville, it, maybe it was some sort of uh, last day of school revenge mission on like one of the campus cops or something. I don't know. It could have been a bucket of water over the door. <laughs> could have been egging of a house. Whatever happened back in 1991 on like, yo, last day of school, man, we going to get. They got whatever revenge on whatever correctional officer that was the campus police person. Right. Oh, wow. And 
they've been marking the days off in the book when like when they come, come back, back to school. So at least they have faith that they would become stars and come back. Literally, the president was like, I'm out here, you know, I'm very proud to bring back our own. Uh, Malik, uh, uh, Malik uh, Abdul Bassett and Tariq Trotter, no, uh, known as the Roots. And as soon as they came out stage, the cops just came on stage wow. and like arrested them. Wow. It took them. On stage. Thus forcing Matt Lyon to come back out and redo his entire set. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? You know what? I'm going to do this one acoustic. <laughs> she <laughs> was literally waiting that whole time. Wow. Like, oh, as soon as they I come on wait. stage, I'm going to walk out and arrest them. I'm going to try your ass right off this stage, Tariq. Yeah. <laughs> Probably do the wild, whack goddess concert joke like that, too. So the whole point was that, yeah, I seen a Mad Lion concert twice. Wow. <laughs> in the same night. In the same BDP, day. Same set. BDP crew. <laughs> he was mad clever, though. He always started his show off with, we are taping a lot. He said, I'm, I'm recording my live album. So oh, make a lot of noise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's smart. Like, wow. That's smart. My dumb that's ass fell for it. And I was like, yo, we should tell everybody we're doing a live album every time. You know. <laughs> what? Okay, I break this down for me as a, as a Jamaican, uh, Brother Jesus. You're what is it with Jamaicans and animals? Because, like. <laughs> No, not that, because that was just always the thing, like, because in the South, I mean, we would have dance hall sets, yeah, right. and, you know, and yeah. we'd go out, whatever, but it was just, I just always thought of them as like, yeah, that's the animal niggas. Yeah. Like, it was always, it was mad lion, tiger, man. Okay, because like, the lion is like the lion. Mad cobra. And mad all cobra. No, it was, it was all the, it was, it was the zoo niggas. I was like, man, <laughs> the zoo niggas. And then a lot, a lot of our culture is about, like, fucking like animals, and you okay. see those dancers. I see, I see, see the dancers. Yeah. You see the dancers. I, I watched You, you wonder why the, the island is not overpopulated, but. Fam, you okay. gotta watch. You gotta watch the movie Rude Boy. It's a movie. Okay. It's, a, it's a straight to DVD movie called Rude Boy. I don't know. I picked you it up. Me a straight to DVD. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> straight to DVD. Shout to Vix Music. Huh? I scooped that shit up with the big pun like documentary that was oh, like uh, basically wow. just like his wife being yeah, like, "Yo, he, he was beat wild. My ass. He beat my ass. Like this motherfucker used to eat sheet rock. That all type of crazy. <laughs> Wait, <shit>. what? <laughs> Yo, yeah, this is documentary. Eat yes. Sheet rock. Yeah, fam. <laughs> Oh, he's hungry. What? Like, yo, like, yeah, like he would just wild out and just like t tear a piece of sheetrock off a wall and yeah. he's wild. They had the beating us up there talking like, yo, he came through through one time. He had a gun under his titty, like all this wild <laughs> stuff. Yeah, like, Penn was wild. They, this wild bro, he was like, like, he, like all those stories like are dead <laughs> ass real. Like, nah, I, I heard real. the stories. I've heard, I've heard stories about. I remember going yeah. to like a teen at Jimmy's Bronx Cafe, RIP Jimmy's Bronx Cafe. No, not and really. He not rest. <laughs> <laughs> that shit end. <laughs> it was a good time. All bad things come. I was out there with my Durango yeah. boots. You know what I'm saying? That was my formal shoe. Or the or the wild beast. The wild pop, wild parasukos with the stripe on the side. You feel me? And Pun and Joe came out and they started doing twins. But Punk wow. came out and Joe came out first, like, yeah, mm -hmm. motherfucker. Ah. Man, animated. Da, da, da. Punk comes out, puts a stool down in front of the mic. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Wow. But he was just wow. in the stool the whole time, but everybody was like, ah! ah! <laughs> <laughs> Niggas moshing in Durango boots and shit, like, ah! <laughs> we all 15 and shit, wilding the fuck out. So, then we got in the cabin, went to the TikTok diner and bounced on a bill. <laughs> <laughs> before, before, uh. before Dice were all got on adrenaline. When mm -hmm. things fall apart, pun was oh, supposed wow. to be in that slot. Wow. Uh -oh. And for some reason, like he called the studio twice. We were waiting for him to come and do his thing. And he called and he's on speakerphone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I mean, you know, one in the morning at least. Like, you know, we're still here. We're working on another song. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, it, it's okay. I was shocked. I knew it was like a Charlie Brown. You know what I'm saying? It's like we, we two bears naked in the woods. You can't look at our asses. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then around 12, but based on the tone, and then around 12, I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, we got to turn the record in. So, you know, da -da -da -da. Wow. and that was it. That was it. Wow. That was the wow. Yeah. Damn, adrenaline was a trap. Beans on that? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. Ooh, fish. I remember I heard that because, you know, like off the root shit, I was like, yeah, this. I was like, wow, it's nice Neil Soul Spit or whatever. The <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a Neil, I think it's a Neil Soul. Right. Then I heard the album, I was like, oh, he, oh, he with the crack crack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Clean, clean the house to uh, incense. Bruh, Neil Soul. Wait, I'm can I ask something? Okay. Uh, uh, 
I vowed that I wasn't going to do any business uh, talk, but oh. I'm curious, and for, you know, for our listeners that are listening, how did you two meet? High school, uh, so summer we, school in New York City. Summer school. The thing oh. is, okay, in New York City, like you can go whatever high school, whatever. They have like maybe five summer schools for each borough. Summer school is not really about going to school. It's going to hang with your friends that you hung with in the school year. <laughs> also, the reason why you're in summer school in the also, first place. Also, that's where the chicks is at. Yeah, oh, that too. So we go, go to, we're hanging You go to summer, summer school, school for failing anything. Yeah. You can fail gym. I used to cut gym all the time because they gave me square dancing. True story. I had yeah, square wow. dancing in the gym yeah. too. I had square yeah, dancing in yeah, gym. I was yeah. like, fuck this shit. I'm going to go. Hoop square dancing? Yeah. Facts. That used to be a big thing in uh, Facts. And it was like a real. But the teacher didn't give a fuck. He never did shit. He's like, I ain't no fucking square dancing gym, motherfuckers. So I was like, fuck this. I'm going to go next door to the gym and hoop with my friends. So I would just fail gym and then have to go to summer school because I failed gym. So we weren't we weren't even friends then, but we were like friends adjacent. Like I knew people that hung with him, but I wasn't like, yo, that's my He's like, yo, that must be. That's the dude that be with my man. That's you know what I'm saying. I was like, personally, that's a very loud Dominican, and I hope when he grows up, he (laughs) turns it down. But I took gym in summer school one year because I didn't want to take it during the regular year. Mm -hmm. It's it's wild easy. It's like it's like it's like when you get. Not for something, and you get community service, and the dude that's running the community service is wild cool. Mm-hmm. And he just let you sign in and bounce. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he just be like, "Yo, come back around five and sign out." Well, wait, I mean, it's, 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 it's the middle of summer, so yeah. we was we was doing swimming. So you know, oh, it's swimming yeah, in the yeah, summer, yeah, yeah. and so I'm you're getting, forced to swim in the summer. Yeah. What? Give me yeah. that. I miss getting into Bronx High School science by three points, Damn. and they said you can do this summer school program all summer, mm-hmm. and we'll let you go in. And my parents was like, well, I guess you're going. I was like, you thought? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go run the streets with my hoodlum friends. We might have met earlier if we went to Bronx <laughs> Science. Because you're just, you Cl- robbing me? Clinton was right next to my school. Clinton was right next to Bronx Science. And that shit was like a buffet. I was oh, like, I must have got like four North Face jackets off them. <laughs> 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 Bronx Science is like the creme de la creme of New York. So it's like yeah. all these smart Sm- kids. Super and smart they have like, kids and so they got responsible parents. They have like North Face jackets. Is that where what's, what's his name went? Uh, uh. Yes. MSNBC. Uh, Chris Hayes. Chris, Chris Hayes. Hayes. Yeah, I went yeah. to school with him. Yeah. Are you Chris serious? Hayes is was... the nexus of many things yes. I've learned. Chris Hayes. I was at Chris Hayes. I was in school with Chris Hayes from second grade to, I want to say, seventh grade. We were in the Extremely Gifted program. It was a magnet school for extremely. really. Extremely. Extremely. Like some X-Men <laughs> shit. Oh, like we were <laughs> So you were like a little bit. So, so you were what they were called a nerd. It was OD I, smart. It was yeah. like, <laughs> it, was a ner- it wasn't so much nerd stuff because we were in regular schools. Okay. So you couldn't be a nerd in a regular school. And I'll say this to say this. Nobody ever punked Chris Hayes at school. No, we, Chris Hayes went to a all-black school with Co-op City in the Bronx. And Chris Hayes was cool <laughs> with everybody. No so one's Chris Hayes now. Now everyone in MSA, everyone was like, Chris Hayes was getting, but I was like, oh, Chris Hayes had girls in love with him. He was like the cool kid. He was like, <laughs> like yo, he's a, nerd. he's a nerd. He's a nerd. Oh, he's being nerd. highly, uh, uh, <laughs> he was being modest on our show? Yeah. yeah. No, oh, Chris Hayes okay. was cool. He was a quarterback. He's like a Lynn Nexus. Oh, he's okay. A, yeah, because yeah, yeah. after he went left my school, went he went to Hunter and with yeah. uh, Lynn Manuel and uh, Immortal Technique. Immortal Immortal Technique. Technique. Yeah. And, and did you did you have the Immortal Technique bullying recite hip hop versus thing? Yeah. Did you have that? No. Came, when he came oh. on the old show, he told us he was like, "Yeah, I put that motherfucker in the trash can." Because they would recite Black Moon verses. Yeah, that's oh that. <laughs> that's hip hop. That's hip hop. Police yeah, somebody. On. Look, if you, if your album came out in the '90s and the title was not misspelled, you're not real hip hop. Absolutely. No, that <laughs> that 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 Who got the props? The shine. Who got the props? D A. You know what I'm saying? D A H. Five M T. What? Evil D A. Whole shot. All right. Crazy. Come on, there is a dark side. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happens to the sound boy? You know what I'm saying? Burial. B U R E I L. Burial. Burial. Matter of fact, I'm getting. I was like, is that a French dessert? Matter of fact, I'm getting super specific, and we're gonna reference when Smith, when Weston became Coco Brothers. Coco Brothers. Coco Brothers. Coco Brothers. Coco Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't put no classic album titles in iPhones. No, nah, nah. iPhone nah. yeah. be like, what the fuck are you trying I to say? I spell them, I spell them correctly. <laughs> yeah. You're like Red Man. There is a dark side. <laughs> <Right. laughs> iTunes is like, ah, I am uh, mad though because now I'm starting to spell fabulous as Dame F A B O. I started, I started doing that about no, like ten I years ago. I spell the word fabulous like his like name. Like, so many first yeah. graders that At the worst spell part, like, I was that nigga. Stuck in your head in his cadence. You're like F A B O L L O U S. Hi, son. <laughs> the worst, the worst shit was ludicrous. And ludicrous. The worst shit was Luda. yeah, not, not only ludicrous, but the first, the worst shit was when I misspelled genuine. Wow. Oh, wow. His name is misspelled. Yeah. yeah I don't know. He's 
spells his name. G I N U W I N E. With a W. With a W. To be fair, though, his real name is Elgin Lumpkin. Lumpkin. I would change my. Rupert Lumpkin. What? Elgin Lumpkin. Elgin Lumpkin. That sounds like the name of one of your Sims. Like. Elgin Lumpkin sounds like. That's not like what niggas change their name to when they scam and shit. Yeah. Nah, that's the dude that made Pony. Yeah, Mickey. Yeah, I'm Elgin Lumpkin. Elgin, I'm just a bachelor. Like, all right, relax, sir. (laughs) Easy, Elgin. (laughs) Wait a minute. I got to say, Missy Elliott, who I didn't realize was active on Twitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, She she didn't creep in my DM. Oh, about the the list. Here we go. Jesus Christ! What what list? list? She wrote me. What list are we she talking about? She wrote me a Quran-sized dissertation <laughs> on why she should be. Or... No, I mean, it, we ended nicely, but I didn't realize, like, Missy Elliott is a person who who won't budge to do a concert unless you're paying the high six right. figures. So I she doesn't w- have to do I that. would think that she'd be reclusive enough to not be on social media. Nah, she nah. Don't Nah. And she tweet at everybody. She's like, yo, give me a million dollars. I learned that lesson. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. So She'll be like, your cat you is cute. I'm like, uh, you got to rewind because that was so, 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 right, so big. Oh, that's right. You've been off of yeah, social media. I've been off okay, social media. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. so, so, so hip-hop, happy. Hip-hop DX or who? who? It was hip-hop DX. They did a, uh, they did like a. They did a troll move. They did, yeah, it was. I mean, so they did a, a list that was like the top 20 female rap albums. And, and so, they didn't put Missy on that list. No. What? Missy was three, two, and off the list. They took Lauren off the list? They took Lauren off the list to saying that, on? Saying that miseducation is R and B. It is. Uh, I mean it, it kind of is. Uh, so wait, what was but the argument? But I think the argument is it's no more R and B than what Missy not is. being a rap album because that album made me a strong black woman. <laughs> <laughs> Freshman year of college, yeah, okay. it did well, the same for me. I was going through it. I was like, yeah. well, I had my press across. Like, still standing me up again. What, what was I on the st- list? That shit made me start my natural. Well, like, Missy, what's the top five? Missy's first three records were like three, two, and one. Wasn't wasn't that? Yeah. And so it wasn't that I was snarking Missy, but I was just like, if you're going to include Missy's albums on this list, then you also have to include Lauryn Hill. But then it's like the whole, what is hip hop? What is not hip hop? Like, I didn't consider Arrested Development a hip hop group. Wait, what were you about to say? <laughs> He's oh, like, I fucking talking. love it. Was that your first rap thing? <laughs> Calm down. Oh, that, I, I, I got to say that. Relax, relax, single. relax yeah, the single. Relax. that are going to make fun of me, Mr. Wendell. Shut the fuck up. Yo, <laughs> shut up. You got Mr. Shut up. Wendell. Shut the fuck up. You got mad nerves. Yeah, we're yeah, just yeah, eye yeah, contact yeah, and it's a problem. Yeah, shut up. You got yo, mad nerves. Yo. Bill pulled up with the kids. Bill. Bill. Bill didn't do shit. I was cheating. I was cheating. Bill. Bill got the wild take me to another place. Tennessee. Tennessee. I love them. They were great. White people love them. White people love them. Level rest development, like white people love Neo Geo. Unpaid Bill, Neo Geo. Yeah. Unpaid Bill. Unpaid Bill got sad when Baba OJ died. Were you? <laughs> were you? Because he the, thought his name was Mr. Wood. <laughs> I said the words arrested development, <laughs> and your whole body language got in substance. Like, it's, you know why? It's because he's white. And he don't know if you're talking about the group or the or show. The show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, are we talking about like Jason Bateman? Are we talking about? Like, are you serious? About the, are you talking about the banana stand? <laughs> so, are we talking about Tennessee? There's, there's always money not, in the banana this, stand. This is not my inner monologue. I know I love it to be like a because you know I got queued up if for you. Dope. Oh, hit it. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, is this I, have great, I have a great story to tell about my randomness. Me. It's about me. Wait, stop talking to the best part. Here we go. My stepmother is Jamaican. It's true. It's true. My stepmother is Jamaican. Yes, so hit it. <laughs> In Jamaican. This is for- <laughs> My, my Wait, do you have a patwa? Hear me now. Hear me now. No. no. Fuck no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, listen, Bill, listen. Bill, I'm Bill. from Long Island. Check it. Check it. We, we Check it. Wait, real quick. Talk to them, Bill. And, and I think I brought this <laughs> yeah. up. I think I brought this up last time. Are all of the uh, Jamaican nannies that are watching kids in my building, dog, and this is not flex. <laughs> I was about to be like, it kind of was. Come to flex. Right, put the guns down. Put the guns down. No, I heard one. One of the kids has a slight accent. Patois. It happens, dude. This Are you saying that this goes from nanny to kid? It does. Yeah. It does. It this- does because my nephew, even though you know my family's Jamaican, no one in my family talks hardcore Jamaican. His nanny does, 
And so, like, my nephew comes to visit me, and he drops some water, and he goes, oh, oh no, oh, no, oh, oh no. Wow. I, was like, I was like, yo, you're a 68-year-old woman that's just <laughs> with the market. Oh, no. Oh, no, so sad, oh. so sad. It is possible. I know that my dad goes to Jamaica with his wife and considers himself a Jamaican wow. in a completely racist way. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I've seen, no. I've seen some it makes me uncomfortable. Like, oh, that's no. for real. What? I love those people. Those people come up to me in the bar. They're like, oh, you're Jamaican? They're like, brother. <laughs> I went, I went once, that. and uh, you know, too Brother, long, listen, too listen. long. I and I has toiled. <laughs> Let me tell you about <laughs> that. I'm like, I went, oh, oh, I went to Sandals. Yeah, amazing. Sandals, yeah. yeah, amazing. <laughs> Okay, okay, man, I went to hedonism the, the worst. Beach, I was about to say, is hedonism If you around? never want to have sex again, go to hedonism. No! <laughs> hedonism is I for heard the people who should not be I didn't know naked. that shit was still, still around. It's terrible. Yeah, it's still around. Yeah. It's, still it's around. the worst. It's not only is that, not only should they not be naked, they're super comfortable with their bodies, and they're trying to get super comfortable with, with yours. your body. Yo, yeah, man. no thanks. Yeah, this is a bunch of fat We got booked twice to play hedonism 3, and I regret it. what? The money was awesome. You should have done wow. it. You stories alone. When you walk, y'all, y'all play for a crowd of full of niggas, motherfuckers. For the when most you walk, part, <laughs> for the most part, how did you not get distracted? It was a little it's chilly. It was a little shit. chilly. They wore like, uh, just, uh, you know, the towels. You did do it. The whole hotel feels like a whole STD. You just want to walk around with like, <laughs> F, like slides on. Uh, you ever go to the strip club and smell like feet and bleach? <laughs> Wow. You know what? That's I, mean, I, I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I took you to that strip club in LA and that's what happened. Yo, sorry. Sweet and Wait. bleach. Not I'm a good combo. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm going to get back to Arrested Development on people. I thought we were moving on. But in the Bronx, what are. Is the Golden Lady still a thing in the Bronx? Nah. nah. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, that was a landmark. Golden Lady's closed down. Sin City is about to be co co yeah. condos. Oh, we, wow. Club W is still there. If you, the listen, if you want to Where's the spot? I hear Bronx still has the greatest strip clubs. That is not true. <laughs> they, they have the <laughs> greatest <laughs> strip clubs. That if is not you true. are trying to commit an armed robbery, yeah. <laughs> number one, hands down. Have you ever seen Queens a strip? You ever seen a, you ever seen a stripper really? wear a North Face yeah. while she's dancing? Where? Oh, wow. Not a North Face. Wait, wait, what? You ever, you ever had a dancer come up to you like, yo, you fuck with hip hop? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's she, the problem. She signed her mixtape like, y'all wrote my name on it, now you gotta buy it. Was she, was she standing out outside of Fat Beats before she got you know the job? Yo, what's up, She what's got what's a up? fucking messenger bag full of vinyls and shit, what's like, up? yo. What's up? Yo, yo. Check, check, yo, yo you my sound we met Eve, this old lady. lady. Like, that was, was back, that was, was back in the day. Like, and shit. Cause New York strip clubs are whack cause you can't, uh, you gotta uh, cover yeah. up a lot of stuff. You it's can't not be fully food. naked. And then once you uh, go to a strip club outside of New York, you never walk you back never, to New yeah. York. <laughs> <laughs> New York strip clubs will have like paella. Like, yeah. damn. Oh, that's wild. Like, that's not what I came here for. Yo, that's a, that's See, this, this is one time, like, you really should be here. Yeah, for strip club like paella? No, because right. she used to work on a strip club. Oh, yeah. right. I mean, story, I used to manage a strip club in New Queens, York, so, you know, I, I, What was that like? What was managing the strip club like? Terrible. Who managed You managed Yeah. Where did every, you manage? I don't want to say as uh, <laughs> Scorsese. Who's in that? It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> but um, no, it sounds like fun. It's like, oh my god, Wait, you you're so no, no, I know it's not fun. They're like, oh my god, you're like in not charge fun. of like these half naked hot girls. I was like, nah. they're irresponsible. They they're they late. They don't go on they stage on hot. time. They're, they're catty fights. People fighting over. I'm dancing to this Beyonce song tonight, and now you got to break up a fight in the locker room, or somebody brings a glass in the locker room, it breaks, and now someone cuts their foot, and now she can't go on stage, and you got a dangerous shift, or someone tries to bring their daughter to the club because they can't get a babysitter. And I'm just all burnt out. Also, I'm like, yo, this shit is whack as fuck. And people are enjoying it. And I actually lost an appreciation for titties working there. How long did you last? Man, that's I like worked when I for years. Damn, I, I, but I was bouncing all around nightlife because I, apparently I'm you the only DJ person. You were for a while too, right? I was DJing. I was doing security. I was doing everything, bro. I was real Jamaican. I was like, if you, if you, <laughs> cut jobs, man. Okay. I'll leave He's the, DJing I, with the with the Home Depot apron. I'll leave, <laughs> I will leave the strip club and just go put tar on someone's roof. Like, no. <laughs> All right, help me because I, there's still one spot that I DJ at, just for kicks. Okay, but what is, have you ever played Def Leppard's uh, Pour Some Sugar on Me? Or that, oh damn, the look you just oh, that's that's, <laughs> you that's, know, that's, that's the development. Have right. you ever have you ever had the owner come into the DJ booth and like, hey, yeah, enough hip hop. Play the good stuff. <laughs> wow. I'm like, what? And, he's like, Pour us. and then they ring a bell and then some girls pouring like shots in her mouth. And you're like, this is hell. That's wild. And that's, oh, what, so that's you Manhattan. do have to. That's why Manhattan strip clubs are whack because that's what they're like. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just a bunch of like Russian shorties that don't speak no English and got F cup titties. And no I book. remember <laughs> when I was. Oh, it's the opposite. It's, it's the they're mad. Yeah, they're yeah. very skinny. Just wild Steve, you okay? yeah. 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 I didn't know that skinny was the new 
Atlanta. Like it's well, that's, well, that's, 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 that's like a New York yeah. Yeah. strip club and shit. Like the finance bros be up there, like yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta go to yeah. the, the underground strip clubs in Brooklyn and shit. Shake that long back. The underground, the underground, yeah. yeah. <laughs> where they got where the strippers got that's ball tap back. Yeah. Why you looking at shit? Wait, why you looking at the motherfucker? Why are, you, why are you looking at the floor when you gave me that size? Huh? I wasn't looking at the floor. Oh, the floor I was looking at you. Oh, okay. You just, now, like, the underground strip closed. Yeah, go, go, like, go to the underground joints. There, you know, there was one in the Bronx that it was just straight up a closed down bodega. Like, it was a bodega in the daytime. Wait, <laughs> underground strip clubs? That's yeah. a thing? Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck. You're over Because then you could go to the opera. You could drink all night. You could gamble. You could do all drugs and shit. Gamble? They're usually selling. Yeah. When we go. Not that we go to that now because we are Christians and responsible. Yeah. Oh, you all abiding citizens. I just know about this because people have told me. Okay. Yeah, shut up. I, heard, I, read, I read an article. Uh, I saw a Netflix Vulture. documentary. Yeah, I, I, I read. I read about, about it on OK Player. There was a New York. <laughs> there was a medium article, article about it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but you maintain that Queens is the best <laughs> spot for yeah, yeah. Queens, Astoria. Yeah. That's why we didn't want Amazon to come. We didn't want it to disrupt the strip club. Yeah, LIC's yeah. That, that, that was the... AOC's real. Yeah. She was like, "Yo, they're gonna shake up. They're gonna break up the booty shake club." Yeah, now we can have that. I now see. So unpaid bill. Yeah. All right. So you're fine with the Arrested Development? We're back on that. Now, <laughs> Arrested well, Development hip hop is that is that discussion we're having right well, now? Well, no, no, no. I'm just saying that the like no, I'm Arrested not, Development would tell you that they were a hip hop group. They would, of which I was Me. like, eh, I, I don't really. know. Right. So my whole point when I when I was trying to make a point on Twitter was that I felt that Lauren Damn, album we, deserved. You were talking about that. It, well, <laughs> I, I'm trying to. I think Lauren Hill is hip hop. I, I'm, I do. I'm trying to jump out of the rabbit hole. Well, I, 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 absolutely. Too. But I don't, so go ahead, go ahead. I think that. People somehow, like, uh, whatever, gotten Missy's sphere to be like, yo, Questlove talking shit about you that, you know, which wasn't the case. I was just saying that if Missy Elliott is hip hop, then so is so Lauren Hill. Right. And, I, and I agree with that but, completely. Yeah. Yeah. But, but and was, I think that they only did it for click blip. The thing is, the thing is, there were three Little Kim albums on the list. Oh wow, 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 wow. It was a notorious right? Wow. No, it was the first. Oh, yeah. she got like four, <laughs> but it was like it was the first one. Hardcore, mm-hmm. hardcore which is that's the one. That's yeah, the that's one. The one. But then the one it was like thing. they put La Bella Mafia yeah, okay. and right. like and Notorious. Did they put mm-hmm. Naked Truth on there because that's the one that got five months. I think I think they did uh, put Naked Truth. I think I can't remember. But yeah, yeah I know. Like, but to do have, be Devil's Advocate, Lauren Hill loses points because those songs were about Wyclef. <laughs> wow, Damn. they were like, like now that you know that you like, and they just imagine him on top of it, like, oh. <laughs> but also, also, yeah. if, if you if you listen to Missy's album, she's rapping a lot more than she's singing on, on all. Well, that's albums. the point that she made in this nine paragraph. She's it's like, never paragraph. like you listen to Lauren album, she's yeah. singing more, way more than she's rapping. It's yeah. like it's like Fonte's career now. No. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Damn. wow. <laughs> Wow, that man has a family. Shots, Wait, <laughs> shots fired. Let, let us also Sing. say that, Fonte, yo, <laughs> yo, I, yo, I, yo. Fonte's new EP is the, is the shit. What's yes, it called? Pacific 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 it's great. Yeah. Check okay. it out. Can I tell you something that's wild about Fonte? This I don't I don't know why it just popped in my head. Back in the MySpace days, wow, you know, wow. When, when Mob Deep dropped, I think it was they like, Blood Money, but, and you had that, yes, you indeed. wrote that shit, yes. And I was just like, oh, damn, shit, I'm, I'm the wild Mob Stan, and I was just like, damn, he's right. <laughs> I was like, damn, I was Yo, like, crazy like, shit, damn. so crazy shit. We Rest had Prodigy on the show, yeah. and he said the same thing. Rest his soul, man. That shit was. He was like, he Yo. read it in jail, right? Yeah, he was like, I read it. He was like, and I read, it, and I was like, Yo, you was right. He was like, man, it was too much. He said with the album. He was like, man, it was too much G unit. Yeah. Shit, he right. said, people, he said, we understand, like, our fans, they want to hear us. Like, we want to hear us and get annoyed and get all the yeah. community. Yeah. You got Ram records with Don't put your buck on his shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Don't put like, your buck on my deep <laughs> He was like, yo, you was right. And I was like, wow. And so I just, exp- that was dope. Because like I said, I was like, yo, it's just as a fan. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wasn't writing on no hater shit. It was yeah, just like, God. nigga, I'm a fan. You kept like, the fucking. Yeah. No for your editorials, including Mike Tyson's punch out. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fuck done, my man. I forgot no, about that Mike Tyson shit. Because there was one line in it where it was like, yo, there's no like. He was like one of the best at like his that, opening, from, line. opening line. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, he don't got none of those on this album. And I was just like, damn. He's right. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, fuck. I was like, but they did have the, the, No, no, no. He said, oh, no, that, that they was. Did have the weird, <laughs> they did have the weird science. That was sample, illustrious. Right? Was, they did. That yeah, was yeah. The, the, the got it twisted. Yeah. That, was, twisted. Yeah. that was the one before. That was dope. Yeah. Well, yeah. But that was more alchemist then. Yeah. I'm sorry, we have to get my. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Were you sitting there? Queen's Bridge in the building. Oh, it's over. 
QB, what's up? 24th side. Yo, what's up, Scott LaRock? This is the bridge, yo. I always told so, D-Nice so nice that I always felt on the South Bronx when he said, yo, what's up, Scott LaRock? Like, I always felt he was a goon. Like, he was about to you know, oh. pull out on the... Nah, he was TRA answer. to wait. T-shirt. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> What's good? I'm scared. I'm sorry. Oh god. This, this feel like an actual rap studio session. Just motherfuckers walking in. Yeah. <laughs> no, we recreated 88 hip hop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just somebody kind of come up with a blunt. So how? <laughs> Roll it in the white owl. Mm. <laughs> wow! 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 Wait, welcome, white owls to just getting out of jail, Mero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how big? What do cats roll their weed with now? Mm, that's Still a good question. On the block. Still, Still on it? the block. Back Back is, I, listen, I, I, this is going to be very. Dutch. This is going to be a very controversial thing. Oh, he does, yeah, yeah, yeah. People smoke these raps called entourages. Yeah. Mm. And, but the thing is, because the cops made it now, you can't buy. You used to be able to buy one. You have to buy a box of four, and they're fifteen dollars each. Yeah. Wow! But the That's thing is, they're Jersey. fifteen dollars each. If Poppy at the bodega don't fuck with you, if he thinks you're a cop or some shit, because okay. everyone else paid five dollars for them. So if you go in the store and they like fifteen dollars, you're like, oh, where? You think I'm pussy? Right, right, like, right. Again, you gotta like fight Aki, whatever. <laughs> but I see people fight. I see people use that. People use uh, Dutches. People use roll ups. I see motherfuckers using these shits called hype. Hmm, and I that? used them a couple times because nah. I, like, I, I flipped the shit over and I was <laughs> like, I'm nah, 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 not using no drugs called hype. Right, yeah, right, right, I see right, New Jack right. City. Bro, I ain't talking about Chris Rock. Yeah, yeah, 99 cents. No, no, that's I ain't doing no really, one syllable drugs yeah, in 2019. Nah, that's what you broke, bro. That's what you broke, bro. That shit come in flavors that don't even exist. Like Oh, he off that hype. Like, nah. You know what I'm supposed to say that? you can't put that weed in a cognac ice cream wrap that's called hype. Watch out. He hyping. He hyping. Get him some milk. The drugs become a verb. Yeah, I fuck with that. You want that? You know what I mean? Nah. I started smoking backwards now because, like, I was smoking Dutchess, but it's a process, and I just got okay. wild lazy because yeah. you got to un unroll the leaf. There's nothing lazier yeah. than you know look saying? than wanting to smoke weed and be like, that's a lot of work. Damn. Like, you really yeah. you really look at the weed and the rap and the yeah. grinder like, So if y'all do the vape shit, y'all fuck with that? Though. You know what? I don't like the vaping because vaping feels too much like smoking crack. And I'm gonna keep hmm. it funky. Really? Okay. Like, you got the pitchfork, like the fork, and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> That's all how my aunt lost her house. Like, I can't do this. Yeah, nah, like, I fuck, I, I fuck with that because I smoke so much bud, bro. I got four kids. You yeah. feel me? So I was like, I gotta smoke no, I get weed. It. I get it. I, you I know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I smoke weed constantly. Like, I eat edibles and people are like, yo, what are you doing? I wrote on Twitter, like, Yo, I ate, um, they, they got some shit called Punch Bars, 225 milligrams. Yeah. Oh, is that the, uh, yeah, the shit with the, with yeah, the yeah, 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 I've seen that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ate that shit, and I took my son to one of, like, a little birthday party type shit situation. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> you got That's nice. What I'm and people are like, people are like, yo, I be smacked off 50 milligrams. You have That's such a high tolerance for edibles, it's ridiculous. Yo, Word. what's wrong with like, you? And like, okay, our wait, boy wait. CC Sabathia, yeah, like, yeah. Uh -huh. he, be, he be like, yo, this shit had me smacked. He gave me one, and I was like, I don't feel shit, bro. What? And How he's three times the size of me. How was the birthday party? It was fucking lit. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I got videos on my phone. Yo, I got videos on my phone because it was like some sci mad science lab party. I was like, yeah, it's going to be some lame bouncy shit. Bouncy houses. And nah, shit. it wasn't I even no bouncy houses. They were just playing, like, making, doing science experiments. Bro, you would have thought I was Spielberg in that bitch, bro. <laughs> I was in there, like, doing videos and shit, like, zooming in, like, putting, like, little stickers around the shit. He's Trying to like, do the Spike Lee dolly shot. Yeah, for real. Like, I got a jib in there and shit. Like, <laughs> shit was steady. All right, so school, school me. What's a high, what's a... Fair, a fair buzz milli uh, milligram for for edibles. Well, apparently, I was just one of our Have you good Hollywood Steve? friends said that um, <laughs> he was like, "Yo, I, I took like a five, five milligram, milligram edible. I, could, I, could I couldn't function." I was like, what? "I was like, fam, when five? I got my sleeve tattoo, I did five two hundred and fifty milligram edibles at once." What? Wow! And it wasn't enough. And you were? I was in pain, my nigga. <laughs> I, I was like, I was like, can I give some more? They was like, nah, like, fam, like, you should be dead by now. So. Fam, I ate four brownies that had like skull and crossbones on them. Okay, and was That's like, yo, this is, this is stop like the story. I got a better one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we like, go to L.A. We go to the dispensary. They have a brownie that says, "Please eat over the course of five days." Yeah, wow. Not so for like, human consumption. What your man over here, Gulliver McGee, is like, Dope. I was like, Pff. you had it all. I ate the whole thing and then <laughs> take it and out with, with a, a, a wee lemonade. lemonade. Yeah. And then I went one for 16 for three at Venice Beach. <laughs> so then we get into a helicopter to fly to Coachella. Flex. Helicopter almost crashes. Flex, I look right. at the back because I'm like, yo, if we're about to die, I want to know it's masculine for me to scream like a bitch. <laughs> 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 over here. 
<laughs> I'm do? Your man is knocked out. Like the, the helicopter is dropped out the sky. We're in like a wind farm. We're about to die. And right. the pilot's like calling his parents like, oh, I love you. And he's like, this, he's like <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I popped up for like a hot 10 seconds. I look and I just see my man like not with his hand on no type of controls. <laughs> just like playing with an iPad. And I was yeah. like, right, I'm going to go back yeah. to sleep. At one, that's a key part of this. At one point, Wake our helicopter pilot... <laughs> Pulled out the iPad and did the Google search. <laughs> Nigga. In the air. What? In the air, fam. In the air. I didn't see what he was Google searching. But how was Coachella? I hope that shit was How to fly a helicopter. Coachella was the shit. Where is India? How to land a helicopter. We never went to Coachella. Oh, you didn't go? We just stayed in. Because you know what? We did the math and it's just like, yo, we flew mad far to be around mad people, inconvenience, and not able to go to the bathroom. We flew mad far to go to New York. And that shit is mad dusty. On the lowest. You oh, never went. Wild, dusty. Never went. Nah. Man. We went to the. the Who was headlining that year? Coachella's bad. Like we the Beyonce year? We went to, it, wasn't, it was the year before Beyonce, but it was the, we went to the Weed Maps party, and they had this big ass screen where you could just watch Coachella. Watch the shit and smoke and weed. weed. It is. So I was there with Tyler, the creator. I'm like, why would I go to the desert with like these trust fund kids? Like, let me stay over I'm here. Good. Everybody else problem was wild, dusty with like the problem map party. The weed map party, they have no regular food. Every piece of food, every it's weed. Oh yeah, it was weed related. Weed. Yeah. Yeah. I have oh never said God. no to weed before, but it was weird. Like, <laughs> and it's funny. Fam, they're like, you want some fried chicken with weed? I was like, no. I was like, why, why would you make this? I, at that point, I was on the dab shit like heavy because I was like, you know, I, I want to get because I started smoking weed when I was like twelve. You feel right. me? So I was like, I want like I no was child I, left behind. since then I've been like chasing a dragon. <laughs> like I want to be like I want to be scared high like when I was when I was like fourteen yeah. type shit. You know oh, what I mean? Amir highs. Yeah. I get it. I get you know what I'm saying? I want to get to that point of highness where your your heart is like it does the beat. It's like bump up. It's like what's up next? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you know the next? You know the words? Sing along. You gotta be like, come on, yo, come on, please stop come playing, on. stop fucking with Don't go with Acapulco. Let's go. So I do a I do a wild. There's, there's this whole setup with dabs and dab rigs and all this crazy shit. That's and I'm like, fuck it. I it, did it. The oil the fr- rig. Yo, the first time I did it though, I had like the fear, my nigga. Like, mm-hmm. I, like I went to my man's, like, shout out to my man Roger from Puffco. He, he had made one that was just like a portable, like little pen. But you put the wax in it, mm. and it's like I'm like, oh, this is made for me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because I'm up at Target and I'm just trying to get yeah. lit. Like I just dip off into the houseware section real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Meanwhile, I'm, I'm there with my nothing. mother. I come into the aisle. Like, is that? This has to be a nice target. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm fucking with that. But the first time I hit it, he was like, oh, now I got a dab rig. So he got the whole shit with the, wow. it looks like the bong yeah. with the wild shit sticking out. And I hit that shit. And I was just like, bruh. Like, I left. I was like, at, really? at this time, we had MTV. And I just had bounced out the office because we wasn't doing that. So I, I left. I went over there. And I, and I leave all my shit in his office. And I leave. And I'm, walk, I'm walking up the stairs to the train. And he's like, yo, fam, you left all your shit in my office. So I go back there. And all the doors look exactly the same. I felt like I was in The Shining, my nigga. Like, I felt like I was dead ass in The Shining. I was just, like, knocking on every door, like, hello! Right, and then I'm like, oh, I got my phone on me. I'm like, let me just call this motherfucker. So I'm calling him, and he just come out the door like, yo, what are you doing? Wow. I was like, you just Sir, are you up in the situation where you have to Oh, yeah. I, you know, I'm himself. the drinker. He's a smoker. Yeah. So that's yeah. usually what happens. What happens is, like, he'll get, like, mad high and shit, and I'll be drunk. I'm like, yo. You're too high to drive this car. You're too high to drive this car. So <laughs> I'm gonna drive like, Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Ah. He's like, this is an Uber. I'm sitting in the driver's lap like, yo. 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 We hosted a party. And <laughs> Don't tell the story. 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 Ah. Man, I got super, super lit. Like, su- like I never hand over the keys to nobody. I got wild faith in my abilities to drive off smack. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Like, and I was dolo. And I was in the old accord and saying tan cloth interior. Like, if I lose it, I lose it. You feel me? Like, I'm good. So we do the party, and, like, I just get it was progressively a boat party, worse and worse. You know you what I'm saying? destroyed the boat. Yeah. To, uh, Kendrick Lamar, we're going to be all right. Oh, man. Okay. I know the white owner was like, what? He was like, what the, f- what the hell like, is going I'm never going to allow here? you guys on the boat again. I was like, yeah, never the first again. time. Yeah, that's how we got here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fab, yo, rest, yo, rest in peace, Combat Jack. Combat Jack was hosting, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Started a mosh pit to Mob D. Mm-hmm. Like, there was people in there bugging the fuck out. It was wild. And it's a, we're on a boat, so it's like, you're not getting off this shit. Yeah. Like, they know, like, yo, this shit is That's too crazy. I don't do boat here. parties. You know it what was saying? one of those Calypso's all white boat parties off the west side no. of Manhattan. Yeah. 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 Oh, the wow. horn blowers. Yeah. The horn no. blower. <laughs> so, boom. So, we, I, I'm just progressively getting worse and worse. And, and I'm, like, seeing shit in, like, stages. Like, I, I'm on the second floor. How I got to the third floor, I don't know, but now I'm on the third floor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And there's, and, there's a, and there's a girl in there that she's doing, like, some, like, YouTube video, whatever the fuck. Okay. And this shit is on, is on YouTube to this day. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying to Shorty. I'm just like, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm here with my girl, Chloe. I don't even know if that's her name. <laughs> <laughs> so my girl, also, Chloe, she's up next. You know what I'm saying? Word up. We're hosting you know the party. I mean? All you keep hearing is, like, 
Jesus and Meryl to the main stage. Jesus and Meryl. Because, man, we're just on top of the like, ah, ah, <laughs> yeah, we just doing fam, nautical shit, you know fam, what I'm saying? Like, fam, we were so Star fucked Wars up. Side, you see Statue of Liberty. <laughs> fam, we were so <laughs> fucked up that we, we the, D, the, the DJ's going. Okay. He's doing his thing. He throws on the Lil Wayne, Bobby Valentino joint. The yeah. wee, wee, wee. It was all so, like, so, boom. So, the like, song is going. And then we on the mic. So the DJ cuts the shit down. So the crowd is like, are you going to be mad off being like, like, woo, 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 I was like, nigga, what are you singing? I was like, that, it's wee, wee. I was like, nigga, we already got paid. I don't care. The blue face version. Way off. So then after the shit, I'm like, yo, bro, we go, we, we find my car finally. Yeah. And I'm just like, yo. Are you out of Seinfeld? Yeah. Anytime you got to find a car, like, please Uber it. Yeah. So like, I'm like, boom, it's right there. Boom. So I'm like, yo, fam. I just look at him. I was just like, yo. And he looked at me. He's like, yo, give me the keys. I was like, <laughs> I, no, no hesitation or something. I was like, fuck it. Yeah. Here's how you know I should not have been driving. The first thing I said at the red light was, oh shit, you got good brakes. You got great brakes. <laughs> you got great brakes. I was this like, you got very responsive. You said that shit like 28 times, bro. <laughs> Every I'm time like, we hit the red light, I was like, yo, you got, you want money key? Yo. I'm like, yeah, word. <laughs> Fresh pads on that. I'm like, yeah, 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 that ain't squeaky. We end up in the, the shittiest Bronx diner. Fam, I woke up there, guard, I was like. The security guard is like, aren't y'all? Oh, he's like, yeah, yeah, we just need a booth. Yeah, we need a booth. Come on, stop playing, stop playing. He's like, why are y'all here? I was like, wow. Bring me a patty melt. Bring me five patty melts. I'm like, let me get, uh, uh, we're on inland in the Bronx. Yeah, let me get your freshest oysters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yo, have y'all been to well. Europe yet or not yet? We not are. Yet. We're actually soon. going soon to. We're going to London for the Boston Red Sox Yankee game. So we're when's gonna, that? Oh. I think it's like July something. August. Wait, how weird is that going to be? Where no team is booing each other because of the rivalry. That's why we'll we start. Call that's why we do. I'll be at this hot shit. Like, like, yeah. Like, yeah. You're a Philly fan, you know, like yo. We'll get to a fifth line with the queen. Out. I'll be like, twenty-seven rings, bro. All right, <laughs> three worst I, I gotta fan say, bases in, in, in sports. It's I gotta say, Boston, I, Philly, New York. Boston, no, Boston, Phil. Yeah, Boston, Philly, New York. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Yes, yeah, oh nine. I gotta oh, say, nine. Uh, I had to throw out the first pitch at a Phillies game. I didn't know the pressure of Another throwing first. out a first pitch. Yeah. How'd it go? I did not know that it was 60 feet away. Yeah. <laughs> you the dirt. Why does everyone keep asking that? Why does everyone keep asking that? You can't hit the dirt. You better throw it over his yeah. head. Yeah. You, better, you, better, yeah. Yeah. you better you better off doing the well, 50 move. What happened? Don't that shit to the sky box. He threw that shit like a volleyball. I didn't see it. First of all, first of all. What happened? 50 shot into the fadeaway. Did you wind up? What'd you do? Yeah. Show this, us. This all, wait, this is all I'm going to say. All I'm going to say. No, no, no. Listen, all I'm going to say <laughs> is that up. I did not wind up or not so top 10 for ESPN's okay. countdown. Uh, okay. So That's, that was number one. Right. I didn't want to be, I Google horrible uh, celebrity first pitches thing. Uh, I'm not going to make that. Did you yell cheesesteak when you threw the ball? No. I mean, the okay. thing was, okay, I didn't ground it, but it hit home. It Technically, it was a strike. I hit home plate. That sounds right. Okay. That's not a strike. He's right. It bounced. And the thing was, I was throwing to the Philly fanatic. I turned to the old white guy inside of me that watches baseball. Like, That's not a fucking strike. Yeah, he's, he's not, not playing the right way. Turn the game the right way. way. Philly Jackie fanatic Robinson is was all downhill far, far like the people cheer boo. Well, I'm from Philly, it's so Philly. we oh, booed. Booing is cheering. Sorry. Yeah. Good point. I got, I, I booed. I got booed. Listen, eventually you. you get a bobblehead night and you and you be straight. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Quest of bobblehead. That's, That's what I'm saying. I'm surprised that has a hat. Yeah, but, but you, you know what it was? Okay, so right when they were singing the star, uh, the the national anthem, um, the guy that's with me, that one of the guards walking me, he tells me I don't know why he tells me this story. So he tells me the story of this 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 14 year old boy who uh, somehow got his arm amputated from a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> and he's I like, did and you, he, did, you ever hear, than you. did you ever hear the story of da, 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 the little kid? He's like, well, the little kid, he was 14 year old. He lost his car. Uh, he lost his arm in a car accident and uh university of Pennsylvania worked hard to find a prosthetic arm. And in two years he had a, a mechanical arm. Oh yeah. He and, threw it out. And it was his dream to come <laughs> to Philly. Like dope curveball and, and throw it right off the plate. And so he, so now you're it. like, damn, I got to do better than this yeah. little fucking kid. Well, no, <laughs> he threw it and like, you know, the arm went out of whack or whatever, and Philly booed him. <laughs> ah, shit. Philly, Philly. Shout out to Philly. Yeah, that's Stay awesome. classy. And right at that moment, they had the jacks on. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm telling him. The the <laughs> so I'm telling him. So I'm like, wait, so what she happened? He came up with a rocket. He's like, he's, I was like, so what happened? He's like, oh, you know, he got booed. I said, that's the point of the story. He's like, yeah, you know, we boo everyone here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, the Grammy Award winning Quick Love. <laughs> get ready to boo.
<laughs> and then wow. literally, he says, and the pitch. And it was like dead silence. And oh. like, it was just one of the moments where I threw it slow in slow mo. motion. Yeah. And then like, you know, my middle finger is like, ah, it, oh, yeah. it hit the ground like two feet in you front You try to throw a cutter or some shit, bro. Yeah. Just throw it over the plate, man. Yeah. Don't get fancy. Just go for like a knuckle slider you know or some shit. That's why I love the Yankees because they never have celebrities really. They were like, this guy from night he was a World War One veteran, <laughs> or like the Tony surprise. And you're like, oh, you feel bad old, for him? I'm like, look at this old racist. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I'm like, so you lived in the Bronx your whole life. You fought World War One, <laughs> sir. You have never said African American. <laughs> I'm saying that right now. Okay, I don't even want to know what you call Derek Jeter. <laughs> I love that actor rune. <laughs> whoa, 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 what? Whoa, what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> was like, yeah, Sam, yeah. No, chill. Hey, stand for the anthem. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you go to Yankee game and you don't take your hat off for the anthem, motherfuckers start looking at you like, Yo, really? shout, yeah. shout, shout out to my boy, cops and shit. Shout out like, to my boy, Black Koran. Pat. He did. Shit. He, I took him to the Yankee game after he just did eight years in the feds. Oh, wow. So oh, wow. he's sitting there and... Why is he going to stand for the anthem? So this, this old white guy was like, show some fucking respect. Take your hat off and stand for the anthem. He was like, this country took eight years of my life. Fuck you. I'll fuck you up, old man. And I'm just sitting there eating some He's like. Also, question why haven't you written, rewritten the national anthem yet? Man, dude, come you on. too busy? Some things you don't read. I shit don't slap, dog. It don't slap at all. You never be in the Olympics and people like, yo, oh. America's theme went off. Yeah. Nah. I, that I shit is a Puerto Rico shit. Way that shit is like so hard to sing and everything. She got weak drums? Like, <laughs> no type of bass. No 808. No 808. No EQ and shit. No 808s on that. All right, new anthem coming up. Thank you. It doesn't slam at all. Let me get Future on the hook. <laughs> or just, or if you don't rewrite it, or if you don't rewrite it, maybe you just rearrange it. Like, uh, like Mrs. Um, what you call it? And lean on me. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The, the, the music. You know what? Why you put it in four? Because it's in three. You can put it in four. Due to the anthem, what George Powell did to I got five on it. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do remix what they did. It, don't do what they did to that. Okay, I, so wait, why, why, why we keep reference Club the, Club Nouveau songs? Club it was a kind of night. J King need that money. I guess wow, so. What did you think of us? What was your Nouveau? Jordan, P- Jordan, Jordan, Jordan Peele was on the show, I, so he, he's going to give, give you. What did I think of us? Us? Wait, wait, time out. How many times do you see it? Twice. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll I'm on number four. I saw it once for free. I saw it the second time I paid out of pocket. I, it's good to see black people making movies. <laughs> my, my nigga. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. so positive. <laughs> now, nah, I mean, I get it. The thing is, I, I see it, and I'm like, I got it, I got it. But the thing is, like, I figured it out very early on. Okay. And I felt like it was a little over the top. That was yeah. the only thing. Like I, and then I mean, like I, re- I watch a lot of horror movies. I read a lot of stuff, so I'm, I'm sure I took it in a different way. I've seen people that enjoy it. They're writing long. Now I feel like a sucker. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Is, is, I is, is, it's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. Basically, well, you didn't see Get Out yet? Yeah, I did. See, I did see Get Out. I haven't seen Black Panther yet. When? Oh, okay. I saw Get Out. I saw Get Out. I saw Get Out. He won't follow anything that's I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no, 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 I'm just been, not, I'm just he's not. He's been this way the whole time I've known him and I've known him like. Yeah, yeah nah, he's consistent. No, he's, he's, no, he's I'm young with a young boy say keeping he's, the same energy. He's, he's happy and I'm going to be keeping it all the time. I forgot, I forgot where I was going. I forgot what I was about to say. Here's Bill quote. I wasn't guarding. Oh, y'all niggas would be fucking with the internet? I was like, nah, see, I would have never said that because y'all don't know how much I fucking pipped the internet. So, you like, did. Man, he he said he was but yeah, so you, what did you say? You said it was get, is us, is it basically? Is it basically like a we are our own worst enemy? No, not even. Okay. It, it, not, yeah, that not would that. be too, that would be giving it too much credit. Okay. It's wow. more like, yeah. it's, it's not that. I don't want to, yeah, yeah. I don't want to, no You're spoilers, saying it's not that deep? It's not that deep. See, and if you, I think this is I, I, any. I think the problem is people want the movie to be deep, and I, th- I think I think it's it because it's there were so many layers to get out. Because like, and this is not like that, even that, even the that, score. That, like, if you like, it was like, was it like Swahili or something? Oh, yeah, some yeah. shit. Yeah, that's and like the, the Swahili was like giving them like hints on what get out, to do. Yeah, 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 get out, yeah. So you know, it's like, but that's the shit. Like, think about it like movie, this. Like he, now and he then, even explained it himself in the in the interview. He was like, "Yo, get out." Like, I was literally painting, like, the black man's nightmare. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With this, this is just a horror movie that just happens to be centered around. I think the problem with it is there's too much room for interpretation and people are adding Thank stuff to you, it. Thank you, bro. Because I, mean, I read an essay where someone was like, oh, the people wear, the red, and... the people wear red jumpsuits because MAGA hats are red. And I was like, like you know what? Yeah. <laughs> 
This is why y'all fall for wake up now. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out. You That's gotta like really get mad. Because like, look, I like I'm not like I'm not an Eminem fan. Right. But Everybody I really, I really don't like Eminem fans. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. it's that type of shit. Like you wow. look, you're looking for shit that's not there. Like, just enjoy the movie for what it is. Have a good time at the theater. And that was the thing. Like, 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 Get Out was like Get Out was a great movie that had like a bunch of symbolism and shit. Yeah. But even if you didn't get all the symbolism, you could still egg, enjoy it. You could still enjoy it just right. on his face. Us, I thought was the exact opposite. It's a bunch Thank of symbols you. and a whole bunch of like everything Easter represents eggs. something. Did but you catch the story that? It ain't take really place all in the Get Out universe. Say what? You t you caught that it takes place in the Get Out universe, right? What do you mean? In the scene where the black family is in Tim Heidecker's house after whatever happened. After, right, right, right. The right. little black boy is eating cereal without milk. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just the same so, way that oh, she is. Like yeah, okay, okay. But see, even stuff like that, you're like, that's like, here, stupid. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> so but what does that, that mean like, in what, the story, though? What does like, that you add to driving the character? See, I, Thank you. I, I, I think, I think Easter should, eggs. But the thing I is think shit like that just for people, you know, bonus, bonus shit for people that are paying attention, you know? But see, that's me. That's the thing. It's like, you shouldn't have to add that. Or well, if you add, it's, like, it's, you it's, well, add it's, it. it's not it's not meant to be like an integral part of the story. It's just like some shit. Like oh, if you're paying attention, here's this. You know, yeah, yeah. The thing is, the story falls apart without these little right, little right. Because oh, yeah, because okay. bro, so like, it's like, so a lot of people are mad at his. What's his name's character? Uh, the husband, uh, uh, Winston. Winston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah Winston mad at what? Well, I mean, you know, it's him just being just the corny dude. Just yeah, which is like I know mad Jack and Jill motherfuckers yeah. that are corny like that. Yeah. So I felt he, he well, was, corny people don't know they're corny. <laughs> like that's key to being corny. Yeah. Right. Like they operate without this. They don't have the cringe factor you get when you see them doing corny stuff. You're like, oh, so you're just like, <laughs> like they do corny stuff, and you're like, oh my god, why would you say that? And they're just like, yo, this is just me. This is just me. That's what I am. Right. I just got my Skechers on. How do you feel? Fucking cornball. <laughs> I got my relaxed yeah. fit. Some of, the, <laughs> some of the some of the hotep blogs were going a little too. They're going a little too far with it. Imagine that. Yeah. Can I can I, can I say something going too far real quick on this podcast? And, can I make it real hot? Yes. yes. I'd like to point out that the whole problem with us, everything happens. Everything in that movie is responsible. Why? Because the failures of a cis heterosexual black male. Think oh, about it. He didn't, watch, he didn't watch the daughter. Watch the daughter. Shit. See? Yeah, if black men would do what they're supposed to do, <laughs> teach right, these devils. <laughs> Teach uh, these subscribe, cool being devils. Subscribe to my newsletter for Power yeah. Black Man. <laughs> Teach these devils. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah. Teach these devils. I'm just sitting in my car in an RV like, yo. You know I, got, I got the Pelly Pelly hidden color bootlegs. Nigga wearing a, a Pelly Pelly with an onk hat on and shit. Like, why, let me ask you, why, the floor, why the government putting fluoride in our... You know, what, huh? huh? To make our kids gay. You're like, oh, you're, you're like what? what? Yeah, I just heard that this week. So I did like, not know that was Hotep 101. I thought that was some Alex Jones shit. Nah, that's the real truth. Uh, yeah, think about it. The food pyramid, that's Hotep pyramids in Africa. <laughs> Napoleon shot off the Pharaoh, the Sphinx's nose. You know Nas made a song about it. So <laughs> cool. I think I can. Yo. Yo, don't abortion your womb. Don't, no, don't he said abortion chicken your womb. He said chicken heads don't abortion your womb. I was like, listen. Maybe those should go. I love Nas. <laughs> have you ever been on the E train at 4 o'clock? Like, they loud as Yes, shit. I have. Fair. <laughs> Nas is a legend, but that fucking song that he did. Where he rapped in the 1920s. In the, in the, in the, in the, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I like, yeah, I like yeah, that shit. Yeah, I like yeah, that shit. Yeah, Where are they now? Yeah, no, 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 it was, who killed it? Yeah, who killed it? Who killed it? She was a real looker, see? Yeah, like, I thought that, I thought that was just some, wait, listen. Shout out to the studio engineer that wasn't like, y'all say it. Nah, that shit was bad. That shit was bad off. If we had Will I Am on the show, one, my prime question. How did you cut the is, hook? What was <laughs> what was he thinking? What was the conversation that led into you convincing Nas? Yo, it's like, no, hey, wait, Nas, hey, remember Inspector the gadget? Yo, <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. That isn't that isn't even the biggest that isn't even the biggest problem on that album. The biggest problem on that album is fucking Chris Webber has a beat on that shit. Yo, <laughs> oh, why are you reminding and me? And it's man? not the fact that he had a beat; it's the fact that he had a beat and other niggas it's didn't did. have it. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> there's there's no Primo, there's no Pete Rock. No, that's back when Nas like was like, who? who? Like, Primo? <laughs> yeah. Please. Yo, nah. Yo, this is my, yeah, my guy for, he's from like building three in Queens. Yo, yeah, that's my man. His sister's Yo. swinging the hook. Yeah. Yo, he's, it's not Salam <laughs> Remy, it's Remy Salam. It's, it's, a, it's a different dude. Remember what Wait, now I gotta hear it. As we listen to this, imagine your first time hearing this. Yes. Being in a conference room at Def Jam with Nas in the room. Oh, you were there watching him? Yes. Oh, shit. And he wasn't performing it. Optimism no, wait, he was just playing the album. Did he oh, jump on the table shit. and dance like Bobby Schmurda or some shit? Nigga. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. I ain't no shit.
Oh, wait, sorry. Pretty Mike Shank, two face owl, over some gal. Found a body dead in the ass. Death by I'm not, I'm still not mad at the song, though. I'm still not mad at this. Yeah, but there's another one where he tries to do like a Jamaican voice and he, the hook is like, Me go on, fuck a fight pussy tonight. <laughs> the combo, the combo, the combo, the fuck with boy, is that on Street oh, Disciple? Is that on Street Disciple? Remember the one disciple? where he raps in reverse, like Memento? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. that plays the 50? Yeah, everybody, everybody was like, So his mind. I was like, This is confusing. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that was the Blaze of 50. He's a different one than Blaze of 50. Oh, okay. I threw up my vodka back in my glass. Funny story about Blaze of 50. Which app was that? Because Blaze of 50, Blaze of 50 was, was not, Lost Tapes. Yeah. Yeah. Was no, lost tapes. That's but, it was be, but it was supposed to be I Am, wasn't it? No, it was uh, supposed to be Nostradamus. Thomas, yeah, yeah. But back in my uh, more illegal days, when yeah. I was in MP3 ripping group, shout out to R&S, I-I-I. Oh, you using R&S? Oh, shit. Rabbit Neurosa. Real nigga shit. Rabbit Neurosa. Real nigga shit. Rose, 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 <laughs> and I remember the ripping group APC. Yeah, I remember that. Nas's album. And they had the original. There's an article ver- on that, right? Yeah. yeah they had yeah. the original version of Project Windows. R- Project Ron Windows and Ron Isley. Isley. Yeah. Well, I had that version. I had that. Yeah, I looking had out that. my Project <laughs> Windows. You know that nigga old Mad Taxes and shit? You heard his voice. <laughs> but that was the first time a, a rap artist ever made an MP3 dissing a ripping group. Yeah. Oh, because wow. Because Nas made, he was like, you, you, like, Internet weirdos or whatever, and like everyone in the chat room was like, "Yo, we made it!" Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, yo I'm an internet weirdo. Like, yeah, we did, did that. You, uh, did you ever know anybody that was in Gorilla Arms? The, I, in that group, I didn't know Gorilla Arms, but okay. I shout out to APC, CMS, Ego. I remember CMS Fairfax. and Ego. Oh, shout shit. out to Fairlight, all that. And I remember. Oh my God, I was out there. Explain this to me. So oh, this is like this. It was like many games. hours, many games. hours spent in IRC chat rooms trying to find unreleased shit. And Not even groups and shit. We basically MP3 ripping groups. We worked inside record companies. Yeah, yeah. And we would just like steal. Like, Where did you used to work? Rockefeller. <laughs> wow, what was that like? I if you if you you can actually look right now. Did you play a dice game? Uh, actually, no. When I worked there, Beanie Siegel was beating up interns. <laughs> <laughs> and we marched. We uh, Hey Poppy just dropped. If you find Hey Poppy ah, okay. and it's the original R- R- RNS rip, look through the ID3 thing, the tag, okay. and definitely says Jesus. But <laughs> I actually I had to rip it off of vinyl. So you stole shit. So that's real. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> I was out in these streets reckless. But <laughs> man, y'all y'all hip hop crimes. <laughs> Key to this point is special limitations. Rockefeller dropped Hey Poppy just in time for the what? It was on the Nutty Professor soundtrack, right? And they dropped it in time for the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Oh wow! Okay. Now, so we have T-shirts that say Hey Poppy. Rockefeller Street Team is nothing but like seventeen-year-old light girls. We'll discuss that later, Jake. But, <laughs> HR, so T.D. Ronnie. We go into the Puerto Rican Day Parade, and apparently we're entering it at the same time as the Latin Kings. Oh. So now we're having a, it's me and this other Brooklyn guy, and we're having a wild standoff with mad Latin Kings with their knives out. All these girls are scared shitless. And I'm just like, yo, would you like a hey poppy promo? <laughs> Please don't say that. We ended up having to like not get in the parade. We ended up joining on like 66th Street or whatever, and we were just happy. Just like, we'll jump on that. But that, yo, that, wild. Part, that shit. We used to... My whole point of working at Rockefeller was I like calling girls from Rockefeller because it came up on a call ID as Rockefeller. And I was like, yeah, I'll just see what you. Yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> I worked. I worked at Def Jam during the Carter administration, as they like to call it. And um, part of my my job duties were uh, um, administrating the the Rockefeller website, which included. Um, approving member profile photos. Right. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. That's, 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 <laughs> use your use your imagination, and that's all I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. Member profile photo. So you could. So they, like it was like a, it was like almost, a, a it was almost network. it was almost like a social network. Yeah. Wow. And you go upload your you know create a profile and put your picture up there, and there were a lot of interesting pro- profile pictures. Like, all I remember yeah. from Rockefeller, at Rockefeller meet all I was like, that <laughs> the highest level you could get at Rockefeller was if you got a time port. Remember the Motorola time ports? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. big, that's what it all had. And I was, because Jay had one, yeah. uh, uh, hip-hop had one, bit, like, I was like, damn. Those are the joints they were using in the Excuse Me Miss video. Yeah. 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 I was like, yeah. I was like, yo, I'm going to do the street. The shit that I'm Kelly Rowland had XL on? <laughs> yeah. What? She did. She had Wait, when she was, she was, she was sending emails. Email. Like, she was sending emails in XL. Yeah. yeah the yeah, dilemma video. Kelly, where you at? She was spreadsheet, high chart, and everything. That's totally right. How do you remember this? It was in the video. It was in the video. She opened up her thing. Yeah. It was like, I'm about to do some quotients. Shit. Like, she, <laughs> went deep. she was just on a talk show and she was like, Yeah, I saw that little meme. She was like, I was in 
Destiny's Child. Why would I know how to use Microsoft Office? I was like, <laughs> wow. Okay. I was like, just shit on us. I mean, that's why she. Why do you, why do you think she was bills. asking everybody to pay every pay her bills, her automobiles? Made all the pie how charts. do you know this? Because I saw the video. Yeah. She, yeah. Did, she made all the pie charts. Was it the Nelly video? Was it yeah, yeah, dilemma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dilemma. Yo, it was her, her and Patty the Bell. I had memory and I was alive in the eighties. That was like a one of the most staple. Do it. People. For all those out there listening, if you need some information that white people may or may not have, you can be called. That's uh, 917 215. What? Wait, can I ask a question? <laughs> yeah. Since you are now the gatekeeper or one of the gatekeepers of Sesame Street, <laughs> why you got to segue to that? <laughs> Would you ever have these? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, dude. Oh, Richard yeah. Bryan. Richard oh, Bryan yeah. Bryan was on Sesame Street. Was he? Was Hell yeah. Pa- was Paul Mooney on Sesame Street? Yeah, everybody on Sesame Street. I don't know. Don't quiz me now, <laughs> no. motherfucker. <laughs> no, growth hey, with my money. Hey, hey Questlove was on Sesame Street. You were great. Oh, thanks. OJ but was on Sesame Street. Not to name drop. We're going to be on there like, yo, Big Bird, what's up? What's up with that pack? Yo, what's good? <laughs> what's up? Yo, stick up again. Stuff off again. Yo, you man. Yo, you sick? Yo, you sick? Well, wait, y'all got the, y'all got the, uh, the Muppet who's dad's in prison, right? Yeah. What's his name? Incarcerated Muppet. One of y'all oh. have to voice King the dad. All autistic uh, <laughs> King Chirala. I'll be like, yo, peace and respect to you, King Chirala. Your father was a real nigga on the street. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like that. So if you no, need anything, we got you. You need something from Mr. Hooper store. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Where's Bond? Where's Bond? Yo, you got sight. Yeah, that nigga Grover looking at you funny. Yo, got you, yo, I got you. Anyway, we go see these. We go see Can I tell you something? Right right here, the seeds. Right here. Yes. <laughs> tomorrow, to my old earth. Tomorrow, I actually, this is true. Tomorrow at 2.30 p.m., I have to go to media training at Sesame Street. <laughs> what? So that I am trained in the areas of media, which includes this fucked up room that I'm in right now. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I, so I say the right shit. Do they know what podcast you motherfucker? We're going to do a reboot of uh, Top Boy using Muppets. <laughs> How good is it with my fucking fool Kamali in there? <laughs> what? Just throw a Muppet off the balcony? <laughs> you fuck with Top Boy? I scroll Please, past that shit yeah, every time. I've never seen Top Boy? I turned that shit off it's, for like a split second and it was no. like, hey, 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 oh hey, 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 out of pocket funding the last season of it. Wow. I thought it's you were so say good. Drake was and, acting in it. No, and it's like, on. Where can on, I see this? What? He needs YouTube more slang words. He needs more slang words. That's what it is. But we've waited, like, Top Boy fans have waited something like three years for this last season that wow. Drake just previewed is coming out. That show is, trust me. It's like that? I don't, I do not highly recommend stuff other than Star is Born, clearly. But. <laughs> and Sex in the City. Like, uh, and Sex in the City. If you, if you like puns and people not really understanding how sex works, Sex in the City is for you. But check out Top Boy. Yo, I, I'm so, right. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm amazed at how much you fucking know about Sex and the City? Well, Why? Have to remember, Why? Because, I know a lot about Sex and the City. Sex and the City was funny. Because my sister bought HBO I have the same just story. to watch 100%. Sex and the City. And I was, I, I was wilding at the house, so my parents were like, could you just stay inside? Because I feel like you're going to die. And I was like, fine. So I was like, all right, <laughs> let me go watch Sex and the City. And it was weird to me because it was like, it was literally places we would pass uh, that would yeah. not allow us in. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And it was I'm like, oh, that's what they do in these places? <laughs> shit? I was like, oh, uh, Apple Martinis, that's what people drink? Okay. <laughs> Cosmopolitan. But yeah, yeah. That, that's like one of the weirdest things that I, like, I know. I've no, okay, for everybody's listening. I've known Jesus for like almost like 15 years. Got to be more than that. Were you happy Close. back then? Shut up. Wow. Okay. wow. <laughs> Shut up, Bill. Wow. Anyway, so yeah, like. The trajectory, yeah. that was My trajectory was not Sex in the City. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> just finding out that you like. You have like an encyclopedic knowledge of that fucking show. I can re- <laughs> recite individual lines, plot lines. It freaks women out. It freaks out. And what's out. funny is women are just like, yo, that's cool. Like a boyfriend that likes sex and sex. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, this reminds me of like episode 35, season five. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, uh. Every time what, this shit that? comes up. I mean, I watch like, it normally, but I don't have an encyclopedic knowledge about it. So there's not that much to know. There's like the two black episodes, which were very problematic. There's Miranda. Blair Underwood, right? Blair, Blair Underwood. Underwood. Yeah. And then like the, the black girl was like, you'll never be allowed in our, like it was like very over the top. Uh, Miranda, oh, sassy. Yeah, sa- sassy urban chick. <laughs> right. Miranda not eating the guy's butt after he ate her butt. <laughs> yeah. Which was a huge Miranda's problem. Miranda's a redhead one? Redhead. Miranda's Trying a redhead. Trying to be mayor. Trying to be mayor. You can't be mayor of New York. No, nah, she was trying to be governor, governor, wasn't she? Yeah, Even yeah. worse. Yeah. You can't be mayor oh, she of New York and governor. not yeah, eat butt. Yeah, is what I just heard in my head. You got to get in that butt. Wait, she's with the nerd dude, right? 
Yeah, Steve. I'm Steve. Hey. Yeah, Steve. Oh, Steve, Steve only had one ball. He was going to have one ball. Every chick loves Steve. Miranda, yeah, I got his long Miranda, Miranda watch me practice my threes. I got to take a three times. Everyone else has seen. I've seen like two episodes of the show in my yes. entire life. Yes. Oh, I've seen like two I, minutes I was, of that show in my entire life. I'm like, y'all niggas have HBO? Oh, word? Y'all doing it like that? I was like, fam, I got to. I gotta, HBO, I gotta like hover that, that VHS tape on top of my fucking table box <laughs> I did, uh, interview, to get like I two with, minutes of the Space right, Channel. Right, right. I did an interview with Vulture. Sounded like a dude were... on Showtime. What the fuck are you talking about, man? <laughs> you, who has Showtime? <laughs> I do, but I'm the only I, person yeah, I, I think in this room. I did an interview with, I think, Vulture Magazine. They were asking me about um, Sex in the City. And the creator of Sex in the City retweeted it. It was like, yo, this is hella interesting. You know, she's like someone like me. And some lady was like, no one cares about the male gaze. They was like, yeah, we care about this one. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, yeah, this is, this is the male yeah. gaze right here. <sighs> also, if you watch Sex and the City, Carrie was a piece of shit. No, she was the worst character. She was yeah. the worst. She was the worst character. Was I never heard her claiming... no personal development. Like That's the, weird. The, she was I never always hear the girls shit. claiming, ca- like, you know. You're Carrie claim... if your life is a mess. Man, this is like a fucking bizarro you, barbershop shop right now. Yeah. 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 I'm like, what the I'm fuck is I walking into? I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for the, like, the, Le, the LeBron MJ shit to start. Yeah. Nah. Like, that nigga's talking about sex in the nah, city. I'm about, like, you like, doing you you LeBron MJ? Fantastic. We're like, yo, Carrie versus Samantha. Who you got? Like, Call your hair go. guy, Amir. We need a cut. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I walked into super cuts. <laughs> Russell Wilson's like, I got next. Now, I'm just saying that I know that women. Russell Wilson cut his hair with a scissor. Women. No, plus I want to cut. Like, <laughs> nah, yeah, no, like, yeah, he got one of the worst lineups in the game, man. Like, dude, <laughs> well, I love Russell this, Wilson, man. I love that, that we all feel off. safe. You ain't Russell Wilson. We all feel good. safe roasting Russell Wilson. <laughs> Russell Wilson will beat all of us. <laughs> Is that CRS? Yeah. 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 Oh, he was on our show last week, right? So he's not going to be back around y'all anytime soon. So we're good. <laughs> he's going to be like, better. gosh, you guys roasted me. <laughs> no, I'm, a, I'm a good sport about Wait, it. Wait, all right. So can I, speaking of roasting, mm, without s- stating the Captain Obvious Let's go. One, Let's go. Without, without stating the Captain Obvious one. That's right. Who has anyone else ever tried to see y'all? Lonnie Love. Or I'm approaching nigga. Lonnie, Lonnie Love. Love. Lonnie yeah, Love. I wanted Lonnie to know Love. what was up with that. L O N I. The, the chick. The, yeah. the, the, Lonnie yeah. Love. Because you know what it is? Oh, does that show the real? Yeah. Right. And oh, yeah. your man over here can't tell the difference between Sherry Shepard and Lonnie Love. Is that difficult? <laughs> you, yeah, it is, is that pretty difficult? difficult. It is a little. You know I don't saying? know what you're talking about. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so I radio. keep pointing out the differences, and she was like, I don't know what white producer thought you told you this would be funny. But it's very, you know, like, it's not. I was like, nah, wow. fam, I'm sorry, Lonnie or Sherry. I don't and know I mean, who you, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, not to be spicy, but I mean. Like, be spicy, put a little spice on it. <laughs> the real is just the GoBot version of, of the, the review, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. feel me? That's all it is. It's like <laughs> your parents, you oh, have Crayola crayons. Jeannie, and you have I had nothing Rose to do Rose. with okay. none of this. <laughs> Jeannie, I had nothing to do with this. Okay. I mean, I love them. You have Oreo. Still, come on. Still, you have Hydrox. I feel like we're at the still, point now. It's still good with us, boo. I'll see you when I get to LA. I feel like we're at the point now. We can say hot shit. And people still have to have us on, right? Right, Sherry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know. That's not Sherry Shepard, by the way. Not yet. Yeah, Sherry Goldberg. Goldberg. Yo, she was tight, too. <laughs> the building. Right. Well, funny, we had that other beef. And then, yeah. like, while that's going on, Sherry came through, like, yo, I got shooters. So I was like, yo, that's what? Like, yo. Wait, like, what? I was like, I'm, <laughs> I want all the smoke. Sherry was popping. Yeah. She boy, the kid out East Street. My dude, we had 40 up. What up? What? <laughs> what? Sherry, man. Really? Sherry come up and fucking take Sherry her belt might, off. Sherry might, Sherry might take her belt off. Oh, my God. That's the worst feeling. <laughs> yo, I, there was a girl in ninth grade. Like, I tripped her when she was running. <laughs> she had the name belt, belt on. She didn't know what to do. She was so stunned. And she thought about it. And then she just took her belt off. And oh, I was wow. like, oh, God, that's my ass. <laughs> I'm like, I'm <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. Shout out I'm... to Cynthia Wright. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm still. As a matter of fact, she reminded me of this shit on Facebook. I'm like, yo. Why would I? Check up here. Remember that time where I beat your ass at, <laughs> at lunch? With my name, she W-R yeah, I would have been like, what is that, yo? Is that, is that WR. a thing? WR. WR. Do they teach That's you real. that? Do they teach you that in like women's like self defense class? Like, yo, take your belt off and hook over with your belt? She no, did that like a black mother away. possessed. Wow. Yo, because I was at a bar with my man Nace, who's a, who's a loose cannon. Just came home. Shout out to Nace. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we at a bar and some dude steps on his feet. You know what I'm saying? On his sneakers. You know what I'm saying? And he's one of those dudes. That's like, yo, you step, yo, you, yo, oh, apologize, wow. my nigga. You violated. You feel me? Like we over here, we were they Jordan? Have a good time, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying they were Jordan fours. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, come on, yeah. Yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah. you violated my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You fuck my shits up. And the homie was just like, 
fuck out of here, my nigga. And just kept the movie. He's like, nah, it ain't no fuck out of here. So then he escalated the situation. Mm-hmm. We didn't realize it was it's me and him and like my other homeboy, and it's like 10, 12 of them. Oh. So the shit turns into this wild, and it's a small bar. You feel me? So this shit turns into some wild brawl, people throwing shit, all going all crazy. There's one woman in there, B. She takes off her belt and starts hooking off on everybody. <laughs> everybody. Yo. Hitting niggas with a buckle, like, pow, pow, like Indiana Jones. Yeah, like, pow, pow, pow. We, went, we on the Ave, and she's still swinging the belt. I swear to God, there's sparks coming out the floor. <laughs> yeah, that's a, when I worked I in the like, strip club, there was like uh, these two groups of uh, Mexican construction workers. They got okay. into like a wild fight, but they had the wild OD buck- mm-hmm. belt, uh, belt buckles. Yeah. So we like, yo, you got, you can't fight in the club. Like, take that shit outside. Your man takes his belt buckle and keeps hitting the asphalt with it and makes sharpening it coming off the belt mm-hmm. buckle. Like, yo, who want to fuck with me? Mm-hmm. And I never see no shit. Like, I got on the phone. Like, yeah, they're Mexican. They're, Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, what club you going from? I'm like, uh, Riviera. Quick. <laughs> yo, I never seen them. I, they were like, yo, go break it up. And I was like, nah, I get off work in like two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Our first night in Paris was like a night off before like we do a big show. Yeah. We go to some hip hop club. It's like 94. Was it Club Jeebus? I don't know which club it was. That's the only, not to cut you off. That is the only club in my whole entire life as a Bronx resident. I got mugged. Wow. An right. Algerian. I was trying to get back to the self hotel, whatever, whatever. Right. In Paris. And oh, I you pull, already know what's up with the Algeria. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I pull out my phone and I'm like, yo, I'm like, oh, you black, we black, ha ha, nah, Pan Africa, ha ha, <laughs> yo, Obama. So <laughs> I'm like, yo, so for tell, da, da, da. he goes, yoink, puts it in his pocket. I'm what? there with a group of uh, British citizens, all white. And they're like, no, nah, nah. Or white. They're, 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 they're like, just let it go. Well, it looks like you lost your phone, man. One of them was like, <laughs> one of them goes, <laughs> looks like you got chooks, mate. One of them goes, don't worry about it. We'll go to the embassy in the morning. I was like, the fuck we will. <laughs> so I go and I grab the phone out of his pocket and I push him down. Okay. And he's looking at me like, this is not how we do it in France. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, yeah, you just let them take your stuff. I was like, not me. Fuck this. I'm out here. I'm from the Bronx. I'm out here by my damn self. Are they still scared of New York? Uh, I had a Yankee logo on my hat, and some girl started crying in the club. She was like, I'll never get to New York. It's, 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 it's a pipe dream. I was like, it's, it's a flight, Ma. Yeah, New York is <laughs> scared. <laughs> but um, so then, like, I'm like, everyone in my group is like, they're going to come back. We got to get out of here, whatever. So we go to, like, a taxi cab stand in right. France. So everyone's, like, smoking cigarettes. like, it's two hours for We cab. are so stressed out. We are yeah. queued up. Yeah. I was yeah. like, first of all, queue is not the right term. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, we're cool. too But I'm like, fuck yeah. this. I'm like, I'm from the Bronx. Nigga try to ride. I'm like, wild. And I got my shirt off and shit. <laughs> and so a car Who pulls up. Like, like Sam Jackson do the right yeah. thing. Who else want to fuck with Hollywood Court, huh? So a car pulls Shirtless up. Shirtless black people in France? And, like, That's not okay. A Yo. couple was about to get in the cab. And I'm like, oh, fuck that. Fuck that. This is my cab. And I bang on the door. And I was like, sofa tell, sofa tell, sofa tell. Shirtless And then the guy, the driver goes, <laughs> he like rolls down the window. He goes, hip hop, hip hop. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, my nigga, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're in the cab going back to the sofa. Tell he's like, yeah, you fuck with hip hop, yeah, uh, yeah. He's like, I love America. I love. Uh, I love uh, they do a Tony Parker scene. <laughs> so he's like, he's like, black people. Yes, 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 yes. Like, yeah, 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 You're like, it's just a flight. It's just. A flight. And then in the morning, they actually wanted me to go to the embassy to file a report. I was like, no, I, got my, wow. I got my BlackBerry back. Fuck that. But shout out to that one kid. Black my BlackBerry. BlackBerry. Algerians, BlackBerry. all right. Algerians saw Kamal, and mm-hmm. this is back when Kamal had like a oh, massive beard yeah. and a big ass fro, and they thought he was part yeah, yeah. of the rival Algerian gang. Oh, and so at, at least in '94, all they had to go on America was hood films. Yeah, like Boys in the like <laughs> that's all you had to say. Yeah. You could maybe scare them, but not the Algerians. These motherfuckers put out knives and shit and just started sparking up the ground like I never saw yeah. before. Yeah. And it was like, come out and play. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, yo, we don't do that in America. We do not do that in America. What are you doing? They sharpen their knives yeah. on the sidewalk, and we was out. Right? Yeah. That, right. when you, listen, being from the Bronx, you'd be like, yeah, motherfucker, I'm tough as shit. Well, being from Philly, you know what I'm saying, in certain areas, you're like, man, I'll fuck anybody up. You go to developing nations, my G? <laughs> just o- overseas? Right. Yeah, that shit is they different, bro. Yeah. Like, my parents used to send me to DR every summer, like, yo, th- you gonna learn, motherfucker. Like, there's motherfuckers in the street burning tires and shit. Like, yo, we gotta shut down the whole crib. They got metal shutters on the windows because the motherfuckers is on strike. They send you there just to learn how to... Yeah, like, yo, man, humble you. listen, you gotta like- bathe out this oil drum, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> with a fucking bucket of water, you know what I'm saying? You... You go shit in the outhouse, you go wipe your ass with this phone book. Yep. You know what I'm wow. saying? Here's his avocados. Are made of denim jeans, Here's like this big ass thing of avocados. Don't come home till they all sold. You know what, what I'm saying? Wow. Yes. And here's some flip flops. Go 
get to work, motherfucker. My cousins in Jamaica, they live in Tivoli Garden. Not, it's not called Tivoli. Tivoli Gardens, which is run by gunmen. Okay. So we go there on vaca- vacation. Right. And so my father's driving a rental car. And we just stopped because there is a barricade in the street where they're burning just loose pieces of woods and tires. Mm-hmm. And there's two guys with M16s just standing there. Like, you wow. cannot enter the town. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, you know, there's a sandals like two miles away from me. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so my father's like, a beaches. And he rolls down the window. He goes, Barrington, tis me, Cleveland, Cleveland, I, and your cousin. And they're like, oh, they put down the guns and the power. This is my cousins. Wow. I'm like, <laughs> blocking the road. I'm like, ah. We should go in this shit, but <laughs> there we are. Yo, so, what's like, the significance oh, of the burning tires? Like, what is that? Uh, I don't they even were, know, bro. You they know what it is? They were burning tires in that town to let the cops know that the cops were not wanted in that town. Oh, okay. Like, the gotcha. gunmen had. I thought that was a Wait, given. That's all you got to do? Well, uh, listen, <laughs> that's they don't, listen. Cops in Jamaica don't even have, like, okay. don't have, like, uniforms, really. Right. Like, it's just like, yo, like, they have, like, a the fucking Memphis Bleak promotional t-shirt and shit. Yeah. <laughs> the, losing NBA, the losing NBA team. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. They got the camo shorts Not from Dr. Funny. J's. Have you, I went to Antigua for Carnival. And it was because, the Sixers world champions. Because, <laughs> I, am, because I am Buffalo a hard-headed, Bills. York, because I'm a hard-headed American, I don't Google laws about other countries. <laughs> Apparently, in the Caribbean, you cannot wear camouflage anything. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Mm, at yeah. all. They will not allow you into the country. Seriously? Yeah. So I come in. I'm from New York. So, you know, I come in with six pairs of camo shorts. Like, yo, let's right. go. We're going all week with these shits. And some lady very politely comes up to me and she goes, you can change right now. You can be arrested. Wow. And I was like, for what? She was like, the camo shorts. That's what our cops wear. And I was like, so that's more a problem on y'all than me. <laughs> like I'm just here dripping. Like y'all just don't got us. But no, the cops the Antigua, They've they, never seen hip hop videos. No, they just wear yeah. different types of camos. You can't wear camo on the yeah. island. It's yeah, so the commandos with yeah. camos. You know what I'm saying? And those are the dudes. Yo, you could go to the fucking uh, reg- like regular regular supermarket, okay. and a dude in front of this shit got a chopper. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he don't got a flashlight, a taser, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. He, got he ain't asking for the receipt when you some come out. Fully auto <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? He just standing there like with a beer. Like I'm just like fam, like this don't. It's different. Yeah. What What did your folks do? What did What do your folks do? My pops is an HVAC technician, and okay. my mom's uh, is a teacher. But they both retired now. They moved back. You know, so, so they, they still. Oh, they back. They, in came, DR. they came. They came here, milked the titty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> took, <laughs> took, 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 took the bag back home. You know what, I'm saying? Yeah. what What about your folks? D? What did my parents do other than be miserable? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? Too. My grandfather. I forgot. I never knew what my grandfather did for a living because he's so much. Old. Like my grandfather died in ninety nine. Okay. But the wildest part was my whole life. My grandfather in the rural part of Jamaica, in the country, no paved roads, no electricity, outhouse, and everything. Blind from birth. Wow. So you know, it's always been like, "Yo, grandpa," like he's feeling our face or whatever. One day we get this wild call from my aunt. He's like, "He can see. He can see. Oh my God, he can see. Come down. Come down. Come down." And I'm like. What? And my father's like packing up shit. Like, you gotta go. Your grandfather has to see you. I was like, all right, fine. I guess this would be like a wild Hallmark moment. Like, I'm imagining my grandfather like tear up when he sees me. We pull up to Jamaica. Your man's on the porch. And he's like, hmm. I was like, my nigga, we just flew on a plane. Because we heard you can see. You really said, huh? I had to. He like, looked at me like I was a uh, fucking uh, like an old beef patty. Yeah, like, Ooh. Like, That's like, all right. I thought you were mm. more like Fuck shaggy. You, like, all right. I was like, you know what? When I go get some rainwater to drink, so I'll be hydrated. I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> You you know, it's, six so, of, it's six o'clock. The wild dogs are coming, so I gotta start for my night. <laughs> and so your folks, so are your folks? Are they stateside? They here? Your folks I, my, here? my parents are here, but okay. I got wild family in Jamaica and in England, and like in South London, Brixton. England, oh wow! Which okay. is crazy because I go there, and my aunt's like, "Don't go outside; you get stabbed." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm from the Bronx." <laughs> I was like, "Also, that's you like got, the le- I was like, like the, "Also, you guys know, like, if you put a car between the person trying to stab you, you're, you're usually good." <laughs> or you just run around in circles around the car. <laughs> but no, like, I, y'all get tired? I, I really was, I was like, "Yo, stabbing's not that serious." Uh, stabbing is extremely oh, serious. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like that's like black, yeah. black crime out there for them. Yeah. Yep. But it's just like uh, you can't take it serious because they sound like butlers. So you, just, <laughs> you can't be scared. It's like getting stabbed by Jeffrey from jeans. Mr. Look at this trousers. Stab me! Ah, look, at, oh, look at these trousers, mate. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God, I don't gutted me. Ah, uh, that's how y'all roasting out here. Like, where? Look at my trousers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, in li- in light of the ascent of the Desus and Mural brand, right? How different is it with your family now? Oh, now my mom has. She don't even hesitate, bro. She just pull up. She's like James Harden, bro. Straight to the rack. Yo, let me hold five G's. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight up. And guess me every time with the Run up and it. under and shit. Like, and one, hold. I, I, she asked for five, I ended up giving her six. 
She's like, yo, the old house, yo, there's a fucking crack in the shit, and there's, it's seeping. It's the first house that we bought in this country. She gave me the whole spiel, right, like, right, right. yo, this is our blood, sweat, and tears. Your father broke his leg behind this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was pregnant going through college with you. I, was, <laughs> I, I, I didn't speak English. I, I dropped the pair of mittens, and I was so involved. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yo, yo, she tells me, yo, every time, I, every time she used to tell me a story, every time I fucked up, she's like, yo, I was nine months pregnant with you. I was about to give birth. And I was finishing my bachelor's. You know what I'm saying? Because she had her bachelor's and her master's in DR, but when she came over here, they made her start all over. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. With, no, with no English. You feel me? So then damn, she's in like wow. CUNY, like, trying to, like, keep her head above water and shit, but she's out here killing it. But she's wild pregnant, and she had her f one pair of mittens, because, you know, DR's, there ain't no fucking snow in DR. Mm -hmm. So she had one pair of mittens, and she, her whole story was just like, you know, when I came to this country, and... <laughs> I have was pregnant with you because you were most difficult for me. <laughs> I was I was I was one hundred thirty pounds. I gained two hundred and twenty pounds. I was very big, very difficult for me. I could not bend over. So when I get off the bus, I was so embarrassed because I did not speak English. I dropped my meeting in the portal and I just left it there. <laughs> <laughs> ben, I'm ben, just ben, like. Ben. Petty, oh, petty, petty. I'm like, that's, damn, that's my, the visual of the single mitten. <laughs> just the mitten flowing in a dusty puddle. <laughs> like, the saddest thing you've ever you seen. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, those things, both of this child bro. level. <laughs> I'm like, damn, man, man you killed wow, me with this shit. So I'm like, yo, here, man, yo. What, what, what about your folks, man? You, well, what okay. did they do? So what, you said, what did they do? Well, my, parents my parents retired. Okay, they retired. retired. My okay. parents, uh, they made, you know what's really funny? My parents came here from the United States, came from Jamaica with nothing. Okay. My father, what the, city or the what first, part uh, of Jamaica? Huh? What part of Jamaica? Uh, uh, in the hills, Black uh, St. Elizabeth, okay. Black River. Any so relation, Bill? Dude, I'm pretty sure my stepmother and your parents are related. They probably are. Y'all might be cousins. So my father gets here, the first thing, the first, the first thing my father buys is Trump's The Art of the Deal. Oh, <laughs> no. No, but wow. you know, my uncle, in the 80s, my uncle read that book. That but was like, yeah. Everything he learned in that, he was able to become very successful in real estate. Like, he made a lot of money in real estate. I'm never going to see any of it because he's like, I made that, that you didn't make that little nigga. Like, I don't even know you. But, so they it's retired to Florida now. And... Oh my God! Wait, black crazy. people retired to Florida? They replied to fun, West Palm Beach because that's like fun. oh okay, that's yeah. crazy. That's West Palm like, Beach, yeah, like yeah, yeah, Jews yeah. and black folk yeah, retired that's to Florida. That's Yo, you know facts because Port St. Lucie, you know, because <laughs> my wife is Jewish. <laughs> no, my wife is Jewish, and and, and every fucking wait, pause. Yeah. Your wife is Jewish? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, no, you're not. You clearly have not heard the podcast. Where the fuck you be the Jew in the Bronx? In Florida Road. I was. I lived on 188 in Camberley with my girlfriend at the time. Play a Go ahead. And I was, and I was like. You know what I'm saying? I was doing my little thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, statute of limitations. I ain't going to say too much. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to go to this pool hall all the time that was, like, for locals. Like, this was like, yo, you, if, you're, Sharks. if you're a Fordham <laughs> student, yeah. if you're a Fordham student, like, you go to, like, Muggsy's, you go to this bar over here, you go to this bar over there because it's safe. You know what I mean? You got to show your Fordham ID to go in there. Right. She used to be up in a local pool hall with, 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 with the goons. Mm. Like, I'm up there with six dudes with North Face jackets. We all dusted with gold <laughs> grills and shit. We all look like RZA. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the wild goats and all that. And I'm like, who is this? I'm like, yo, who's this wild, light-skinned Puerto Rican chick? Like, because like, she can't be white up in here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Fast forward, like, a decade, and I'm working at a school because at this point, I'm just like, yo, I don't got no aim in life. You feel me? Like, he had 100,000 jobs. I was just, like, boosting, hustling, just trying to, like, finesse my way through mm -hmm. shit. And um, so then my mom was like, you need to stop. You need to get a real job with insurance and benefits <laughs> and things like this because in this country, that's all that matters to you is you have insurance. I was like, all right, mom, bet. I got you. <laughs> and I was like, all right, which government job does not piss test? And it's a, it a department of education. So I went over there. I got, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. 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 That's they don't piss test. You got to be how you deal with them kids. You got to be how you deal with them kids. Yo, and it, it bugged me the fuck out because the first time, like, I went there and they fingerprinted me and I was shook because I was like, I don't got no felonies, yeah. but I got a couple of misdemeanors or whatever. But they were all, like, bullshit, like, whatever. I never got caught up on no felony shit. So I, I got, like, I got, I got through that. Statue limitation. Exactly. Right. So I was like, <laughs> so I'm listening to this, like, what? What? <laughs> so, like, so I skate through the whole if process. If you see me doing the show with Don Cheeto, you know what happened. They never see me piss. You know what I'm saying? They never make me take a piss. Whatever they figure for me, I'm all good. I get nominated by the principal who used to be my English teacher back in the day. You know what I'm saying? And wow. I start working in the same school that I went to in junior high on wow. 176 or more. shot to South Bronx. You know what I'm saying? And um, this lady across the hall from me is just wild loud. And she got the worst class in the school. Like, 
they giving her like the 15, 16. This is junior high. You age out at 13, mm-hmm. 14. They 15, 16. In bend, junior high. up, beat Damn. it up. Yeah, yeah, like gang banging for real. And she got them in there reading fucking James, Joseph. Yeah, like <laughs> right. the Pearl and shit. She got them in there reading Steinbeck and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, not and, Steinbeck. Yeah, and I was just like, and I'm looking, I'm like. A Jew. I was like, who the fuck? I was like, yo, did you go to Fordham? Oh, shit, shout out to Victoria. Yeah. yeah. Not to, oh, uh, were you asking about my parents, about my. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, my sister, as a birthday gift for the flex, this is my sister right okay. there. Uh, you know, like her birthday came and I was like, damn, like I'm popping. And you know, every now and then you got to do it real hard on your family. Like, yo, yes. let me let me give you some shit you could never have in your whole entire fucking life. So, you know, I'm really on TV doing this. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so for my sister's birthday, I'm flying her and four of her friends out to Essence Fest. Oh, wow. Oh. Putting them up in a nice ass hotel. They don't got to pay for shit, pay Same. for the tickets and shit. Charlie Wilson is their bell hop. <laughs> He's like, show me the Can I take yeah. your bag? That's actually not funny. Charlie Wilson has not been to Essence Fest for three years in a row. We are it's actually Frankie Beverly is the bell Frankie Beverly. Beverly. What? Let's she got the all white outfit with the white Sunday night. Ah. But um, no, like Essence every night she texts me. She's like, I can't believe this. This is so like with the wild crying emoji. I was like, Yeah, you enjoy that. Yeah, enjoy that. <laughs> that'll that'll buy you 15 months. Yeah, yeah. but not for the, I used Trust to work. Me. I used to work at. Oh. Yeah, I used to work at Essence Fest. <laughs> oh, so, you work at Essence Fest? I've, I've had every job. <laughs> I've had every job. I got I got deaded by uh, what Kenya Moore at uh, oh, Essence Fest. Oh shit! I Are tried you to serious? holler. You try to. I tried to holler backstage at an open bar, and her boyfriend was right there. She was like, what are you doing, little nigga? <laughs> Kid wow. your boy like seven feet tall. I, I had that head in my system. I, was, I came up and was like, what's up, ma? <laughs> she didn't say, I didn't say anything Shoot after that. <laughs> I've been curbed by some of the hottest women in the world. Like, uh, what's her name? The shorty, from, shorty from Scandal? Uh. Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington. Yeah, she's a master curve. Yo, fam, I came up to her, and I was like, you from the Bronx? I'm from the Bronx. What's up? She's like, nah, nigga. She was like, and she literally said to me, are you for real right now? <laughs> <laughs> what year? Wait, say the Last Dance era or? Ooh, scandal, like season scandal. three. Oh, oh, so she's oh, the oh so season, season three. I, I, I was yeah. wild. Nah, that, was yeah. a, that was a Steph Curry. Oh, nigga, that was a damn You want to know how dusty I was? hate me. You want to know how dusty I was? I had just fought with the owner of the nightclub. I was like, $5 for coat check? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I just bought my shit up behind this chair over here. What's wrong with you? So, you know, we come Ooh, far away. Yo, no. Damn, man. I'm trying to come and save the last dance, Eric Carey. Yeah. yeah no, she was, was married then. Yeah, I, I you know You got to shoot the shot. It's Hollywood, baby. It's Hollywood, baby. I know. <laughs> Just so, a dude from Saving the Last Dance. So, I got to ask if... Okay, so I always have this jinx thing when people upgrade... Then there's a fear that they might lose the rawness of the demo. Right. I.e. RZA leaving the projects and making Wu Tang Forever out right. in LA. I.e. you making things fall apart. Oh. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Wow. You, you meant phrenology. You meant phrenology. You meant yeah. phrenology. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. I enjoyed water. Nigga, yeah. <laughs> <Dang it>, yes. <laughs> anyway, is, are there any concerns with. You guys upgrading, of course, to a higher level that you might it. lose the rawness. You know what? It's, Fam, it's like, I'm on Twitter right now telling Car- Tucker Carlson, Tucker Carlson, Carlson. Fuck him up. Shots fired. I, t- I said Tucker Carlson, I'll fuck you up, B. Yeah, that's not that's not what we're talking about. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I don't care. Like, not what we're talking about. At all. Like, I don't care. <laughs> but I'm gonna still do what I do. I, I like to think of it as like Jay Z, early Jay Z versus he's talking that gun talk. He's yeah. talking that coke talk. He's talking that Bronx. He's talking that Brooklyn shit. Now his soul is colorless. Now, just, <laughs> now my soul but, is colorless. But Jay Z made a gradual transition. You see my now he's pain. a father. Now he's a philanthropist. Now he's doing charity. So you in blue era, he blue grew era. up. Yeah, you know blue mean, like he's era. a father. Yeah, he, the problem is, Quest, is that you don't see. He sees your pain, so you don't see his pain. Like Jay Z was talking about leaving <laughs> condoms on baby seats. Like, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes, he and was. And yeah. I feel, you know, like, no, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm king upgrade. Yeah, I know. You know about the upgrade. But I'm just saying. Is, fear have you found it? an easy transition? There's a fear of it because you, you definitely see Can't fans like, I love the, I love Shut the last up. show. <laughs> Bill. You have, you have fans that are like, oh, I love the last show. You should have never stopped doing the last show. But it's like, fam, we just keep leveling up. Yeah. You, and you have to come with us. You have to believe in the brand. You have to believe in the message, believe in our I talent. I mean, from and joking we're off. we're doing better stuff. To... From joking off. Yeah. My God, joking off. Yeah. Joking off. When we said like two jokes that were cleared by Viacom and they were just like, <laughs> like we were, they were like, what's a, we did one joke and it, like I came on and I was like, Pa 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 pa, and it was like we had to explain to the audience what that was, <laughs> and it was like that's a Chicago lullaby, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's why we were not in the next season of, of Joker. <laughs> but you know, like that's the kind of humor. That's Is it harder in front of an audience? 
You know, no, we love an audience because the audience is uh, media feedback mm -hmm. for your jokes and stuff. And people, the people who come into our show fuck with us heavy, so they get the humor. So you can you can do that kind of dark, sick humor that mm -hmm. maybe not translates on Showtime, but the audience gets it. Yeah. And then if people at home hear the audience laughter, they're like, okay, maybe I just got to say something there. I, yeah. I, I have one complaint about the new show. Uh, the rainbow. Hear it, but you know, no, it's, it's not the it's, it's not the rainbow. Not the bear either. The what? Not the, the bear. bear. I bought the motherfucking shirt with the bear on it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's limited edition now. Now it's vintage, and now there's no fucking bear on the show. I why mean, is there no bear? Because because it's in, a, it was in the vice office. Yeah. 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 Yo, 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 really in a conference room? We were in the conference room. Okay, we were that. Our that's where y'all taped that show. Fam, it was like this. Well, with three cameras back yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Wow. Yeah. Straight up. And y'all take couch, what over was here, your, couch over there. So what was y'all's weekly schedule like taping that shit? What tape was show, tape show, tape show, tape show, tape show, die. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, no, a tape show four times a week and then the podcast Friday. Damn. Wow. We have we have Fat Joe's, I guess, and he was like, yo, fam, you got to move to Jersey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for him. Like, yeah. he's like, yo, you got to move to Jersey because you live on Tremont. I know where you live. You know what I'm saying? I moved there because I thought it was nicer than my old hood. Mm -hmm. And once I started, like, people started being like, yo, that's Fat Joe. Like, motherfuckers started approaching you. Like, yo, you got yeah. money, this, and third. Wow. So then he was like, yo, and you got mad kids, bro? He's like, you're not going to find nothing that's going to accommodate your kids, your family, your, your fucking dog, all this shit. Jersey. You know what I'm saying? So you got to just cross that bridge, bro. Dude, I did cross, it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think Joe Don't lives down. to death two Joe blocks lives away down from my house uh, two nights ago. And Who I was does? like, all right, we keep the rent down. <laughs> <laughs> Joe lives down the street from Tariq. Yeah, uh, in Jersey, South yeah. Orange. Yeah, everyone in everyone, every, every, every famous every, person lives in one town in Jersey or yeah, some shit. Yeah, every everybody I that's mean, getting like money in New York moves Tariq, to Tariq, Lauren, Joe, and well, Tariq moved away from but Lauren, a, but, oh, okay. but, but now his new next door nemesis is Dion. What? Yeah. She's out she, there like that's she, what friends are for, <laughs> motherfucker. She's one of them like. Uh, uh, let me not slander. Dion Warwick. Yeah, Dion Warwick. Tariq is going to end up on the next Dion Warwick album. Watch. Nah, no, not all like, the way live from the two one five. I feel like <laughs> she's one of the people. Like, if your ball goes over her fence, she's going to get it back. She's that that I can see. That I can see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to be the first celebrity. Stab and shit like. I want to be the first celebrity to move into Camden and like really upgrade. <laughs> revitalize. No, look, you and I got the same goals in life. Like yeah. Camden is just it's, waiting it's, to happen. It's waiting. I'm kind of waiting for like the LGBT community mm -hmm. moving first, and then Quest will take over Camden. <laughs> I'm <laughs> serious. Over. Camden nah, is dirt don't, cheap. Don't, don't and do it. Ready. What well, I love about brother, Camden was no, like the first like time. Brother. The first time I ever went to you Philly, wild. I was dating a girl that she was working for the Obama administration in Philly, mm -hmm. and so I'm taking the mega bus. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my, yeah. my nigga, when that well, nigga, not, not, not the Fung Wah bus, but no, the Mega bus. The Mega bus. Oh, damn. So the, you know the Mega bus. The, makes, the, the Mega bus <laughs> makes an unscheduled stop to stop to change drivers in Camden. Oh, <laughs> my nigga, I'm that on that bus. Drop, like, oh, what? <laughs> oh, we stopping in Camden? <laughs> yeah, yeah, hurry up, y'all. Hurry up. <laughs> I never even stepped foot in Camden, dog. You can't stop yeah. at red light. The, the yeah. furthest I ever went into Jersey was, was Newark. You know what I'm saying? Because my uncle had a mm -hmm. liquor store out there that got robbed bi-weekly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I don't give a fuck. He's like, I'm selling like 40 bottles of Hennessy a day. I don't care, nigga. Like, I got insurance. Like, I'm good. I got the shoddy under the fucking counter. Like, ha half the time, motherfuckers don't even rob this shit because I just pull up. And they're like, okay, never mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, my shit's unloaded. Do you know the really bad Wendy's in uh, Center City? Uh, it's, it's 15th and Chestnut? Yeah. Where Kanye and Kim had their dinner? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. shorty that I was rocking Why do I know that? <laughs> the Obama office was right above that Wendy's. Okay. I know where. So, I, I would just where. say, I would be in like the wild hood Wendy's waiting for, and shorty had life together. She was like, I'm going to be president one day, da, da, da. I was like, yeah, yeah, the guy carry guns. <laughs> but, <laughs> she was, and I was, I was like, she was like, oh my God, I can't believe you come all the way from the Bronx to see me from, on a mega bus. I was like, I'm just trying to fuck. <laughs> like, is she still in the picture now? No, like she's like I don't even want to say her name because she's like very high up in politics and shit. But Ooh. like, like she be looking at Jesus and Mirror like, damn, I dodged a bullet. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant no. I would have I would have tanked her Listen, career. And shit. Yeah, nah, that I'm was, so uh, glad that all my ex girlfriends are failures, dog. Because <laughs> I could like blatantly say their names and be like, yo, you could check her out at Riviera's <laughs> <laughs> Saturday night. You know what I'm saying? She now might I feel be bad because like Gotti. some of my exes are trying to do things. Like shout out to my ex Kamala, you know she's trying to work. Nigga, I fell for that. I was like, what? <laughs> I had to go with the clicky. Like, yo, what's up? Or you these fast. five, four pieces. Yo. <laughs> I I have to say. 
Is, did we get? Did we learn anything this episode? I feel like we've been yelling for like yeah. three yeah. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> my, my <laughs> point, Steve hasn't said shit. Steve has shit. shit. This, yeah, Steve, Steve has been ask quiet. Ask one Steve, question, please. Ask one thing. question, Steve. Steve is off the edible. This is <laughs> one. <laughs> Steve, this is one episode where you weren't funny or said anything. You didn't say shit. Steve. I didn't have to say shit. This you time. were like bagel, 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 bagel. Steve, ask us some. Steve didn't have to cover for the rest of us. No, I'm, I heard you guys like the Yankees, though, so... Uh, like the Yankees? Yeah. yeah. Sir, 27 rings, I die on this shit. Yo, fam, with, like, I fuck with the Yankees so hard that I see CC Sabathia at a Nick game, and I texted him, and I was like, yo, can you give me a ride back into Jersey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, hey, no doubt, cuz. <laughs> For real? Do you understand how many times when I get drunk, I've had ex-girlfriends, like, stop, like, they're dragging me from tattoo parlors, I'm like, no, I'm getting the Yankees logo on my neck. <laughs> like that every time I get drunk, that's what I want to do. Like I've stopped now that I'm on showtime. But listen, it's a new season. Like, you know, anything's possible. So y'all must have been real depressed in two thousand four. Oh yeah. Two thousand four was Yo, two thousand four worst. Y'all must was, have been real depressed. No, let me tell you what happened. I, I was in Boston. Ma'am, I went to a bar was... every night. Not a bar in fan. New York. Not a bar in the Bronx. I went into Manhattan every oh, night shit. to watch the game. And at the game three, I'm like, I'm like we, we got know, this. We cooking you, blah blah blah. Game seven. Not only do we lose, it's raining as I leave the night. I leave the bar. I trip. I cut my G Star jeans. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. G Star Raw. I rip. Star I like have the, the wild cut on my knee. You can see exposed bone. Now I'm on the Stitches. two train going home. I'm like silently snot. It's like, and I have like head to toe Yankee gear. And this lady gets on the train at 96 BC. Did we win? <laughs> I like, no, I'm bleeding. I'm like, I'm like, everyone on the train is crying. What do you think? See we didn't win. Eyes? Dog, I was fucking with a shorty that was from Dorchester. Riviera. From Do- <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a different one. No. <laughs> she she was biracial, and her grandmother was dumb racist. Oh, which wow. Was, which was crazy, because I just had to sit there and just, like, eat, because she was, like, 99 years old. Oh, you yeah. feel me? So it's like, you ain't checking a 99. You ain't changing your mind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just sitting there, and she's just talking all crazy, like. She's like, I owned you. I was like, all right. I was like, ma'am? I was like, no, I was like, man, my parents came here in the seventies. No, no, I own you. I got the <laughs> hold on, I got the papers right here. <laughs> yeah, it was wild, but now um Oh my god, wait. Zara just sent me Uh oh. <laughs> you tweeted to Tucker Carlson. Oh, fuck Tucker Carlson. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you are Zara's hero if you knew Zara was. Zara's like the She most loves Tucker Carlson. White bread. <laughs> Yeah, I is, yeah. What's wild is didn't John uh, John Stewart got Tucker Carlson out of the paint like years ago, and then he just popped back up on Fox yeah. News. Yeah, because yeah. he was on CNN. You know what? Him and Ben. Also, I want to like take this case out right now to say Ben Shapiro will make you piss blood if I ever see you in the streets. But um, <laughs> damn, him. it's just like there's a lot of people on Twitter and a lot of conservative people that just tweet, and you can see they've never been punched in the face. Yeah. Straight and up, and there's like there's up. repercussions for things you tweet. And I think niggas need to start beating up conservative tweeters. <laughs> That's really it. That's like, yeah, if you get if you get duffed in the face, you there's a certain you learn a you, lesson. You learn humility. You, you learn a lot of happen to, to you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It ain't it ain't you ain't above that. Because yeah. the whole time before yeah. it happens, you're like, oh my god, what if what if I get punched in the face? What does it feel like? What do I what do? Is, what happens? How, how then you get two pieces. You're like, oh, oh shit, that was not bad. That's character building. Like, I hate those. When's the last time you've been in a brawl though? Like a brawl brawl? A brawl brawl. Yeah. Uh, probably when I was doing security. Down the nightclub? street, right? Wait, how many jobs you had, yo? I'll you might it. be a mirror. Like I've had. You want me to go? I can name them. You down, want me to name ten jobs right now? I've done construction. I've done. I've been a mechanic. I sold domain names. I installed DNS servers for the internet. I've been a web administration. I've done. Uh, I. Black uh, Enterprise. Black Enterprise. I was a business report. A business report. Small business reporter for Black Enterprise magazine. I scanned in lithiographs for the New York Public Library for the Digital Library Project. I worked on the Schomburg digitalizing slavery artifacts. I was on a street team for Chico the Bard. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yo. The first wow. album. The first wow. A long time ago. Yeah, I went to I went to jail for Chico the Bard. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I was yeah, he was in jail. <laughs> Chico the Bard went to jail for Chico exactly. the Bard. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, nothing in life is guaranteed. How? Joe's next to me. How? No, what happened was I was putting up um posters. Oh, I thought he was holding his coke. Uh, I he was so, holding a coke in your ass. So I'm working with a He's like, I got Chico, I got you, Chico. Hold so up. So I'm working with a guy from uh. Brooklyn. And so the cops pass by, and I, I'm like, I'm like, yo, Jake, 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 Jake. Which, right. What does Jake mean? Yeah. That's, yeah, it's that's Jake. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. But 12, apparently nigga. in that part, at that time in New York, Jake was very regional just for the Bronx. Right? Ah. So people in Brooklyn were calling the cops Jake, so no one realized what it was. And then three Yankee fans come up to me like, hey, uh, you putting the posters? 
Yeah, oh, yeah. Shit. Why don't you uh, spread your cheeks and turn your ass uh, around and uh, put these cuffs on? Oh, <laughs> post no yeah. bills and post no bills, yeah. And I was working for Relativity Records. Wow! Wow! wow. wow. Throwback. Thro- let it, relative. What year was you working for Relativity? Uh, Busy Bone had just dropped. <laughs> nigga. Ah. nigga, did you meet Busy nigga. Bone? That nigga Busy, busy Bone. Busy Bone. Busy Bone. Busy Bone played his yes, album for Lord. us. Oh, oh, praise God. In the conference room. How that feel? How that feel? So here's my Busy Bone story. So Busy Bone is playing his demo album for everyone at Relativity Records. The conference room is located in the middle of the floor of Relativity Records. The conference room is completely see-through and transparent. And Busy Bone says, I refuse to play the album inside the conference room unless the walls are covered with paper because I do not want the song to leak out and other people will steal it. <laughs> like paper? Just paper, paper goes paper. Just, No, like, just paper. Like, just like, like print the paper. Yeah. So <laughs> me and two other interns, I was like, I'm not an intern. I'm on a street team. They was like, nigga, you are an uh, intern. <laughs> <laughs> you are an uh, intern. <laughs> so we spent an like, hour just taping paper. Like eight of, and a half by 11. Yes. And then we all sit down and listen to his paper. triple disc album. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I remember that. At what, it yeah. was this like, is what it sounds like when the car. Oh my god! And I'm sitting there like I'm like Prince cleared that. I was like, y'all might be better off with Raw Syndicate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, uh, wait, I'm not Steve. I know I can fuck him up. Were you there? Oh God, it was on. Did Steve have to put a paper on the wall? Maybe? No, no, no. I'm, I'm thinking of the greatest, one of the greatest April Fool jokes I ever played. I don't believe it. Were you in the studio with D'Angelo when I made Rozelle call Electric Lady as Chico DeBar? Wow, name dropper. <laughs> Nigga, this shit <laughs> happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, Rozelle is such a big name. <laughs> No, no, no. We were. Nigga said Rosal like you said Prince. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 your girl over yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there. Nah, 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 nah. All jokes aside, all jokes aside. So great. All jokes aside. Holy yo, shit. You, nigga, I, I bought I, his I, album. Yeah, fact. I bought his album. Right, right, so that was the right. question. I, I, I bought Rosal's album. What album? Now we can talk. What albums did you get finessed <laughs> in the mind? Thanks uh, to OK um, Player. Um, what's the name? Make you feel that way? What's it called? Uh, Black Alicious. Uh, no, come on. Black Alicious was dope. I like that shit. I like that shit. Nia, Nia, Black Alicious. I like that shit. 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 So, you didn't like Syrah? You didn't like Syrah? I, I, don't, you know what it was? It wasn't I didn't like Syrah. It was like people I didn't like like Syrah. <laughs> <laughs> you, if you're a hip-hop hater, you know what I'm talking about. I don't you, know. You, you are, you are, like you, a, you, you are an okay player artist. hater. I'm an okay player. Remember when, when, when Quali said that? And I was like, Wait. I was like, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when Quali DM'd all of us about uh, don't leak the bootleg of his album? He did. He did. Because we're taking money out of his kids' mouth. Well. <laughs> Love you, Quali. Yo, what uh, the wait, fuck? Wait, was he? Jim was a hundred. See, trying to tell me Quali has been going at motherfuckers on the yes. internet. This is yes. no, yeah, this is yeah, that's his mo. Like, yes, no, been you, on you realize that? Okay, player got shouted out on College Dropout. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> because, oh, he's something saying something like, like, like okay, okay, player, player hater. hater. And was like, what and is he that? Was, he was probably talking about one of the people. He was definitely in this room was talking right about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Either me or Phil. Wow. <laughs> so we were some haters. I was like, but okay, you remember like, this? But your girl, girl, Jill, she made her jam too. The hate on yeah, me. Hate that on me. That was about us too. Yes. There was a period in 2004 where everyone. I was on fucking. Don't tell me you were. I was gonna say, don't tell me you were on the nerd message, nerd message boards. I was on the fucking. You remember when? You remember what? Okay, player. And Afro Punk had beef. Yo, <laughs> we still got beef, motherfucker. Yo, they were trying to no. kill Big Red. Yo, I was I was going through <laughs> the archives today, just like before we came in, I saw the post you made about Afro Punk has declared a fatwa on Big Red. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. You were wilding on the, uh, back on the day. Uh, nigga, like, listen. Oh, yeah. Yo, that's, man. Yeah, we none of us had no damn job. No. <laughs> no, 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 I had a job. All day. I had a job. I just didn't do my job. No, I mean, I, I mean, if, if that shit came out, like, none of us yeah, would have no, jobs today. Job. Like, it was, yo. That people was leaking wild, nudes, but adding rap songs to them? <laughs> wait, that what? That nigga Lunchbox. Ooh. Lunchbox. Ooh. <laughs> lunchbox. <laughs> wait, wait. Last, 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 I mean, Yo, this, this is, is the, the first most... time ever you and I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> well, it's it's no, weird for me. Like, like, wait, bro, wait, wait, you don't understand. Be that guy. Wait, it's you, don't understand. you and me. It's happen? weird for me because I own that place yes. and still didn't know. <laughs> Nigga, you don't understand. You don't understand. We believe you are the best part of OK Player was the amount of disrespect and animosity we had for Questlove. Let's talk about it. Like every day we're on that side, we're like, 
sequel. He was yeah. like, yo, fuck that nigga. <laughs> wow. I remember, I remember one time on. you put up a post yeah. and he was like, yo, y'all don't really know me like that. Like, <laughs> my name's Quest Love to y'all. Don't be calling me Amir. I was like, yo, fuck you, Amir. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nigga, I on your shirt. I'm stomping on your couch. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm going to be a black lady tonight. Wow. Say something. I'm going to be a black lady tonight. <laughs> Wow. And then you got the 15. Yeah, he's 15, yeah. yeah. You were there when I became I, 15. Damn, man, been no, we've been there from day one. Someone man. asked. Someone me. explain what the fuck is going on right now. <laughs> so Wait, okay, okay, yeah. We so, need to give somebody. How, so, how, okay, what we're talking asked about. asked me four days ago, how did I get the name 15? And I had to look on... All right, so wait, Flo Brown, Brown has some beef with us. I don't know why. Yes. You might want to explain who Flo Brown is. Yeah. <laughs> that would help. Why? Yeah. Even Why? Google's like, ah. Uh, hold on, let me ask Jeeves. We don't have no idea what's happening. Right. Look, look, look. Okay, okay, we got to okay. get the audience. Okay, like, listen. Bill, this uh, is what we're talking about. This okay. is what we're talking about. We're talking about OK Player. OK yes. Player is okay player. Black, black Twitter. OK Player. Black Twitter. Com. Dead ass. The OK yes. Player is the fucking mother it's, site. It's All where it's where I got my it's where I got my training. It's where it's called the Coliseum now, but it was called something. But no, it's the Coliseum, like in Rome, ancient Rome, where they used to kill niggas. And, yeah. yeah, but yeah. no, it was the Coliseum. Yeah. That was that shit was OK. Player was gladiator training. Yeah. Yeah. People that think that a Twitter dragging now, what oh. that is, Ooh, that that all the shit. metaphor. The that metaphor. metaphor. You ain't see nothing yet. You ain't see nothing. I was on a message board called the Fast Fire. Now it's on Smash dot com. Okay, and that's where like a lot of the ASAP dudes started bubbling from there. Okay, and you know what I'm saying rest in peace ASAP Yams. Yeah, yeah. I was on there. And I was just talking wild reckless because I was like maybe two years older than the median age on that fucking <laughs> message board. So I'm talking to this one dude from Canada and he's just like, yo, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? We got goons out here too. Like, fuck you. F fuck the Bronx. Fuck every other. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yo, at this point in my life, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm ready to scrap with anybody. Come see me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, pull up. Meet I'm like, me in Temecula. I was like, yo, word. I was like, tell me where to meet you. <laughs> and I'm going to fucking meet you right there. So boom. So unbeknownst to me, Yams. You know what I'm saying? Has a screen name on there, and his, him and his man. I'm going back and forth for his man. Ah, you feel me? Yeah. So like, I'm, me and him going back and forth. Ah, yo, 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 and he's like, yo, pull up to 116th and whatever the fuck. Ah, I was like, I right, bet. So Ooh. I called my man, my man most. You know what I'm saying? The only nigga I know with a car. I was like, bro, <laughs> I was like, bro, we gotta go up to 116th right now. I gotta fuck this little nigga up. You know what I'm saying? Let him know what's popping. So we go up there. And I was like, yo, and then he's like, yo, you really gonna fight this dude, bro? He's probably like 15, 16 and shit. You like 20 and shit. Like, <laughs> like you can't be doing this. Like yeah, that's shit. not okay player. Yeah, yeah nah, that's, that's not. not they pulled up and was like, what's up? Up. So then, so then up. every day so the next day was like, yo, well, yo, who won? <laughs> so then I or, it. or they left your ass when they went to Detroit. There was pull up <laughs> moments? <laughs> This oh my God. God. Look, you don't know about pull-up moments? Yo, wait, 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 So then I said, yo, you know it's what? You're right. Fucking story. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna fight this little nigga. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pull up. I got a fire extinguisher in the back. I'm going to pull up. <laughs> I'm going to jump out. And when niggas try to hook off, I'm going to just be like, <laughs> and spit all these niggas, punch one of them, and then we out. You know what I'm saying? All right. So then, boom. So then we go up there. Nobody shows up. <laughs> Fast forward, like, yo, 2015, mm -hmm. DM from Yams. Yo, fam, do you still go by YSKYS? I was like, wow. yeah, you should kill yourself? <laughs> yeah, that was me. Uh why? He's like, yo, fam, yo, 1,000 Hail Marys to you, my G. Yo, fucking, yo, your blog is ill, because I had a blog called Victory Like, Yeah, yeah. He's like, yo, I'll fuck with that shit crazy. Like, yo, you should come through. Yo, Ferg, I'm get, yo, Ferg is oh, working no. on the album, Rocky. And that was when Purple Swag had just came out and yeah, started yeah. hitting. So I was just like, yeah, no doubt, let's get it. You know what I mean? So, so then that started that whole, like, friendship that we had or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, it blew my mind. I, I was, was like, set up. I was like, <laughs> right. in my head, I was like, yo, I, was, I almost fucked you up, man, when you was like 15. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo. Uh, like, okay, play your shit was now, different. Now, imagine that shit was like, wild, dude. Wait, 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 sir. There was, there was, I thought y'all were a bunch of dweebs. No. Nah, yeah, that's what nah, everyone else thought. Y'all nah, nah, was for real? Nah. Do you remember yeah. Janice? Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes fuck yeah, I remember wild. Janice. So, <laughs> Janice is wild. Shout out to Rare Form. Janice got dealt with? No, shout out to Rare Form. Because Rare Form, <laughs> we had a party on the low east side what? called Stone, Stone Soup. Soup. Stone Soup. Yeah, it was a, yeah, yeah, it was a yeah. party, and they provided free soup to people. Yeah, yeah. Janice had been talking extremely. Yes, I know Janice. That nigga was going soup party. That man was like, yo, he was what like, yo, fuck? I'll get you. Cause I didn't. No, I had to, that shit I was ill as fuck. Don't knock it. Don't knock it. What yo, about, what, don't, what? don't knock was, the soup party, yo. That shit was hot. The party with soup. Like, yeah, that, the that soup was hot. hot. The soup was hot. <laughs> 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 this nigga said, nigga, 
You invite me to a soup party, nigga, I'm deleting you out of my phone. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you just have a rap battle with a 16 year old. Wait, 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 when you smack the shit and this yeah. free soup, yeah. my nigga, you good as money. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, I'm drinking that shit with my hand like, ah, ah, ah. So Lay Janice, so, you, know, you know, like every, you know, it was like, it was, the party was like Wednesday or Thursday. Just sponsor and my so sparks. Janice the whole time, he's like, yo, y'all talking this, this, I got Campbell. shooters, yada, yada, yada. Like, y'all talking like I can't get niggas touched. Blah, blah. And I was like, oh, you get, oh, oh, that's how we talking? So I come through with the blicky. Like, yo, what's yeah. good? <laughs> I'm like, what's up? I'll shoot this whole stone shoe shit up. No, he didn't show up. So now I'm just drinking soup with a gun on my waist. Like, oh, <laughs> or, or my, like, or on the real, so much I soup. thought Janice was the alias for either South Philly man <laughs> so, oh, or SPM, South Philly wow. man. So or, SPM, SPM. Or wait, I kind of thought Frank. Uh, FWMJ. I oh, thought, okay. I thought, I thought yo, in the beginning, I thought it was him. All right. So we, we're talking. We're talking about, about. We're talking about a chat room. Yeah, or yeah. A message, uh, uh, yeah, but, that's what we're talking no, about. We're talking about somebody on the chat room. But I want to know if you remember Behold Me. Yes. You hold me. Yes. yes. And he always yes. has like the wall pornographic fucking yeah. avatars and shit. <laughs> you built a oh. terrible place, Questlove. <laughs> that, that shit was. That shit was. You guys cool. have like friends that get laid so, during this time. You remember oh, the, the chick that had? Wait, wait, no, wait, no, yo, yo, wait. Hold on, hold on. You, you remember the chick that had? Supposedly it was a hoax that had cancer. Yeah. And she yeah, was yeah. Uh, my life. Yeah. Yes, so like the, the white girl, pussy. and she lied yeah. about having cancer. Yeah. Yeah. There, was, there, was, there was that. She was the OG scammer. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, time out. What they call her? They, they called it somebody. They was they getting there. They called her cancer pussy. Cancer pussy. <laughs> they called her cancer wow. pussy. Wow. Wait, down to the keyboard. Remember keyboord? Be the Ari Vesley. Rest in peace, Stacey. What the fuck? What did you do? Oh, what you got? Shameka. I'm here. Shameka, yeah. I'm here. You've created a shit show, my man. Shameka, DJ Teddy Bear. Listen, listen. Here's the deal. Oh, Shameka. I'm here. Oh, man. Aaron Aaron Haley. Haley. Like Jay-Z used to lurk in the lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Work master. Shout out to disco Shout DJ Sean Haley. Wow. Sean Haley. Rest Shout out to Mr. Mr. What's his name? Mr. Monotone, who would defend R. Kelly every day. No, 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 no. no. That wasn't Mr. Max. 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 Yo, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Hey, did you ever listen? Did you ever hear Mr. Max's tapes? No. My Ooh. nigga. Wait. <laughs> I got you. Wait, you still got him? Yes. <laughs> it's it's like an hour. It's like an A and a B size thirty minutes. Ooh. That nigga's a fucking lunatic. Also, I don't I don't want to be this guy. Wait, 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 but wait. any nude that ever leaked on, okay, but I still got that shit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Any, any, any nude? To, to go back to go back to Mr. Max. Bit map from nineteen ninety seven. I still got that. Shit. <laughs> wait, 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 to go back to Mr. Max for a second. Files. Yo, Jesus, get on Amazon and just like. You'll find a ton <laughs> of Mr. Max reviews. What? He's reviewed fucking everything. Really? He was nah. a nutso. Yo, nuts, nuts. nuts. He was fucking real. insane. That's, I mean, that's what you get. Oh, God. God. What did like I regular do? Regular niggas that's just yeah. uh, working in an office type shit. And the best part, the <laughs> best part the to me is they at the crib. Like. The whole thing of OK Player was, you know, I don't want to name any names. Someone was busy traveling and abandoned us. <laughs> Basically, oh, Quest, wow. Questlove is the guy that made the tunnels in the us. In us. I don't want to say that. And then walked away. But then anytime <laughs> Questlove would like tweet something, we'd be like, thank you, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember that? Yo, when I was working. Thank you, Papa. When I was working at OK player i used to get messages from somebody that i'm not going to name her name <clears throat> starts with a k coco uh, yeah and oh yeah i used oh, yeah. to get messages from her whenever the boards were down tell dad that the board is down oh my god <laughs> fam when the boards boards would go down i wouldn't no. know what to do yo Amir, i was like could you guys please it's fix called your, work it's, it's like, called you're, work you're, i was like could work. you guys please fix your cgi dash bin <laughs> file the dc forum is down again it's been you know it hasn't been Quest, did you, you know, that? Have, you did you know we spun off and made a separate site called Lucy? Yeah. That was Lucy, for like yeah. the most, the, the most, like Lu the Lucy most was, stushy people off yeah. of OK Player. Oh, word? And when we look down on people on OK Player, until, oh, yo, yo, a true yeah. head you was popped out. True head. Wow, shout out to Jesse. Yeah, call this, call hey, those pretentious assholes. <laughs> Amir, what'd you learn today? I learned that, <laughs> nigga, you don't understand, Yo, I ain't bro. Shit, man. How you, many, how many okay babies were the was it? It was a couple of okay babies, too. Damn, it was a bunch. Do you remember the house party where someone sprinkled weed over the macaroni and then informed everyone afterwards? You mean my ex-roommate? Woo! Let's talk on it. <laughs> you can sprinkle weed it's over the macaroni? Nigga, son. <laughs> Hold on, you gotta, you gotta have, like, an alternate message board. And, like, and not to mention that somebody that was that was pregnant was about to eat that macaroni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Do you remember when I uh, right. I played Truth or Dare at someone's housewarming, and uh, as I was tonguing down the girl, the gun fell out of my pocket? <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> and I had to jump on it, and I the, thought no one saw it. was live. And everybody was like, yo, no, he's running I don't from the Bronx. I was like, I brought a gun to Moe's. <laughs> In Brooklyn? In Brooklyn. Wow. I didn't, I didn't know what it was. Cause I was like, oh, it's a club in the in the. What the gun or Moe's? Moe's. Yeah, it's oh. like a little. And Shorty was like, bar. Shorty was like, no, it's like a Simpsons themed bar. Yeah. And I was like, that's just a Brooklyn. I'm bringing the blue. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what? What was your what was your what was your, what was your piece? It's a uh, 45 uh, PPK. Okay, PPK. Walter Mac. Walter Mac. You know you had the extra clip, eight bullets. I was like, let's go. You can stick it in a club. I'm not. Him. What, uh, what listen, the fuck? Every gun I ever got handed, I'm like, I'm like, yo, this shit got duct tape on the handle. I don't know what it is. All right, so, 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 yeah. so, 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 Arrested Development, greatest rap, rap group not. ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, the greatest rap group since... Confession? Speaking well, no. Of, speaking of confession, I'm proud of this shit. I bought the rest of the development second album. I had a well, Zingle Lama Zingle Lama Zingle Lama was Zingle Lama Zingle It was not bad. It was not a bad album. It was I had this window. Come on. As as a DJ, yes. I I was once told by a white DJ that a tribe called Quest was white girl college music. Wow. Yeah. I was like, fam, what? In a decade. I hate like uh, like the late nineties, early aughts. Uh, when white hip hop fans but have to the get roots holier that than thing? thou. No, I I never played the roots in the club. Like that's of course not. That's instant dance floor clearing. <laughs> Everybody going to get a drink. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like you can talk to Shorty and shit now. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, Till this of, next yeah. record. It's like a Tip your bars in the heat. Then you hear Molly Perkinson. I'm like, uh, what? I can't hear you. We was, we, was, we was good. I can't hear you no more. When you put on a Roots record, that's when the bartenders love you because that's when everybody goes to the bar. Right. Right? And they leave tips. <laughs> There you go. See, so you should play Roots records. I had I had a plan the whole the whole time. Yes. <laughs> Smart Yo, plan. is there anything? We, wow, I'm wait. I'm just mind blown. That, I, can I say nigga, something? You don't I, I, I don't think I we've questions. asked one question. We did, <laughs> no, but we learned I'm everything. But we learned, but that's the thing. No, it doesn't matter. I have we, I have a question though. I have, I have, shut up, Bill. Yes. <laughs> I want to know because like, I watched the show, uh-huh. the Vice show and the Showtime show, and it's very New York. Uh-huh. So what I want to know is, has the city of New York, like, reached out to you guys and, like, you know, tried to, you know. Give you key to the city. Key, like to, the key city. to the city or, like, some kind of, like, a, make you, like, well, like official ambassadors to yeah. the city. The yeah. Bronx. Have you thrown out the pitch at the Yankee game yet? Not yet, but soon come. You, you know what I'm saying? Stay. Don't do it. And not, but it's, it's wild because, like, we're getting courted by, like, other New York shit. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to say lesser, but, like. Uh, NYCFC, mm-hmm. right, and like shit like that. You know what I mean? Shit Rangers, that to, like, bring up. yeah, exactly. Uh, Yo, they just had some shit of a video of us on Twitter from the official NHL like shit talking about hockey. I was like, I don't know shit about hockey. <laughs> All I know is I, like the only thing that I know about hockey is that every time I will go to DR, like, is gambling is legal over there, and you will have a motherfucker that doesn't speak a lick of English, doesn't has never touched foot in the United States of America or Canada or anywhere where they play hockey. But he can tell you everything that is to know about the Minnesota Wild Brentford. and every wow. player times about him because he's betting. You know what I'm okay, saying? Like, right. he's yeah, over yeah. there gambling. Of course, you ever be a you, you ever go to hockey games? Uh, they want me to come. For, uh, you know what I'm saying? I went to a Rages game, and I went the same night as J.B. Smooth. Uh, <laughs> so the whole night. The whole night. Every, everyone go, yo, J.B. Yo, 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 J.B. Yo, J.B. Yo, J.B. Yo, J.B. Yo, 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 that was like, yo, like someone comes over, he's like, yo, I love your shit, man, what you do for the community. That shit is great, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, thank you, man. I love you on season nine of Curb, man. I was like, nigga, I'm not Jamie Smooth. <laughs> like, yo, Leon! I was like, that nigga's twice my hey, age. on the suit. Like, yo, the you got Topsy Turvy, that motherfucker, right? Ah, my nigga Leon. So, so while, while we're, yeah. we're finally getting to asking questions, can I ask another one? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what do you guys enjoy more about the the Showtime experience versus the, the Vice Land experience? Is there, there's, check? There's no idea that's... that's oh, the check, that's, of course. Yeah, right. Besides, that's, 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 besides yeah. the check. Oh, 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 you know what? Oh, yeah. making, off rip. We are oh, making yeah. real fucking TV. Also, yeah. the fact is, we're the EP of the show. And yeah. I did not know EP means you got to do a lot of shit. Yeah. So there's a lot of video. Like you got to approve shit. And like, Damn, like from we're like going over the budget for the show. Sound. And I'm like, yeah. what? I'm like, I don't want to do this. I'm just going to show up and tell jokes. But you do I mean, you know, if you don't. I'm shocked if you, if you, if you got you away with getting John to sing the, the Yo, chocolate. That, that shit was John weird. Legend, that shit first was of all, let's keep it real. John Legend is a real nigga. We all know this. <laughs> we know. John Legend yeah. was singing about Traffic and Coke with Rick Ross, and that was some of the most beautiful music he ever made. Right. <laughs> and you know, like, yes, the Chrissy Teigen thing, that's a good look for his career, but you know he's a nigga. Yeah. You know he's a, he's a light-skinned nigga. He wants to sing about guns and shit. 
He was, hey, he, he, he was like, he's yeah, performing at SOBs back in the day. Yeah, of he was. Shout out to Come on, he's John Stevens. Stevens. That's when he had the coat. Come on, we right. all, we all fucked up Stevens. a relationship to I, let's get lifted. You know what it is? Back in the day and shit. <laughs> then you made up to the shorty, like, my 20s. ordinary people. Yeah. All that good shit. <laughs> But John, the, John was with it. He, he was, was singing about edges Girl. and shit. Like, yeah, he yeah. Was oh, yeah, yeah. Girl, yeah. he yeah. loves me edges. That's yeah. our good thing. Like, we we can bring out the nastiness in, like, celebrities, and they're just like, oh, I just said that because I'm with them. But no, it's like, if you hang with us for 15 minutes, we turn you. Now, we had a Don Cheeto talking about cuckoo porn. Like, <laughs> it was wild. <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. Wait, what? Yeah, 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 about yeah. cuckoo porn. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, yeah. What, what porn? What? Cuckoo, cuckoo. Porn. cuckoo. cuckoo. Porn. Oh. Yeah, Are you it. familiar? Yeah. Yes. No, no, I am. I didn't hear you. <laughs> okay. I thought you said Kugel. Steve woke up. I thought up. you said Kugel porn. Did you hear the same thing? He just well, heard the word porn. porn. Kugel so porn is it's, usually there's a racial aspect to it, but yeah. it's like it's basically racist, a married it's man, and you find another person to come fuck your wife while you watch, and he yeah. humiliates you. Yeah. And usually the guy's black, and he's like, look at you. You can't satisfy your wife with right. your little, your little, your little pink, pink white Your little white pecker. Yeah. It was one. And I mean, the couple that pay me to do it, you know. I feel I feel like the pioneer of it was so named sunset thomas who like yeah, spring thomas yeah something yeah and like, the fact that i had to correct you on that and that i could <laughs> correct y'all knew I jesus so much about you y'all so knew jesus, knew jesus. So, no, no, no. Oh, that was, was, that was, made him come twice <laughs> yeah you yeah. 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 wow. did yeah. like, also show up yo we're staying at S we're staying in the sheridan and essence fest and okay. at the same time as essence fest they also had the teacher the in the like the fucking countrywide teacher union oh, also shit. had their conference there. Okay. And to make it even worse, they had the, um, it was like the deaf people's national conference. So you have <laughs> these three people taking over New York City. So you could, I've taken over New Orleans. So you could have fucked whoever. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you could never do the deaf people's conference in like the Bronx because so, there'd be motherfuckers out there like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, what? So I'm working, working, working. Oh, I get back to the hotel and I'm just like, you know what? I want to go to the pool. They're like, the pool's closed. I'm like, fuck that. I'll sneak in, whatever, whatever. And there's this like white redneck couple. And then the guy's like rolling his own cigarettes and smoking in the dark. The wife has on the wild two piece Confederate bikini. Uh, but, uh, but she's like 58. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the so, wrinkles. Yeah. So she, uh, she's she wrinkled. She's wrinkled. She's wrinkled. She's wrinkled. She's sagging. She has a Mr. Nah. Marlboro in a day. <laughs> and so I'm sitting there. And you know, I'm, just like, I'm like, you know, what are you guys here for? He's like, oh, my wife's a teacher. Da 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 da. So I'm like, yeah. And he's like, so you staying here? And I was like, yeah. This is the... He's like, you staying here alone? And I was like, yeah, you know, I got my own room. He was like, oh, no. He was like, so you like to play? Uh -oh. And I was like, what? what? I was like, are you trying to cuckold me, my nigga? <laughs> no. like, I was so impressed. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, but for the record, I'm not fucking your ugly ass wife. <laughs> <laughs> your wife is what we call in the Bronx a dub. <laughs> That's a dub. But yeah, like it's... I was, I was so impressed. And he brought his own Texas beer to New Orleans because he was like, I can't trust the New Orleans beer. So, That's yeah. wild. The closest I, I like, ever came to some shit like, like that, bro, okay. was I was on vacation in DR, and I did. Anytime you go to, a, 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 like I said, a developing nation, yes, and you got fam out there. Do the fam shit first. Can you first? even call DR a developing nation? I feel like that's a, a slur at this point. It, like, they're pretty developed. I mean, he didn't so say shit. Yo, when not, you not got like when you Chad, got the like, when you got the president. <laughs> yo, the president was the pre they had the president of the nation cussing because he's like, yo, these hospitals are fucked up, and it's in the it's in the capital in the capital city in Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo, right? yeah. And so he's like. He's like, I went to this hospital, and I went to this hospital, and I was like, motherfucker, what the fuck is going on? But that's like what Trump does. You like, know what I'm saying? Like, he said that shit like that, and I was just like, wow. I was like, okay, shit, it must be fucked up right here. So it's like you do the fam shit first, because that's when you really roughing it, and you're mm -hmm. doing the outhouse shit and getting the Zika mosquitoes, and then you go to resort. You feel me? So then I, that's how I did it. So I went to the resort for the last week and a half, Special you know what I'm saying? Okay. So I was out there, and it was me and my brother. My brother had just graduated college. He was hype. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, it was like... And he was on some drinking shit, too. Like, he was just on some, because he went up, up, up uh, to Binghamton. Oh, okay. So there ain't nothing to do up there but drink and fucking go to Walmart. You feel <laughs> yes, me? Like, yes. no. so he's up, yeah, exactly. So he's up there. He's like, yo, let's get lit. Like, da -da -da -da, let's find some weed. I was like, yeah, let's get it. And so we go to the bar, and he's feeling himself, because he went away to boarding school and shit like that. The same shit that I was supposed to do, but I was like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> I was like, I ain't going to no old boy school in the middle of the woods. Fuck that. But he did. So he's like, he's feeling himself. He learned a little French. So we up at the bar, and there's this French fat dude in a Speedo. Oh, and he's shit. just like talking like in broken English or whatever. And then my brother says to him like, yo, like, are you, do you speak French or whatever? Like in French. And homie was like, he's like, and then they, he, he started, they start rapping, whatever. Then he's like, homie thinks he's like, we peoples now. You know what I'm saying? So the next day we come out and he's mm -hmm. like, yo, I want to introduce you to my family. I'm like, all right, cool. So we like, we, we walk up, yo, his daughter's there, his two daughters are there and his wife is there. 
Okay. Titties out. <laughs> Shining were they like, high or were they like the daughters was was, was popping. Okay. The wife titties was yeah, gra- gravitational. Yeah. Explain to Steve what dubs are. A dub dubs is just are, like a like it's, it's a lot. On a scale of one to ten, a dub is a two. two. You know what whoa, I'm saying? whoa, whoa, wow, wow, inflation much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Wait, what, I, what, what? I would, what? I would, I would isn't I would, a dub like a five? I thought dubs. It, could I, thought, I, thought, I thought I thought dub started like, like double anything, as anything a two. Anything less than a seven is a dub, right? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Am I too beautiful? Oh, to be see, Philly says dice. We always say dice. But oh, dice Philly, is like Philly's a, weird, y'all. Is a, is like a whack job. Oh, but you yo, say join though, though, don't you? I still so say it. Okay. You know That's what? only Shout because he was on OK Play. The, what's the name of the cheesesteak uh, truck? And the name of it is like Little John, and it'd be like a 63rd Street and shit. Wait, the one we always wait, go to. Wait, wait, wait. Tits are shining. So yo, so boom, so he's like yo. You only think he said both. Yeah, he's like shiny titties. So he's like, so he's like, yo, my so favorite he wants group from the chill. 90s. Like now he wants to chill. Like now Freestyle he's group. They now we like the development. Now we're they invested for- in shit. Now we're invested in shit. So now we're like talking to these people and shit. And I'm just like, bro, like I'm trying to look everywhere, but like the eight pairs of titties that's in front of me. So I'm just like, oh yeah, you know, like yo, let's go swimming, fam. Like, and we go in the ocean and we swim around with this fat motherfucker for like 20 minutes. We come back out. And he's like, oh, let's have a drink. We go to the bar. Shorty's titty still out. I'm like, yo. So he he pimping him. He trying to. He is. I don't know what the fuck is going on. My brother's like, yo, you think we could triz? I was like, <laughs> oh, you said triz. I was like, fam. I was like, we don't need the triz. <laughs> it's it's like Florida, the bro. It's it's an abundance. Of t- I don't have any brothers. Titties. Can you triz with your brother? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, nah, you I feel trust. like that's like, nah. Man. Can, I mean, if you can't triz with your brother, man, who can you triz with? Nah, because my cousin tried to triz with me once, and I was like, nah, no. Not, I was like, you're not even cool like that, man. <laughs> no. If you don't know what triz is, this, this context is clues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we ain't gonna tell you. Also, that's just. Like, the yeah. people you talk about mad casually, like, it's just like scanning me in with your Metro card. It's yeah. not, oh, yeah, no, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a whole different look, thing. Look, that's 90s shit. Yo, like, 90s yo, wait, wait, wait. Yo, speaking, speaking of fucking Metro cards. 90s was filthy. What? I'm trying to filthy. tell niggas yeah, 90s was filthy. Yeah, you don't understand. Yeah, the 90s, Bro, yeah. yo, you had a hooky party and shit, and it was, Triz was happening, fam. You were drinking E&J. Do you want to hear, like, you know my most fucked up right. Bronx Hood story? Okay. Okay, so my man gets out of jail. <laughs> he was in jail with, um... Sherm the Worm, who started the Bloods in the Bronx. Okay. He start, basically started the Bronx on the, uh, the West, the Five Star Bloods Five on the yeah, East yeah. Coast. So he was in jail with him, blah, blah, blah. He's like, he comes out of jail. He's like, yo, I'm we spreading this blood shit through the community. I feel like a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm not interested. <laughs> So like they have a house party. Be awake. He's, he's trying to witness, witness to you. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> blood time. Like, <laughs> Watch the witness. He's like, yo, we about to have this wild hooky party. Yo, we got Pyru this, witness. We got this wild thotty. Like, we about to, like, we about to slutter in. Because, you know, like, you just yeah. the you get it, you it, do it, some work. You either got to put it in or, or you got to lay on your back. Put it out. So I go to the party. I'm like, I like a party. So I go there. And I see my... Was that in quotation? Like, I was like, I like that's why I said on the e-bike. I was like, I like a party. <laughs> so then I go to the party, and I was like, oh, wow, my female cousin's here. What's the chances? Wow. 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 Guess, who, wow. guess whose female cousin did not become a blood that night? Wow. <laughs> I was like, oh, y'all think it's serious? Wow. Like, I was about to go to the priest and get told on all uh, She was like, nah, I'm cool with it. So she knew what was up? Oh, she was down. Yeah, she was oh, down. that's she was wild. Down. I was like, come on, y'all. The biggest my whole thing was like, I, I couldn't, like, you know. The biggest oh, my cousin never took was getting carjacked broad day in Newark because she went to Seton Hall. Okay. And she had the Mitsubishi Spider when that shit was popping. Oh, that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it was yeah. a drop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> when, was this, when was the Mitsubishi Spider popping? What year was that? that was it was like, like two weeks in 1990. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Remember when yeah. Phone Master Flex be like, yo, if you got a Dodge Charger, you got two months left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, With his driving love. No, no, the Magnum, though. He's talking about the Magnum. The love. He's like, if, <laughs> Flex is like, if you got the Magnum, you got one more summer, and I don't want to see y'all fish bowling. <laughs> I don't want to see six niggas in the, in the, in the Magnum, Meanwhile, and you ain't I'm, got no tits. I'm put to the side. I'm, I'm, I'm put to the, the side. The Magnum, the PC like, Cruiser playing uh, LMFAO. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't put up with this. <laughs> Uh, I'm hot boxing. Oh, let's play party rock again. <laughs> uh, I got a question because both yes. you and you have I've watched you uh, DJ at Table Fifty. Oh God, you, Table Fifty. Oh wow, wow, what, yeah, that I was took a, it back. That nigga. was a long ass time ago. Table, don't, the, don't ask no kid. For Wait, that, what you about to ask? Those of y'all don't know, Table Fifty was a hidden club across the street, and I want to say Atrium. Atrium doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, Atrium's gone. What is that's what why is, what is Atrium? It's like it used to be the old Kip. Yeah, it was. It's um. It's Kith now. It's it was it was, it was like the what? old Kith, but Kith moved. It's like so, Broadway and Bleecker, right? Yeah, it's yeah. uh down the street from who? Wow, 
If you really told me Atrium would be gone and that Wendy's would still be there, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that Wendy's was crazy because it was like the graffiti Wendy's. Like, yeah, I would yeah. always end up getting into fights there. Well, it was the graffiti all and the heroin graffiti, Wendy's. Yeah, Ooh, all the graffiti cool. niggas would go there. And, like, and you got a hot bag, and they're like, bathroom. yo, let me get the Tex-Mex uh, salad and the bathroom coat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but, man. Uh, Damn, I would always go in there, catch a tag in the bathroom, and catch another one like, in there, catch a tag in the bathroom. Yes. I do remember Table 50 and Drop It Like It's Hot. The remix had just dropped. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I watched my man Questlove DJ, and people were just, you had to make an announcement on the on the mic. I had to apologize for playing it? No, you had oh. to tell people to stop putting their phones over the uh, <laughs> DJ. They were flashing, they were taking flash uh, photos of you. You couldn't even like, oh, see your next wow. mixes and stuff. Yeah. And, and I was like, this shit is not cool. Also, I was also one of those dickheads because I came to the booth, <laughs> and I was like, play Welcome to Jam Rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Questlove Those looked at me like he was like, "Are you? Are you?" He was like, "I know you. What are you doing?" I was like, "Nah." I was like, "Mad drunk." I was like, "Nah, play this shit." This, shit this is probably when Tipping Point came out too. Yo, huh? this is probably when Tipping Point came out. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Two thousand four. Yeah. Yes. When yeah. you hated us. <laughs> I never hated <laughs> you. <laughs> really hated no, no. There was, there was definitely a point, a point in time where we, we, we definitely thought that you kind of felt some way about us. I was like, "Why am I supporting this fucking band that hates me?" Uh, yes, because like talk. Kamal was definitely you know not down with the Clang Squad shit. And... <laughs> nah. <laughs> to be fair, and I'm gonna clear this up. Right I'm now. not a down with the scary. We were scary. We were the worst we, fan base. Yeah, we were. We were. We were. <laughs> we were. We were. Right. Right. Remember when they came through? They was like, "Yo, D'Angelo's having a secret show. <laughs> Just come through. Don't make it hot." And niggas was like, "Yo, make a sign that says OK Player and hold that shit up <laughs> at the count of three. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Were you one of the Yo. original? Tell me that I got tickets for it. I, w- I wasn't on long enough to be a charter member, but I joined right before the cutoff for charter member. Uh, so, like, right moment. after 99, yeah. like 99, 2000. I was on there. Yeah. I was yeah, on there. Crazy. I joined because uh, a common single had just dropped. <laughs> Damn, you niggas are awesome. Yo, like, fuck up. the roots. Fuck. Which, co- which common single? Which one? It was uh, something. Like it was, it probably would have been, like, doing it or something, right? It wasn't doing it. It was off, uh, what was the album? It wasn't, it wasn't oh, yeah, Alexa, I still it wasn't Green Girl. If it it would have been flowers. like water for chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah like water yeah, yeah, for yeah. chocolate. And okay. I couldn't, because I was still in R&S, and I was trying to find an MP3 version. <laughs> no, were you the one that leaked the, the, the original version of that shit? No, because the problem, no offense, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I had that version. Yeah. So that version had the end, the, the end of the doing end. it ran out. Some of yeah, the yeah, Neo yeah. Soul MP3 releases didn't hit the way I thought they would. So, <laughs> so you, you know, you weren't trying to. Amber Sun Showers and shit, like <laughs> the Walter T. Smith album. Whoa, <laughs> which, an album which I bought. You I brought am, up Amber Sun Showers. I bought that album the too. Wait, was that she the used to be in what group? Uh, I don't know. She was in a group. Oh yeah, she was. Uh, damn, now I gotta look up. What was that guy? Are you, are you and uh, about Ariana? Don't Amber? you forget that? Da, da, da. Oh, Glenn, uh, Glenn Lewis, Lewis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stevie Wonder. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nigga. Yeah, let's just say because... Yeah, I heard, I, heard, I, heard, I, heard, I heard a story about Glenn Lewis, but I'm like... I was feeling like, wow, extra broke. Cause this nigga talking about MP3s in 98. I'm like, I'm still copying CDs, nigga. I was yeah. at fucking Music Factory. Yo, like, yo I, 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 still got, I still got fucking... CDs that I burned, like, from like, Napster in 98. Yeah. So, yo, yeah. I had... And the crazy I, thing about RNS is we would set up what they were called uh, eggshell drop XDCC bots. And basically, it was like... Wow. You'd be on Fnet, and you can like request the bot. This we'll motherfucker said Fnet. I That's haven't it. heard Fnet in like fam, fifteen. He's like, so you super, could drop a zip yeah, file. Fam, he's super oh, computer can... nigga. Like he be saying shit sometimes. I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck. <laughs> I'm like, yo, is that a solid state drive, nigga? I don't know. <laughs> I gotta defrag my hard drive, nigga. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So basically, you you steal an album from like a record label or whatever, and you put it on this bot, and so anyone that wanted to redistribute the redistribute the album would get it from the bot and you'd like send the bot commands like yo send me this and be like I'll send it to you in five minutes I remember we got that Glenn Lewis album and I put it on that bot and I was like yeah nigga yo, I was like funny. yo wait I, this is fucking so crazy. what was the most lethal well, wait, hold on, hold on. stealth join you ever leaked uh Cameron SD <laughs> SD word SD that one and I didn't even get that from the record company I was hanging with my boy in Harlem okay. and he had the full fucking <laughs> CD ROM it's the CDR on his dresser. And I was like, is this the whole thing? He was like, yeah, yeah, this shit never coming out. I took wow. it. Do a search right now. Jesus at camera SDE dot info. <laughs> Bill doing it right and I got, now. I got that. I'm talking spicy in that info file. Talk about RNS 031. Ah, 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 whatever. I'll cut, <laughs> nigga, cut your face. I'll leak any album. <laughs> yeah. You were that motherfucker. Damn, I'll leak I, any once, album. I once I'm a in goon. 88 hip hop, I downloaded Winamp. And ripped Pete Rock's first album. The Soul Survivor. Soul Survivor, yeah. And I 
the problem was I didn't rip it in the proper. Uh, I didn't rip it in forty four point one k HPS. Yep, yep. And so RNS rejected it. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy because I was quality, working. Yeah, I'm like, it was quality I'm control. Like, it, it, this is this is actually really crazy because I was. I was working wins on Fordham, and I got. Capone Noriega the reunion, Black Star and Love Movement in the same day, and uh, I did not burn any of that shit on my computer. Damn, I, yeah. I had the wild. Damn, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was in someone else's office, whose office I had no idea what was. I installed new software, put a CD in there, and you remember how long it used to take to rip CD? To rip, yeah, yes. that shit was the process. So it, it was literally an episode of Twenty Four. Like I'm watching the pocket <laughs> bar and I'm waiting for this lady to come back into office and I'm just like I was like oh, I hope she hurries up so I can upload this on the 14.4 modem. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Wow. Wallace. It's crazy. I didn't know that you were like in those ripping groups back in the day because I was looking for an end back then because I was working in college radio. Yeah. So I was getting all the CDs early and shit. Damn, and... I was in like record pools with people and like my I wasn't even trying to DJ. I was like, I just want to leak shit. Yeah, I just wanted I, to oh, I wanted yeah. to leak shit too. I was like, I just want to leak shit. Like I hate like they like, I'm working on my new album. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, shame that hit the streets early. Damn. Yeah. But yo, it's yeah. amazing. It's amazing how much music that I, I, I came up on back then. That I'm so still listening cheap. to now. Yeah, straight up. That was I shit I bootlegged because yeah. it wasn't getting played anywhere else. Where would you hear this? Where would you hear the like? I remember I leaked the Memphis Bleak My Mind Right remix. Like, who the fuck is gonna download that? Yeah, right, right, right. If, if the MP3 is there, people would take it. Yeah. Well, and I, I remember like, you I was were really, you were Blackster before before. You and were, I remember I got really mad because Rage Against the Machine had dropped an album, and I didn't want to illegally download it. I just wanted to buy it. Right, and they were like, "Or you let Rachel Machine live?" Yeah, and they were like, "But <laughs> Dipset, fuck that, fuck, fuck, fuck camera." I'm like, "Them niggas live down the block." I'm all like Zach De La Roca. <laughs> but then I remember, and I said to myself, "I was like, I'm yo, a Zach De La Roca fan." I was like, "There has to be somewhere to buy this online this is before the iTunes stores came." And they was like, "No, you have to specifically go, go to, to CD now, one store on like 56th Street, and or buy Music the physical Boulevard. copy." And I was like, "This is not how it's supposed to be." And I was tight because I'm like, "I'm ripping all this shit that I want to. I'm ripping all this hip hop shit." Who's ripping all the rock shit? Who's ripping all the heavy metal shit? Right. Mm-hmm. And like that's and that was the so thing. when did you stop but I don't ripping? Know, they shit wasn't really ripping. Like oh, well, when I, I stopped ripping, like that. I stopped um, ripping when the feds raided R and Cali. Oh, uh, they it was Operation Sun Devil. Yeah, eight people went to jail. I went wait, to Operation Cali. what? The yeah, feds. there's a that book about like a, this. There's a Sun book Devil. about this. It's called Sun Devil. That's like a rap record from the Wu Tang. No, like, they what? did. What happened? Brock Osweiler got arrested. They what happened? did a uh, simultaneous <laughs> arrest on three different continents. And I went, it was like when Walt so, White hit five niggas in yeah. five different feet. <laughs> when everyone in the jail got killed at the same time. So were you like, 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 were you like, like bad reference? Wait, were you like Matthew <laughs> Broderick in War Games, like unplugging everything? <laughs> and uh, it was worse than that. Staying at your grandma's crib. What like, was weird was I was in college at this point because when I first started, I wasn't in college. At this point, I'm in college and I had learned how to put. All right, now I'm getting some real <laughs> Mr. Robot Hacker shit. I had a drop-down background task program that would run in the background of every system it was loaded on. Okay. So I would load it on 30 computers. Plus Google and shit right I, now. Would, <laughs> I would load it into the 30 computers in the, in computer the Manhattan lab. College computer lab and use their OC 148 fiber optic connection <laughs> to distribute it across the nation. Okay. So I'm doing this for like a week. We're doing Eminem's album. We're doing huge albums and stuff. We're getting asked by other ripping groups because we have a fast enough connection and we have a connection wow. with Fairlight, which is the Where's Distributorship Group. Who taught you this? Fair. I'm Yo, like, nobody this nobody teaches this you this shit. you're really bad in the Bronx and your parents yeah. like, stay home. Stay in the house. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I'm going to get in trouble do. anyway, so yeah. let's do this. So like, was I it knew, just music it, or was it movies? <laughs> it was everything. One time we... Um, we found out about a porn site that was supposed to launch the next day. We downloaded the whole porn site, and we hit the creators like, yo, we'll leak this whole shit if you don't pay us. <laughs> so extortion. Extortion. We, doing yeah. all the extortion. we would take college kids' dissertations and password protect them. Wow. wow. What? <laughs> I was like, look, I was serving motherfuckers in Maritime. Oh, you yeah. gangster, you. <laughs> you, a wild, you are Cody Monster. <laughs> of, uh, of the Cody of the internet. We oh once found it was, a, it was a Christian web host. <laughs> And you automatically off the rip got a, like a you got like a gig off the rip mm. for signing up, and we said to everyone was like sign up right now, and if because then we found out the connection time from each account on this web host was something like a couple of seconds. So if you have movies or anything to move, them shit's fast. Move them hell right hell yeah. wow. So we had like thirty thousand signups, and we crashed this Christian web host, and they went out of business. <laughs> 
man. A Christian web post that, that with a bunch of porn on it. Like man porn. No, man porn. Copies of belly. Porn and belly and camera. The piracy scene online, like back in the early two thousands, it was it was some amazing shit. It was some amazing shit. And like looking back, it had to be like people involved who were higher ups because we had access to stuff that. Like, we had access to movies that weren't even finished. They didn't even have the graphics, weren't color corrected mm-hmm. and stuff. And we'd have full access to them. Yeah. There was no, I mean, a lot no of times firewalls. you would get unfinished albums like Like Water for Chocolate. You get yeah. studio sessions, you get stems. I had a version I had a version of Like Water for Chocolate mm-hmm. where the doing it sample plays out at the yeah, end. That was, yeah. that was like, a single version. I have the original oh, yeah. the version of Jay Z's Dope Man that has a simple, that has the. What was the sample they couldn't? Uh, I can't remember, but I know what you're talking. Yeah, I know what you're talking got about. Got that yeah, one yeah. before they had uh, Serena Olshold on it. Like, <laughs> oh, oh wow! <laughs> early ver- oh, early oh, versions, the best of both worlds. Yeah, yes. I got the shit where you know what I'm saying. They had the opera shit on the Joel <laughs> Santana drink. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to find right now, and I could probably ask Questlove for it is. I'm looking for the early copy of Voodoo that came out that had yeah, the, Marvin, that, the, Marvin, the, the Jimmy, Jimmy intro. And, 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 and I still ha- that's the only version I listen to. Okay, I need that shit. My sister has uh-huh. that because I burned it on multiple CDRs and she she loves it. Yo, and you you got the version of Great Day of Morning without the the without the, the hell the yeah without the crowd. Yeah, I need yeah, because that. that's need that the shit. sample. That's what I yeah yeah. yeah. Quest, what's the what's the rarest MP3 you got? Like what's <laughs> the, actually what's the most value, what's the most valuable MP3? It's you got? some print shit for you. It's some print shit because um, there's a lawsuit. That we're gonna... Wait, <laughs> I'm about to say, can I even talk about this? <laughs> Shout out to Prince because Prince was, everyone on OK Player was like, I love Prince. I love Prince. And Prince would come through like, yeah. I'm yo, really, yo I'm do you remember the two, yo, funky, you, the two funky attack? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. with all oh, the niggas, yeah, yeah, with all yeah. the niggas from the yeah, print yeah. site, two but, funky ducky, two yeah, funky black. They, yeah. they all came on. You, like, you know, you know, bad like corny Prince names. Yeah. yeah, yo, you know, Prince used to be on OK Player. Like yeah, daily. used to lurk I, daily. I, I totally tell daily. Because that's back when I was like, yeah, the only thing worse than Prince is Prince fans. <laughs> and I, that's, think, that's, the remember, I think he was the nigga, the nigga Spooky Electric. You remember? Yeah, I think that was him. No, I don't know what Spooky Electric wasn't him, but he, uh, deep. I think he lurked. He lurked either White Mansion, something, something, something. Okay. White Mansion was him. Uh, okay. So, because I remember White Mansion. White, yeah. White, twice he hit me. Wow. As White Mansion, yeah. Mm. But um, wow. The rare. I'm, I mean, I remember I M- Muscles versus Ock. South Philly man versus Ock. <laughs> yeah. South Philly man I versus when, I, I, remember, I remember when he got his Ock. <laughs> Nick, nigga, listen. The nigga Melly oh, Mel. Oh, oh, man. That yeah. nigga Melvin Mel, cuz. Like, this nigga jumped on. He put out a video. Because there wasn't enough he had. He was like, him and South Philly man were going at it. Okay. Man, Mel decided he gonna drop a jam to go with it. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, boy. Wait, he, he, he made a song? He, Ooh. You know what shit I remember? He had I, a video. You know what shit I love? What was that? Yo, P Infinite. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> We chop that shit up. Yo, you know, you know we, we chop, chop up, up these bitches? bitches. <laughs> you know we chop up these bitches. That is iconic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit Wait, is old, fam. There was memes on that shit before there was memes. And yeah, you hate. <laughs> yeah, you hate. <laughs> Confession Wednesday? Yo, Nigga, you don't Confession understand. Wednesday. Yo, they're still doing Confession Wednesday on Facebook as far as I know. We ran Because we ran like all the women off. Like, yeah. there, I don't think there's no women left. No, like, I'm, I'm talking about they moved Confession Wednesday to Facebook. You remember when Shorty, when Shorty was cheating on Shorty's fiance and Shorty's fiance posted up, like the MacBook in the tub with the bleach. Nigga! Wait, yeah, what? I know yeah. exactly. Yes. This was. Nigga, wait, it was Lauren. It was Lauren. Why are you saying the name? Oh, oh, wait, I, wait, 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 wait. I mean, shit, it was out. It was, it was out. out. Lauren, like, bro. She, wait, she why? put the nigga shit. Because it was in the, the nigga. Uh, the nigga. What was the nigga name? The lawyer nigga. The lawyer yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. She was. Bro. He, he was fucking with like, the shorty light bright. Yep. Yep. Yo, she, she did the full exposure. She did the picture. She did the text messages. She was like, look what this dirty bitch <laughs> is texting. We live together, and this nigga is like texting. Uh, this bitch about why she whatever. put it in general. Yeah, in Gen Pop, nigga. So then the next photo is just like, yo, I hope y'all, together. I hope you're happy together. It's mad jeans, it's mad all that shit in the tub. Huh? He the wanted to left by her with a with the water full of bleach. Ugh. Yeah, gonna be me. And that's back when like a MacBook was like, Yo, yeah, like, you kill someone for a MacBook. He put Dude. the MacBook inside. She, no, she no, shot out all this her. stuff oh. and put the MacBook. And the funny thing is, fast forward two years, I'm at like expectation in fucking Silver Springs, Maryland. Okay, <laughs> just chilling, rampant with my like corny girlfriend, shorty that cheated on the other shorty, okay. the short joint. Yeah, yeah. She walks in, she sees me, 
turns pale white and walks out. Wow. <laughs> she remembers the shit she with that remember, Yeah, yeah. I was wow. Like, wow. Wow. So oh. you know where all the bodies oh, are buried. Body. The, all no. the bodies are buried on your estate. Yo, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, so this sells once and for all that OK Player might have invented social media. Yeah. No, no it, it really yeah, no, OK Player no, invented no, the yo, internet. Yo, yo. No, no, it didn't because I'm going to tell you Was it like why. this on Black Planet or any other? It was a more refined it, it, Black it, Planet. It was like, it was, it was. <laughs> a more refined it wasn't, Black it was, Planet. It was, it was similar, not like ex exactly like this, but like the Prince Internet before OK Player, like the mid-90s. Yeah. It was some shit back then, too. Here's yeah. how I blow your mind about OK Player. No OK Player, no Deez and Meryl. Donnie Qua from Complex what? was on OK Player. He only posted, and he had like a Korean soccer logo and his avatar. Mm. He, works at, he works at Complex. He saw me and Meryl's tweets and how well we work together. Right. He comes up with a deck and pitches it to Complex and was like, Deez and Meryl should have a podcast. So you two are sort of like a play date put together? Much. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, uh, right. like it was, it was some shit where it was like, yeah, yo, little was brother, Lord Lord Lord. Yeah. Yo, yo, man, listen, look, okay, and that's what I shout out to the little brother because when Knife did an interview somewhere, I don't remember where, but he was like, yo, I fuck around, I do my shit on Fruity Loops, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I was like, word. I was like, say less. I was like, download the, sh the bootleg version, change, <laughs> change the date on my computer. You know what I'm saying? Keep so I can save my beats and shit. Bro, wait. This, oh, so the beats erase on. Oh, because uh, they were time protected. Right, right. Time So I just Someone changed Someone didn't my get the old like, version. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I put my date on like 2019 and some shit like that. And like the shit would just rock forever. So. I just started fucking with beats and doing shit on that tip. Remember you know on OK saying? Player when uh, they used to ride on Ninth Wonder for his 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 activator hi hat. Yeah. Yeah. Look, man, they was like, "Yo, your drink, your drums are mad weak, nigga." <laughs> Bruh, him. And man, listen, I remember when damn ah, who who got who. Got, because it would be worse when you would get mad in the lesson. If you were an artist and you got you mad, get mad yeah. and you, you can't showed get, it. You can't get mad in the lesson. Oh, nigga. You're right. over. Because the over. lesson, the no, lesson my was favorite is guru. Discussion. My favorite is Guru just getting. Oh, Guru came I don't. I don't. I, oh, I guru remember came guru on to talk in. about. Guru wanted to claim the daydreaming sample that. Oh, Lupe and Jill. That Lupe and Jill oh. did. Oh, and okay, okay, okay. it was an ethering yeah. sunning of like nothing I've ever seen before in life. But, Look, man. Yeah. Yo, okay, y'all. Awesome. Can we make a list of people who got sunned on, on OK Player? So there was there was Guru, mm -hmm. Quali, 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 Melly, Melly Mel, Mel. Melly Mel, uh, Omas, or, Flo Brown, Omas, Omas. Was it Omas or Shafiq that got? I from so like no, you know what? I don't think that doesn't sound like Omas. It might have been. It might have been Taz. Taz. What's his name? Oh, Taz. Taz. It might have been Taz. Taz. Definitely yeah. Taz. It might have yeah. been Taz. Thomas. Taz tried to come back with some like. I'm from, yeah, you don't I'm understand, from, brother. We from I'm yeah. from South Central. Like basically, basically, if you were a celebrity and you got an OK player and posted, you made a mistake. Remember what? <laughs> oh, remember man. what? Common was dating Erica Badu, and that picture came out with him with the extra medium sweater came on. Man, listen, Woo! yo, Erica, is, yo, Erica, we had I, I, said this shit. I was like, yo, Erica is the opposite. Of, she she got the opposite Kardashian effect. You, know what I mean? <laughs> you feel me? Like you fuck with Erica, you get extra woke. You know what I mean? Yeah, I remember yeah, Common yeah. hopped out there. He was like, electric hustle, flower. Everything was like, nigga, you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, my nigga, are you, are you, are you wearing hey, sweatpants? There was an entire, there's an entire group named after that song. You feel me? Right. Yo, the right. shit was this, like, I remember seeing Common with the, you know what I'm saying, the baggy, like, you know what I'm saying? No, the sweater vest? Yeah. yeah. You know? Yo, that's one of my homegirls actually yeah. made that joint. He flipped it, and then he started wearing the Nick Caps and the, are your eyes still <laughs> green, girl? You know what I'm saying? All that shit. Just I was showing like, yeah. Yeah, and shit. Yeah, well, was, but we yeah. laughing at him. He's like, yo, these Microsoft checks. Clear though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> AI. <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> these, 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 what is it? Now you see me, now you don't? Did you know we didn't have Zooms in Africa? <laughs> 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 I know, yo, yeah, had zooms in America. <laughs> Shout out to him. Oh, he was doing it when he did that basketball movie with Queen Latifah. Just, Just right. right. I'm like, this nigga cool. Well, I, I watched that. Movie. Movie. That, that is, yo, I want, yo, that, it's the like time. the worst sex yeah. trick in yo, all of the comic comics. Wow. You already know you, my brother. Love you. But yeah, that is like I the most the awkward movie. sex trick. I was like, yes, it is. Like, like, nothing that more, was more awkward about than Brooklyn. Oh, oh shit! No, I was just like the same record. Okay, I, am, wait. I am remaking Brooklyn Babylon with Yes Jules. I saw okay, I saw Brooklyn Babylon when it first hit, when it first came out or whatever on DVD or whatever Duh. home video ninety eight whatever the fuck it was. Right, and 
the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but all, okay, for our listeners, Brooklyn I Babylon was an independent like, movie. Yo, I'm away live from the 215, got the specific girl on my job. I was like, I can rock with this, but... but wait, Brooklyn wait. Babylon was a, a movie in which Black Thought of the Roots mm-hmm. stars in in an interracial relationship with this Jewish girl. A Hasidic Jewish girl. No, wait, wait, yeah, hardcore, right. Hardcore. Yeah. Okay, so I, I hate to bring this up, but what, what happened Jewish during the, the parade scene? Like, like, didn't some well, bad shit happen during that? Ah, yeah, we she, killed I, I somebody. A target ah, thing. shit. Wait, y'all killed somebody? <laughs> All right, so what's, what's the Jamaican Jew. parade that happens in Brooklyn West every Indian year? Oh, parade. Uh, West Indian. The, uh, the Labor Day Parade. Yeah, the West Indian Parade. The Labor Day, Labor Day Parade. Right, so, okay, we we don't know. They, they ill-prepared us for uh, what the what the process is for having these trucks. Yeah. Like you're supposed to do the parade and people work all year on these big ass speakers uh-huh. and the more flashier your truck is and so your, the better it is. Yes, yes. Yeah. And so they just put us on like a Sanford and Son flatbed truck. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so here's <laughs> the thing. <laughs> so it's it's a you get to this destination point at the end of the parade mm-hmm. where a, a a jury is judging your presentation, right? The the tassels, the color, the wheels, your flapping, Everything. your dancers, your costume, all that stuff. So then here comes the roots, and again, it's like they don't know who we are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even past Grammys, like we know where our bread is buttered. Yeah, like this is '99, right? Uh, 99, yeah, it's '99, '99 of like September '99. Um, but what we didn't know is there's um a four year old. Who, uh, I guess he tripped. He was trying to run across the street Mm -hmm. and he tripped. And uh, the driver of the big ass, not 18 wheeler esque, but you know, they again, they overdid it with with the flatbed truck. Mm -hmm. Um, Just straight rolled over his skull. And I turned around, just saw smash blood. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow, so you not even to be funny, old. I went to a Carnival in Antigua uh-huh. two years ago. Oh, man. So I we're just partying. Well, and man. it's like, okay, first of all, my dumb ass. I was like, yeah, we're going to party for two hours. They're like, no, you're going to be up for 18 hours. Yeah, no, nah, straight up. The fetch. Like, yeah, they call it the fetch. I was like, like, first of all, that's not even physically possible for the human body. Like, on the 17th hour, like, slump next to a Shit. KFC, like, passed out. <laughs> so we're just partying, 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 Saturday, Friday partying, Saturday partying. Sunday is, like, the last night. Everyone's like, it's a big night. We're going to the middle of town, da, da, da. You just hear some guy like, oh, no, oh, no, she dead. <laughs> Carnival done. And I was like, <laughs> Carnival done. And like, everyone just like walks away. And I was like, what happened? And then I Google it. And it was a girl from Yonkers. Wow. She so I was and like, I'm an American. I was like, this should be a bigger deal than an American size. But <laughs> <laughs> what was her name? I, I, was it Ashley? I, it, it was like one of those, <laughs> Ashley. It was one of those <laughs> island names. I don't even know. Okay, but, okay. Uh, yeah, she ruined, like, like someone says she ruined Carnival by dying. <laughs> That's <laughs> wild. <laughs> Dio she Carnival couldn't wait till she like, got home. I don't know, just a couple Dio more Carnival, hours, you, Ma. You could have died yeah. in the Delta Lounge. Dio like. I'm saying. <laughs> you die, motherfuckers are stepping over you like AI, like, and keeping it moving, bro. Like, <laughs> like yo, fam, we're going to roll you over to the side like a deer on the highway. You can throw your intestines in the air like And we keep it moving, yeah. <laughs> I, all right. To the, I'm a newbie to Marvel talk, okay? Right. Uh, okay. Shit. For me to thoroughly enjoy... End game. Yes. Do you need to watch all what of them? What should I have watched ahead of time? Have you, you should have watched Avengers everything Joy? and then read every fucking comic book because everything is. It's, it's, yeah. Watch the first of everything. Watch the first Thor. Watch the first. Just watch the last Avengers. I gotta watch the first Thor. Thor yeah. yeah. Nah, the you don't, first. You do not what else do I gotta the watch? First the first Thor. Thor. Never the first Thor. Don't worry about Never Ragnarok. Just and all watch Ragnarok was good, but it's not. It's not. It's not. Ragnarok. The second one was whatever. Just watch the Dark World. Go go on Wembley, bro. Where Thanos throws his daughter off the edge on some. Fuck them kids shit and got and uh and watch maybe the first uh, all the, the first uh, Guardians City. the first Guardians for sure yeah. you gotta watch the first oh, Guardians the, that shit was lit I saw I Guardians that was in the I thought that was stupid but season it actually, two and three of, of the Sopranos <laughs> <laughs> Sex in the City wait seriously all season, of the four of the season one of, of the Sinbad show, show. With, the, with the Greek because <laughs> okay, okay, I've watched like. I feel like I watched all the wrong Marvel Skip joints. I saw, I saw season Black. three of Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Yeah. I saw, <laughs> wait, I saw I saw Black Panther. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, in the yeah. house. I saw Ant Man. And Ant-Man. Ant-Man is it's not necessary, but it's fun. Episode, it's, it's episode, fun. episode three yeah, of yeah, Meth yeah, and yeah. Red. I've seen both of those two. Uh-huh. I've saw. Uh, Oh, what's the, the season finale the of Homeboys in Outer Space? Who's uh? Who's uh? Space, Space Jam. The Secret Diary of Desmond Pfeiffer. 
I don't, I don't really think you need Full House. Like it's the oh, secret, Deadpool. The Secret Diary Deadpool. of Desmond Pfeiffer. Deadpool. 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 Yeah, like, you it, know what? Because you're not retarded. I'm retarded. trying to think of the That's last superhero thing. movie I watched. But no, you can you can in context clues you'd be able to figure you'll, it out. You'll figure I went out. to yeah. I went to I have not seen any other Avenger movie before than the one before this. And right away I figured I was you like, get oh, it. Like, yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, it's like so like Avengers one was like hard. That one was dope. Two was yeah. And this Ultron the third one was like cool. It third depends one, on like how smart you are when you watch movies because like. My boy went on Facebook and was like, yo, yo, fam, I just watched us for the second time. Fantastic like, they, got, they got one glove because of the Michael Jackson trash. t-shirt. Trash. And I was like, you had to see it two times to get that? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if you're not that person, like, you'd be all right. Okay. Yeah. Also, the rappers were in the movie. I'm trying to think of the last one. Lethal Weapon, Never. one through four. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of the last superhero movie I watched. And I want to say it was Dark Knight Rises. The yes. last superhero Dark Knight movie. Rises was probably the best one. Like, I, I thought the third one with Bane, I thought that one was kind of yeah. weak. I yeah. wasn't really fucking with that one. But Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises was hard. That shit was hard as fuck. Oh, no, Dark Knight. That was the Dark, Dark Knight, Knight, the second yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. That second one was hard. Rises I watched the whatever. first Spider-Man trilogy recently, and I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, the first Spider-Man was trilogy was, 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 yeah. was good with Tobey Maguire, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I still got to see Where that. Where the fuck one. he go? The best, the last, what? the latest oh, superhero movie I saw that was really popping, uh, probably Green Book. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was a version I saw on Showtime that know. was really fucking hilarious. <laughs> ha- has anyone actually seen Green Book? I saw it. I yeah, got the screen. That screen is hilarious, my nigga. nigga. Screen the game, nigga. Yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. out here, nigga. <laughs> that's the- yeah. That's just, like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, yo, are they nigga, making a new racial slurs? This is the whitest batch of screeners ever, ever. in the years since oh, I've been inside. Yeah. Sure. Boy it erased. Was Whenever I see motherfucking white people with like, powdered wigs movie? on, I'm like, nigga, this ain't for me. This is this the movie where the white kids <laughs> on drugs or the white kids gay and the family finds out? Which one is it? <laughs> Wait, what movie? Five of them. Nigga, all of them. All of them. It's the one. Boy interrupted, girl interrupted, town interrupted. It's all the same shit. Yeah, it's the one that Julie Roberts got a one with Ben is back. But yeah. she like a right. his own joint. And the fucked up shit is too. They send you the screener, but then they send you the fucking whole ass manuscript. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, nigga, I'm not reading this like, shit. Not reading this shit. <laughs> Fuck out of here. They sent me the Star Is Born manuscript. I was like, it's a musical. Yeah, right. I just got. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna sing along to the shit. Speaking of Green Book, like I feel like the the new Taraji. Uh, uh, the, nigga, no, the I, I refuse. Yeah, the one where she, yeah, I where can't. she friends. What is, it, what is it? Nah, bro, it's the one where she, um, she, she uh, like, she gets friends with the clan or some shit. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. I yeah, feel like that's new. No. Yeah. Okay, can I just tell you guys a movie you guys need to see? Yes. Uh, shorty that always does the mixed shorty that always does the wild problem. Oh, man, shit. Nigga, the one where she Steinberg. falls in love with a Nazi. Nigga, I haven't Wait, seen what? it. What? I, saw, I saw the trailer, but I was like, I can't. I refuse. Damn, at Fam, one point, I didn't movie, see none of my like, movies. What is, what is she this? Goes, what this? Scene she was goes, a meme <laughs> where she goes up to the fucking to the Nazi dude, and she's like. And he, oh, no, because she's like, like, she's I like at it. night, I hear I the hear music. It. And it's like, you know, okay. I play the music of the colored people. She goes, I've heard of that. And they call it nigger music. And I'm like, yo. What's the movie music called? It's called. When Hands Touch. When Hands Touch. When Hands Touch. When hands touch. Yep. And Let me like, put this down on my list. Bro, nah, this, I think this is supposed to be like a movie ass movie. Amazon Prime or whatever. There's a great part where she's walking through the streets at night. It's curfew. And like the Nazis are looking for her. And your man is like, yo, put this scarf on. I was like. Fam, that doesn't solve a lot of the problems. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, 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 but that, that he, fucking, he's still chocolate that, galaxy over here. That bro. fucking nigga music. Nigga music. That sounds like what? Remember Maybach music? They have sex on the floor, and I was like, you don't want to have sex in the bed? All right, so we we have. We're yeah. like 17 all hours right. deep. All We're right. good. All right. We're, we just got and like, I feel like white we... snake over here destroying the stage. <laughs> <laughs> here <laughs> I go again. <laughs> oh, what? You mean Motley Crue? Motley yeah, Crue. Okay. No, that was white yo, snake. I, yo, that was white snake. Did you fuck with white snake? David Coverdale. I fuck with the dirt. I fuck with the dirt. I love it. I haven't seen it yet. Here's the thing. Watch it. If we going to be 100, your boy Machine Gun Kelly. Yes. He bought Yo, I, I got he got my respect. The fact that he took three hours every day to put on that makeup. All them tattoos and shit. I respect the shit out he of got that. That respect. shit was awesome. He that did what, was Tommy fantastic. Lee? He was Tommy Lee?
is going against Eminem with their little beef, whatever. Because uh, I don't. Well, wanna, in my mind, he won. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to get hot. Only one of our podcast episodes has ever been removed, and it was the one episode that we were going a little hard on Eminem's last album. So, oh shit! Wow. Paul, Paul uh, brought Paul, the, someone made the call. Paul, ooh. wow! Really? Paul made the call. Yeah, our podcast got pulled. Paul Rosenberg, down. yes. What? Paul, do not play that. Off of iTunes, whole nine. Whole yeah, we, you know what? Because they they found they was like, no, this is not like. Uh, you guys are using too much of the music. Ah, they, they found. We were like redoing a review though, but the, it was like we you couldn't use fair like, use for it. This shit sucks. <laughs> and they were like, I, <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Played that Moby Dick song on the Babyface episode, and we wait Moby Dick. Wait, wait, we played the. Y'all got we, mad at Moby Dick when we played this version of Shoot 'Em Up movies for Babyface. But by no limit. Oh, Moby we Dick. have to yes, take it I off. I know. Yeah. <laughs> we, we made one of the greatest songs that goes. Pop, 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 <laughs> goes my night, goes my night. Gerald Levert, nigga. Yeah. What do you think about the time? So, oh, my God. Wait a minute. We have to take that off the episode? I can't remember if we took it completely off. I think we may have, like, muted some people. Why? Because we were, we were, uh, we were, uh, what was, what was the word they used? Skewering? Or? We were, def- we were defaming. Defaming, defaming an artist. An artist. No, 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 it was like. Moby Dick has not made a record in like 20 years. He's yeah. not going to give a shit about it. <laughs> Moby that. Dick defamed that song. Yeah, <laughs> I always feel like somebody's <laughs> watching me. Yeah, the fans is watching me. I was like, y'all didn't even like try to make that difference. How do y'all know this motherfucker's whole history? <laughs> he was with Can no I explain limit, to you? Bro, at like, one point, No Limit was so you popular. Could, they could, you brought the not. records. I no, seen the covers. You didn't, you didn't have to buy the they records to know them. Everywhere. Master P, when uh, Cameron bought Master P to Harlem and they did uh, Bout It, Bout It Part 3. Yeah. That was wild. There was a Mac, what was it, Slim Soldier? Slim, uh, Soldier Slim. X, all that. That was so big yeah. in New York at one time. Like, like, we were fucking with No Limit. I was in, so col- hard, I was in college when that shit was popping. Mm-hmm. So they basically, do. like, make, make, make that was, to this. nigga, yeah. the Ghetto D album, that's get, what made me a fan. D. That's what sold me. I was like, wait, is he doing a, f- is this a TED talk about this making one, crack? Mix one gram of soda every seven grams of coke. I was like, I was why like, do I know the... The measurement because you read that article in the source. Shout out to Mercedes with the rear only end. album I didn't buy for music. I bought it for the cover. <laughs> Mercedes what? rear end, rear end. That shit was in the that shit was in the source every day. Of every day. It was like speaking, the album for three years. You're a, a, a true hip hop. Speaking of no limit, like isn't there some 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 um university did uh has a collection of all the pen and pixel, pixel art covers? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Big Bear doing things? Yes, what? Big Bear doing things. <laughs> I've never heard that album. I've never heard it either. Google it. It's literally him smoking cigars with two bears. <laughs> yes. No. no I know the, we know, we know the cover. We know the cover. We just oh never listened to it. Yeah. And it was, and this wasn't a No Limit album, no, but I feel no. we must give respect to if we're, if we're Ice Mike. I was about oh, to bring wow. up Ice Mike Ice slamming Mike. these holes. Slamming these holes. <laughs> Yo, isn't he like slamming it through a basketball yeah, hoop in the cover? That's not Photoshop. That's Paintbrush Pro. That's Paintbrush Pro. Best Ice best. Mike slamming these holes. It's slamming. It's slamming D's. There's no music. D-E-Z. You gotta look at the cover. You might just want to just Google. The yeah, cover. you might just want to Google the cover. <laughs> I, I, I don't think uh, the digital rights to Mr. Mike's catalog <laughs> yet been. Uh, they've been secured. I, I will say he had a song on his album called "I Shit It in That Whole House." <laughs> yes, he did. Yo, I think I might, I might still have the I might still have the MP3s of that shit. Yo. Now we're nah, talking, we talking, we're talking about, about Ice Mike. Mike. That nigga Ice Mike had a jam with his album called I Shit It In That Whole House. And then the next song on the album was a jam called That Whole Got Feet Like a Nigga. Wow. What? Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. What did I miss? What the fuck did I miss? Well, I, 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 I want to thank, I wanna oh, thank Frank William Miller Jr. for putting me on the Ice Mike because that shit was amazing. You no, know, it was. And, 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 and to be a hundred, it wasn't amazing in the game. It was, yeah, the album, the song, okay, That Whole Got Feet Like a Nigga was trash. I slid it. I shit it in the whole house. wasn't bad. It was alright. Yo, who who was the, the motherfucker that like ate somebody? Big Lurch or something like that? Big Lurch. Yeah, 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 yeah. he was on Guts, PCP. On, on yeah. yeah, bro. He ate like, someone. That's, yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, I'm not fucking with this shit at all. Yeah. yeah. And I thought that shit was b- major in Philly. Like I thought I was like crazy. Like because my, my cannibalism. Was, PCP. No, 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 nah, PCP. Dust. Yeah. Smoking yeah. Angel dust. Because mm. every YouTube clip that I ever seen, the famous like he needs some milk. That was like on, it, straight in like North Philly. Right, mm. yeah, right now, I'll say that we are definitely the, well, the fish town. Uh, way up Kensington is now the, the, the heroin slash opioids slash, like, it's it's like 2006 it all Fam, over again. I did a job in Harrison, New Jersey for this company called Camp Trucking, which was basically like like a bunch of rich kids 
would have their bags delivered to they whatever camp they was going to. Okay. But it had to go through the, like this warehouse type of situation. So it was me and like just random goons from all over the place. And I ended up macking with these two dudes from Philly or whatever because they wrote graffiti. And I was like, oh, shit, you right too? I was like, yo, yo, let's go out at night. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got weed. Like we can smoke and we can drink whatever we go bombing. I'm a New York nigga, so I go out and I'm doing my outline. I fill the shit in, boom, 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 boom. These niggas are doing tags that are wow. like 30, like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, you're not going to Like, they're not in? scared of the cops coming. Yeah, out. like, yo, and climbing billboards and shit mm-hmm. just to catch a tag. I'm like, fam, you did all of that for a tag? And they're like, yeah, bro. Look, it's like, it's different in Philly. Like, the whole yes. culture, like, the graffiti culture is like, wild. Like, to me, it's like, yo, I want to study this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm-hmm. like, my man Espo put me on. Yeah, that's right? cool. yeah, that's the, that's my guy. Shout out to Steve. You know what I'm saying? Like yep. he's like he's a legend in the game in Philly. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So he put me on to a bunch of dudes, and that's like all the graffiti shit that I ever did in my life was like I never paid for shit. That's like commandment number one of being a graffiti writer. It's like yo, never buy your paint, <laughs> never buy your jackets, for real, never buy your shit. Boots, so they like, can't trace you. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's also like, oh, it's like you know I how, didn't know that. You know how they talk about like the five elements of hip hop? Like there's elements of like graffiti where it's like yo, you boost everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is like a lifestyle. Oh, don't buy it so they don't... Now I get it. Okay. You feel me? You know, like, it's like a bottle of bleach and, and some rope. You mean... You know yeah, yeah, I was going to say... Wow. 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 That's, that, this season of Empire. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Wow. Fam, and we Hi. To, and we used to... Go, I said this shit in the interview, and motherfuckers was like, yo, chill, you talking crazy. And I'm like, yo, what's the statute of limitations of fucking boosting, dude? Like, for real. This shit was like 15 years ago. What old. I love is there's definitely someone in NYPD that's waiting for us to, like... To <laughs> say some crap. Do the hip-hop <laughs> cops still exist? Shout out to Derek, New York. Yeah, shout probably. out to Derek Johnson. Who started the hip hop cost? Ah, 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 that's the homie, and it started as actually a good thing. Wait, are Derek Johnson? No, not no, no, oh, not not no, 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 he knew rappers were getting robbed and extorted by other rappers. I don't want to say anything in black hand. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> right. basically, and then he created all these binders and these dossiers, and he would tell NYPD, this rapper has beef with this rapper. Don't allow them to be in the same venue at the same time. Da, 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 da. NYPD was like, oh, thank you. Yoink. Wow. Took it from him. Recreated the whole thing. He left NYPD, created his own uh, private uh, uh, protection unit. He, did, he, does, uh, secret, he does security for celebrities now. But the hip hop cops ran with that, and then they flipped it, and now they just use it to catch. They know when people are coming to town. They know <laughs> gang affiliations. They know little beefs and stuff. So shout yeah, out I was there when I mean right after uh, Smurda. Yeah, did the Fallon episode. Mm-hmm. He went right to jail. They, they, they said <laughs> immediately. They were they down were there waiting for him. Like swoop. I feel like this episode. Or these two episodes, <laughs> straight up, straight could, up, could be three episodes in a half hour. Uh, this will be declared by OK Player the greatest episode <laughs> of ever. all time, nigga. This is real. Oh, only, only because we acknowledge them in this episode. Yeah. I'm about to say this is this is the reunion. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Stacey Adams. Casey Adams. Adams. Casey Adams. My nigga Stacey Adams. Yeah. 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 Who's Who's I'm nigga. not gonna start shouting out niggas because people gonna get mad. Like Operation Ah, Linda, Linda Thomas, or Linda Wait, Linda Carter. Yes. Did I miss anybody in my homegrown shout-outs when I gave all the OK player <laughs> shout-outs? Was there yeah, someone yeah. salty on the boards like, I don't think so. Me. I don't think so. Okay, I, I just so. want to make sure. So, yeah, just refer to the homegrown shout-outs. Yes. Yeah, yes. Well, and shout, to, find shout to Boiling Water Genitalia. Larva titties. Wow. Oh, don't fucking bring larva titty. Larva titty. Not the fucking larva titty. That shit was so disturbing. Was that the first, like, Gra- what was the first ground shaking moment of OK Player where you realized man, was, this man. shit might be a cult? <laughs> Cancer for uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Garvey. <laughs> Mr. Garvey, Mr. Garvey. Remember Mr. Garvey? He was like, yo, fam, I just lost my legs. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and we was like, what? And so the whole time we're just talking, he's like, nah, that's I work like on some a some old shit. He's like, I work on a loading dock. Like, a truck came back too fast and I lost my limbs and I had to get them amputated. And this what is before you could, like, fuck? upload. This is up before you could upload a photo. He just said it all casual? I mean, so. if you and he was like, like you guys want me to be like, and people didn't understand the power of Google back then. Yeah, and people were just, he was like, we were just like, you seem very calm. If you lost your legs, he's like, if you lost your legs, like, what are you excited for? Like, shit is gone. <laughs> I was like, 
That is fair. And man's got a point. That is fair. <laughs> you got and no people were like asking questions. They was like, I have no hot. legs. They was like, there's no, no way legs. you lost your legs. legs. <laughs> and like, he was changing his name to Lieutenant Dan. Dan. He was like, yeah, <laughs> I lost my legs. Shit. And he eventually showed a photo? <laughs> no, he never showed up. It was before. There was no so, option. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. This is like before cam- this Because when photos came, that's when it really just It went out of control. I remember it was one three. And I was like, when I saw it, because it started as a joke. And then I saw niggas really started doing it. When niggas was like, we going to show our dick prints. Yeah. In the yeah. Wait, said, yo, what? I said, no. I, yeah. I was like, I'm done. Yo, that was my reaction. Just like me. I said, you niggas are showing. Y'all are at y'all. Y'all are gainfully employed people. Mm-hmm. At <laughs> you your sure? nine to five. <laughs> pulling, your, pulling your dockers up. To show your goddamn dick, I said, "Man, I'm done." Someone got, a, <laughs> someone got a baby on there off of that. So, Robbie, <laughs> you remember the conference calls? Oh, I remember the conference calls. I oh, never, nah, I never went con- that far. In the no. conference. I think I might jump on one. Nah, who knew? on the low. Who knew yeah, that low. okay player? Was remember at the New York bullshit. City read, like a certain somebody took the wild gang Google shit in someone's bathroom and lit up the whole floor. And then they couldn't have the wild threesome in the room after. Yo, you talking about? Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. There was an okay threesome? Oh, it was a failed was several, threesome. There was hey, several, several. It was hey. one that was, yeah. The one you talking about, I know the one you talking about. Mm-hmm. But it was another one that went down. One went down in the back Yo, of the cab. Yeah, you I you missed out on so much shit. <laughs> Yeah, we don't even know. <laughs> like, you missed out the spreadsheet. I feel like you, fam. I'm like, yo. The spreadsheet. The spreadsheet. The Hello. Hello. Like, who did what to who? What? Spreadsheet. Shit got, last shit last got, last ooh, shit got bad. Shit got very bad. Thick. Like, I got to the point, you was just pulling off my chicks like, yo, I seen the spreadsheet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what we, was on the spreadsheet? The spreadsheet was Body basically counts. a list of, pe- of people's usernames and who they'd smash and who, you know. And ratings of how the smash was. Yeah. It was like Sports Center. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, it, it was, was like, uh, yeah. Tim went for a triple yeah. double tonight. And then, yeah, it was the whole facts, nigga. And th- th- that that th- came th- with Last Laugh, right? That came before Last Laugh. That was before okay. Last Laugh. Last Laugh was <laughs> it, JPEGs, <laughs> a text file with the lyrics, yeah. the MP3 of the music. <laughs> <laughs> there was a fucking song. It was a jam. Uh, no, it, yeah, the lunch, uh, lunch, lunch, lunch. A guy made a song about lunch. all the Shout women you yes, fucked man. on uh, OK Player. Yeah. And the song kind of popped. And, 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 really, and, and released all the pictures to go with the song. Because wow. uh, he rhymed over computer I would, love, I would right? just like to tell anybody. He if rhymed you, over, so it was if super, you, so meta. Is, so meta, Last right? Laugh dropped right after <laughs> Gmail just Bro. came out. Was, was so that if someone forward, if someone for If someone forwarded it to you in your Gmail, you still have it. Was it... Shit. I checked somebody the other day. Said it to me. Somebody sent it to me on my, in my actual inbox. Yeah, I think somebody put it up like on Z share or some yeah. dumb shit. Was this before or after the, the the incident of somebody getting left behind for the the for Detroit? The yeah. No, this was after the uh, says niggas and leaves niggas. <laughs> Somebody, Even this is super oh in. I know. So yo, there was a, yo, this, there was a reunion. This, there's probably like 15 people that are going to understand this shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 made shit. you made the shit. I'm over here looking at you like, yo. No, but let me, let me, but no. What, what, what you're saying is, what you're saying is important. Do you remember what? You're, what, you're, what, you're, what no, wait, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. What you're saying is important because that was the biggest problem with OK Player is that nobody realized what the fuck was going on on the boards. Like there. It was Reddit. It was Facebook. It was Reddit. It was Facebook. It was Twitter. It was everything before like and there was no governing body like no there governing was bodies. no nothing it was just, it was the wild wild it west it was the wild wild so west was like, so but it was, was it was it was also it was also a fucking a, a, a breeding ground for fucking creative Super talent, talent. Yeah. everyone like, that's been on the site like me you got yo, face, you got people that went on the black shit and stuff yeah, yo, foreign exchange, little foreign brother. Exchange, and yo, and let me say this, and I'll say this just right quick, bro. I want to tell you this, because this is our first time, like, meeting face yeah, to face. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm so Wait, fucking really? proud of you, man. Yeah. Dead ass. Like, I mean, you know, but just oh, like, right, right. In, in bro, real meat space. In yeah. real meat space, bro, like, from the time I remember reading your shit, like, this is like 99, 2000, so, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I just remember reading your shit, and I'd be like, yo, this motherfucker is too talented. Yeah. Yes. Oh, like, he's you. going somewhere else. I'm like, it's... He, I mean, he killing this shit, but I'm like, yo. The one thing I, the, too, bro, I'm the so one thing proud. I want to say, so the one thing I want to say about You've Jesus, hilarious, nigga. the one thing I want to say about Jesus is, is how you see Jesus on television and on the internet is how I've always known Jesus, and I've known you for like 15, 15 yeah. almost twenty years yeah. now. Like, yeah, you are who you present yourself to yeah. be on, no, in public. No. 
And shout out to OK Player because that just that just owned it. Now that was training ground. That was like Gladiator school. That was that was that was the training ground. Because it was like if you could, it was like New York High School was like Roast or B Roast, but this was a whole nother level. Nigga, if you you put up a post, you put up a goddamn free. Look, bro, nigga, if you put up a post and you go to lunch or whatever, you come back and you see the view all, you like yo, no time. Like you know what it is. Like I don't I don't think I don't think people are really gonna understand the the importance of what that fucking site. Amir, you have no idea what's going on right now. And I don't think Nero. I don't I don't think Amir. I know it's sort of. I understand. It sort of has. Amir doesn't. Amir doesn't know. We have no idea what's going on. It was pre-social media. Yeah, Amir doesn't know. You know, Dan and Jenny and 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 Do you remember when uh, Jose Thirty Thirty got he uh, cranked us off and he said because at the time. There was a rumor 30, going around. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. TV. Yes. That, it, he was like the first year. He was the first TV. He was dead ass. He, 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 he was the first He was the first Pandora. Yeah. He was the first. So, <laughs> you're right. Remember, like there you was know. a rumor. No, no, no. I don't like, know. No, no, like, I used, Instead of going out on Friday nights, I used to stay in my dorm room and listen to 3030 30 radio. Yep. Because that motherfucker was playing Slum Village shit before that shit was. Long before that shit was out. My favorite 3030, there was like a rumor that. Lloyd Banks did gay porn. <laughs> yeah, and it was Brian Pumper. Brian Pumper. Yeah. Brian Pumper. Yeah. Brian Pumper. <laughs> and so someone Yo, sent it to him on uh, 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 Instant Messenger. When G so had to be the from Oh, yeah. Thirty Thirty. Yeah, Styles P said that shit. He's like, I heard the boy won the gays a bird. <laughs> and some shit like that. I'm like, fam, that's Brian Pumper. <laughs> Like so that's then, not Lloyd Banks. So, so Jose Thirty Thirty is like, yo, what? Do you, like he's like he tweet, uploaded it. No, he's like tweeting. He's like doing a, a message post. He's like, what are you guys talking about? It. He's like, yo, just got this link. Let me open it. And like an hour later, he's like, yo, I just got called in the HR. Oh wow! And so we're all like, yo, like, yo, you didn't click on the. He's like, yo, fam, like, <laughs> yo, niggas really fired. Like niggas fired me, and they're gonna tell my girls looking at gay porn at work. And he's like, yo, fam, like. And there's no go. I'm like yo, fam. I'm like GM. I'm there like yo, no, fam. Don't go for me. I was right? like, I don't send me your resume. Maybe they hired at my job. Like I don't know what you're doing, fam. He's like, yo, I can't. Believe, I, I lost everything I worked for. So there was. So then on Monday he was like, nah, yes. I'm gonna fuck with y'all. So there was oh, I hate you. Cause like this. So this is the thing. Like the message board culture. It like there was a there was a bunch. OK players is a very important one. Nigga, uh, BGOL. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fucking box dick. Come on, man. God damn it, if we gonna talk about it, nigga. Come on, man. Woo! Let's talk about when niggas is paying for porn. <laughs> Listen. But no, but no, but let me be clear. No, 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 no. Hold up, though. BGOL wasn't just Black, Black, Black Girl Online. Black Girl Online. Nigga, BGOL used to have goddamn music programs, software. Yeah. Software. Nigga. Everything. Nigga. Wow. Yeah, yeah, come on. Mini patches, that. everything. Yeah, straight up. Straight up. <laughs> Mini patches? Mini patches. No. Oh, yes. 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 yes, yes. You can go there and be what like, yo, you need? yo, who got who got archive three or four for uh, Jamaican lesbians? And they'll be like, I got you, bro. Yo, who got, yo, who got, got the you. Pharrell drum pack? Yo. You know what I'm saying? Dead ass. <laughs> BJ L, you pay like little $10. Yep. You a little $10. Yeah. Uh, and it was like, you just take everything? It was, it was just a message book, but they have everything. And yeah. like, yo, do you want to see every video this girl ever made? I'm like, yeah. Yo, I need, I need every Timberland snare. And nigga, you're, because if you see, you went on BJ L, you see the link. Homegrown. It yeah. was like a homegrown. Woo! That shit was like fifty pages, nigga. Yes, of of just, just amateurs. Just girls oh. who are like senators now and shit. <laughs> it's just crazy, bro. There are s- nigga. Hey, the internet is a wild place. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, yo message boards birthed that whole shit. Cause like, yo, you the were going to message board that was like place. supposed to be for some, like okay players like for hip hop, right? Right. But then there's sections of this shit like twelve ounce profit. I used to go on all the time. On Smash was another hip hop site, yeah. but then like the there were sections for the shit. It was like yo sports, mm-hmm. this that the third, and then there was like the fuck around channel. You know and what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and that's when the shit went yeah. haywire, and then you get news and all type of wild shit. On Twelve Hours Profit, the shit was called Channel Zero. So you had motherfuckers setting up fights, sending pictures of yo. I wrote my tag on your girl's titties. All this wild crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Yo. True story, my pops, shout out to my pops because he was very industrious, you know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga would just see some shit in the garbage and be like, that shit still work. So he came to the crib one day with a Xerox machine, and my mom was like, what the fuck do we need a Xerox machine for? We got one room in this apartment, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, bing! I was like, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just, you know what I'm saying, go on Microsoft Word, write Mero, you know what I'm saying, an Arial black bold font, you know what I'm saying, and throw a little character on this shit, and make mad copies of this shit, and then use the speaker spray glue. To just paste some shits all over yeah. the place. So I'm running around all the Av shit, and, and then there's a girl in my English class who is just like, you know, 
when you're young, you you can't really pick up on on shorty throwing that at you like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. she fucking with me crazy. So she's like, "Yo, you want to go to the park and smoke some weed after class?" I was like, "Say less." I was like, "You lighting up?" <laughs> I was like, "Let's get it." So we go over there. It's me, my man Mike, who's who's an MTA bus driver now. Shout out to my man Mike. You know what I'm saying? And we go to the park. So we smoking, and it's me, my man, and three of her, her and two of her homegirls. Okay. And she and I just got the fucking the the tags and all this shit in my bag. I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo, I'm, and I made this shit up off the top of my head. I was like, yo, I made a, a bet with my man that, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't get a picture of a girl holding up a marrow sign in front of her face with her titties out. So she took her titties, <laughs> I wrote yeah. my name on them, I tagged them up, and then she had the shit in front of her face like that. <laughs> yes. Then I was like, yo, and then, she was, and then she just looked at me, and she was like, that's it? And I was just like, oh, what you mean? <laughs> Fam, got the wild top in the bushes. Yes. Like, just like getting wild bit up by mosquitoes, but I'm just getting the wild double, the double yapper. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, yo, this Wait, is time wild. out. Are we going to have our jobs at the end of this episode? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All we got to do is say allegedly. 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 And then, yo, there's a, there's a, yo, there's a, to this day, there's a four by six photograph. You remember when you had to take a fucking yeah. photo and get the shit developed yeah. and then get it back? Yo, of my man in the mic in the back, like, yo, throwing up the set. And then these two girls with their titties out, with, like, the Kid Mero mad big on their wow. titties with the sign in front of their face. He's like, yo, I'll never throw this picture out, my nigga. I think I've seen that I picture. cherish this shit. Yo, do you remember the shorty on OK Play that was selling pussy? There were a couple of them. And her name what? was like, her name was couple like, of them. it was like Philly John 215 and shit? Yes. Yeah. I, I was Wait, not a client. Wait, why my territory? Clear, I was not a client. <laughs> like, Woo. I mean, is it close to Atlantic City? And she was mad cool, too. <laughs> and was honest about it. She was it. mad cool. Like, she was, and people were doing her mad that. shit. I was like, not, I was like, yo, fam, she's Get out how you live. Coach. Like, I do not remember this. She was like, yo, come through. I blow said, <laughs> she was like, come through, blow this pussy up and get a Wawa sandwich. I was like, yo, that's, that's <laughs> half the battle right there, Ma. For a Wawa sandwich? For a Wawa I remember, sandwich. I, rem- I do remember. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. And I really was DMing right. her. I was like, yo, that's really whack how, like, they don't respect your agency and also what are your prices. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild, bro. That's yeah, like the beginning of Twitter where, 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 where it was a shorty candy deep throat or some shit yeah. like that. Yo, yo you throw a wow, DM and she'll just wow. yap you off oh, in a staircase. Wow. In a well, her, 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 she was probably charging like 30 for an hour. Like, yes, man, it was, nigga, that, that was like, like the early throat. day. This is like old 20, yeah. 19, 19. I yeah. remember. I it was remember like, was do you want the herpes West. to go? Like, nah, yeah. chill. Herpes to go? <laughs> Fam, it was Listen. wild. She was supposed to flicks all that. I was just like, yeah. what? She's like, feeling spicy. Who wants to nut in me today? I was like, ma'am, it's 8 o'clock. <laughs> like, ma'am. Ma'am. Like, ma'am. I, I, just, I just finished my croissant. <laughs> like, you're bugging. <laughs> Chill. Wait. Ma'am, it's 8 Wait. o'clock. Wait. Fam. Wait. Like, nah. Wait. to nut in me. That was Wait. a real question. My Wait. coffee half full still. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Who wants to nut in me? Like, just wait, wait anyone. Just and all, anybody anybody like, 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 who wants to nut in me first? You're like, what? <laughs> first. I have to go to work tomorrow, wait, so clearly wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. First? <laughs> okay, first. Right, right, right. Because yeah. I'm not going second. <laughs> wait, wait. I just want to make this abundantly clear. <laughs> oh, wow. Questlove created something that he lost control of. This has never happened before. <laughs> I want to make this With super power, abundantly clear. responsibility. All I want to say is, mother, <laughs> I love you with all my heart. And to my mother, if she's listening, yeah, I wasn't. I was on the internet looking up Barney videos. So I, I wasn't doing any of this other stuff. That <laughs> Free toes yeah. and flows, Barney. Free toes. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. What number are they up to? Jake Free toes and flows. They're they gonna be up to like eighty four now. Yo, Jake Free locked up. We were, what did he, what locked up for? You know, what? I'm I'm actually disappointed that Free toes and flows the number that they're up to is so low because it's like Kids Bob. I thought Kids Bob was one sixty seven. They're not yeah. even that good. But the thing was because Jake Free he was trash though. Like yeah. his rapping, them shits yeah. was garbage. Ain't nobody asked for all that, bro. At all. You know some though, but like some joints are now up to like volume 167. That's yeah. wild. Like, like booty, booty talk, booty talk booty 238. Talk. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, booty talk was classic. Yeah, man. that's a classic. Yeah. Uh, booty talk West, was West Coast production. Booty bro. talk is the <laughs> booty talk is the porn equivalent of keep your eyes on the prize. <laughs> it really <laughs> stand up by me. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it, Look, was, it <laughs> appears that they're at uh, free toes and flows 35 now. Subpoena? They're only at 35. <laughs> That's right wild. now, Brent, what year? Did they restart? I don't know. I don't know what the yeah, year is. It's supposed to be a reboot. What is, what is the, the Freak Souls and Flow cinematic universe? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go on IMDb. Go on IMDb real quick. 
No, it's it's it's, it's, it's no. Both of them it's, have you have to you have to go yo. to IAFDB. Oh, oh shit. Sure. Uh, uh, Internet Adult Film Database. Okay. Yeah, How do you know this? Nasty is that a yeah. thing? Yeah. 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 Is that a thing? I've it's, been on the internet for like damn near thirty years. I know all this shit. But there's there's a in in game purchases. Yo, nah, but yo, this is Candy Crush. This is wild regional, but. On that same type of tip, Local this, hookups. this shit blew, oh, shit blew my fucking mind. It was a DVD series called Battle for the Bottles and the Bubbles. Okay. So it would be two dudes. What's the bubbles? Exactly. <laughs> oh, no. So, and, it, and it bugged me out because Shorty that was hosting it, I went to high school with. So I'm like, yo, is that fucking Jasmine hosting this shit? But she would find two dudes on the street that was rappers. They would battle, and whoever won the battle... Got to smash that shorty and got a bottle of champagne. But the you crazy know what? shit was, wow. So, Cause shot my nigga Sean Dunn from Hunts Point. The back twister? Yes. Wow. He put me, nigga. Nigga. Oh, and the God. crazy shit is that. Y'all some, yo, y'all, you know what? Y'all all nasty niggas and that's why I'm in this room. And the nasty ah, shit. Ah, shit. The nasty I remember shit, this. The nasty shit oh, was, you know, it was extra nasty because Shorty had a ski mask on. Man. Wow. Yeah. Either a ski mask or a bandana over the face. <laughs> I'm like, yo, and yo, I, oh, God, yo, on the set, like, yo, I was watching this shit one time, and I'm like, yo, is is. Shorty looked like Beanie Siegel, fam. She had the straight backs. Wow. She, had the, she had the straight backs. Wow. She had the straight wow. backs. I was like, in two, oh, two weeks too late. You know what I'm saying? Like, How you say Shorty looked like the Broad Street bully? Yo, fat, bro. yo, wait, 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 wait. Yo, yo, yo. I'm like, Matt, Matt, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Uh, I can you feel it in the air. You know what I'm saying? I remember it. Yo. Yo. Nigga, you Shorty got ran through. Like she years, got uh, ran through like John Street. Yo, do you remember local hookups? <laughs> Yes. There was a thing. It was like a, a. It was like a. It was like a MySpace for like basically the tri-state area called okay. local hookups. Yeah. It was straight for smashing. Yo, dog. Was, that's all it was. And there was this girl named Becky. Okay. And everybody like every day some guy come on and be like yo. Don't fuck with her. She got the wild herb. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And she'd always put on like the wild hot video. Like, what's up, guys? And every night you'd be like, like, it's perfect. <laughs> you, 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 you can, can recon. You're sitting there weighing the options. Like, like, yeah, like, serious, serious, serious or what? <laughs> <laughs> like, how, like how, is that shit curable? That shit and then like, people yeah. put up like stuff. So they'd be like, yo, she got the wild boils and shit. Don't go with it. And oh, they'd wow. be like, she still live on 142nd? <laughs> <laughs> Nasty, just nasty. Yeah, there was some wild shit going on in the Bronx, bro. There was, there was, a, there was an apartment building on Crescent where my man lived, and his building was here. The next building was on the fourth floor. There was like the wild dude who was like clearly a pimp. Okay. Because like you would walk into the crib and it's just mad sheets dividing mm, up dividing the whole apartment. Yeah. 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 And there was, I'm just there was like, this cubicles. Man. Yeah, I'm like, y'all got sex cubicles? cubicles? <laughs> uh, y'all got smash the cubicles? Like. <laughs> And you see, like, you like, it's crazy. And they don't like believe a, in the open floor nah, office. Nah, it's like a twin mattress on the floor. <laughs> Ikea. And you bang your, like, sh bang your shorty out and, like, homie, like, in the next cubicle is, like, fall over and, like, Nigga. rip a sheet down type shit. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, Smashing no. cubicles with smashing pumpkins first name. <laughs> <laughs> the very different 1979. <laughs> 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 nah. Yo, okay, yeah. so, 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 nigga, I got to tell you just as a Southerner what, Hookers at the point did for me. Wow. Yo, my the teacher? Come on. Yo, the teacher? The teacher <laughs> with the glasses. With the Yo, pimps on the stroll, hoes oh, on no. a roll. Uh, I'm like, yo, what is this Donald Goy's novel being narrated to me right now? Remember when your man took Shorty behind the dumpster, fucked her the condom, and the condom broke, broke that off? nigga Pierre, son. Yeah. That nigga Pierre. Yo, say I've been in prison. You've been fucking. I ain't been fucking. <laughs> Yo, it's been so He's long since I watched that shit. <laughs> what is this podcast, Quest Love? <laughs> how long since you this podcast? I have no yo, idea what's going on. Sorry, right the nigga Pierre. So the nigga Pierre was the nigga. He had he had like a he had like his hair or something. But anyway, Pierre was a nigga just came home, and he would go out on the block and fuck with hoes. This is from the award winning documentary. Um, uh, I think this was either Hookers at the Point or this was Pimps and Johns. Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brent okay. Owens, Brent Owens mm -hmm. joint, and he was like he would be talking. He's like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes I just like to come to what really messed up the game was the cry. <laughs> <laughs> you got the women on the cry. Yo, he just, and he would like, so he would be negotiating with the chicks. Yeah. And he would be like, 
Yo, 40, yo, can I have a conversation? Can I have a conversation? <laughs> and I'm watching this shit. Like, this is a movie? It's a documentary. It's a documentary, It's a documentary. This is how filthy the Hunts Point was in the 90s, bro. Like, it was, it was a stroll, and you go out there, and it still be light out. Like, if you go out, like, in the summertime, it's 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and the hoses out there in cat suits with their titties out. Wilding, just walking up and down the strip, fighting like, you, fighting, fighting and shit. you know like, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like cops is just sitting there watching, like the shit. Yo, his reaction crazy. when the condom broke, like he was, yo, like, he was, <laughs> he was like the condom broke. The king's like ah, the condom broke, and the girl, and it's so crazy, it's so fucked up. The girl, you can see her shaking, shaking. she's like, shaking. What? <laughs> she's like, what, <laughs> what, shaking, and, and this like, nigga is like, yeah, I like your know. hat. <laughs> <laughs> What niggas come on? What doc? Man, this was on HBO. HBO. Come yeah. on, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like HBO. This is like what ninety nine. It's like one. Not, yeah. I'm I was sure you was wilding and doing like taxi cab confessions. I was in New York. Right. Nah. That was like real sex uh, era HBO. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was yeah. yeah when it was Sheila Nevin. She was the one that was doing. Uh, yeah. She recently. You know retired. the executive, executive producer. Yeah. Two thousand two. This is two thousand two. I'm sure. I'm sure Layla Hathaway knows all about it. Nigga, Layla Hathaway knows all the real sex. Question: You just gotta rename this podcast "Nasty Nigga Shit." <laughs> like we we might week. have to. We got to do this. I'm surprised that uh, the Pro Tools didn't broke and blow up. Um, uh, now we're gonna do a 20 minute segment on retired porn stars. <laughs> I, um, We've interviewed so some of them here. Cinnamon yeah, Love was an okay player. Cinnamon, Cinnamon Love, love was Cinnamon okay love. player. You know how weird that Talked was. Last week. I remember I was at one of the Brooklyn Bowl events, and I'm yeah. on stage. I was like. I was like, you're cinnamon. Lo-. She's like, yeah, you know, I'm retired now. I was like, nah, you can never retire my mom. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, not as long as I got them files on my computer. I was like, yeah, nah. This shit like Black Mirror, like, nigga. I was obviously. like, nigga, I'm beating my dick to SD. Yo, my man, yo, no, it's wild. Oh! Because, like, my <laughs> nigga, <laughs> my, I got to get double peed in the AVI file. Yo. <laughs> Pulling that shit up in uh in uh DLC media player. <laughs> what you calling on? <laughs> yo, that's a fish with that. Yo, you a nasty, <laughs> you a nasty nigga. I did that shit. Yo, yo, how bad is like, like we had to use VLC? VLC. <laughs> we had to use VLC. That's the worst. That's that's the real, I'm sorry, I'm that, sorry. That, DLC is my default video player. Yo, this is why I hate whenever you send me shit. Yo, send it in VLC form, like fam. I'm like, what is this? You know that shit was crazy. It was reliable with quick time. What is this? Nigga, the shit that was crazy about that shit, you know something was up with that shit because the icon was a safety cone. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is this? Nigga, this shit is hazardous. That shit was With the Santa hat on it during the summer. Oh, you dick to this? Caution. All right, let me go online and see if I can get this file format. Excuse me, this nasty nigga wants to dick be his dick to a quick time video in 2019. Any of y'all got it? No, bro, was was, sick, that was the bro. best one. That was the best me. It was that more was reliable than still quick is. time. Yep. Ladies Windows, and gentlemen, media, all that shit. Let me tell you what the worst part of VLC was it's when they got the one. audio playing, but not the video. Oh, nigga. Oh, yeah. nigga. Oh, Tragedy. Oh. oh, you hear that? <laughs> My dad's not home. I'm like, what is this shit? I, oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> I can't see shit. <laughs> you trying to full screen this shit, see if it works? No, Wait, guys. No. Y'all ever fall asleep and it's still playing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. No, the worst is you wake up and whatever was on your browser before you went to sleep. So you still... like, oh, I'm disgusted. Fam. Yeah, fam. I'm like, Why is there a goat in the seat? Oh, look, Wait, look. has someone ever woke you up or like Dick, turned off the TV? Dick. Or... Oh, my nigga. Yo, I'm, I'm in the living room late night one night. You know what I'm saying? I'm, oh, that's all you guys I'm say. Like, I'm like three plus deep. Everybody sleep. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, yo, you know what? I was like, you know what I'm saying? Let me go. Let me find my mind to go on the shit. Next day, my wife hits me up, wakes me up. Oh. BBC, huh? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. She's like, she's like, you just gonna leave fucking porn on the computer? She's like, we have fucking kids in the house. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, I don't watch porn on a computer. They should just open, bring the laptop over and just hit the space bar, and this should just pop up. All right, up. I was like, oh man. I Yo. was like, no, no, no. What happened is, is that I be on websites downloading yeah, shit, right, and then yeah. other windows pop up. You know what I'm I saying? Other windows and they come back. <laughs> She's like, no, you, you typed in the search term. It says big gaping butt spit in <laughs> recent. Yo, there's nothing worse than doing a DJ gig. <laughs> uh, oh, and then you, you open your laptop. Yo, I've had that shit happen to me once. Give it up for DJ Cuckold. <laughs> Yo, you open your laptop and yeah, some shit comes yeah. up. Yeah, just a wild live Jasmine ad, like yeah, <laughs> mad live, live dumb live, Jasmine. Yo, live Jasmine, live wow. Jasmine. Which I'm naming my first child. The <laughs> crazy shit now is that they throw they throw in the pre rolls before the fucking. Yeah, yeah. hey yeah. guys, what are you doing? Hey. Are you beating up by yourself? Yeah, yeah. what are you doing? Like, Caster.com, yeah, Caster.com, yeah. Caster. yeah. Caster. yeah. show me your titties. And I'm just like, 
Minimize, oh, mute. Minimize, mute, 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 mute. I'm looking for the tab with the little speaker icon. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, which one is yo, it? Yo. One is and, it? Uh, and I'm like staring at the clock, wait, waiting for 30 seconds, 15 ask. seconds to go by so I can reopen the window. This is what I'm going to ask. I'm All texting right. my wife like, yo, you still at shop, right? <laughs> wait, wait. wait. How much time I this is what I'm going to ask. This is what I'm going to ask. Because we're all grown-ass men here. Let's all go. Right. We don't live with our, you know. Yeah, yeah. Pet, or no, let's you go, have your man. wife or whatever. Yeah. I got my wife, too, but she know what? we're married. All right. Volume-wise, how 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 bold, how how bold are you? What's your number? Nigga, I have Seven? a... Seven? Nigga, I have a Chromecast and an 80-inch TV. <laughs> Ask my neighbor. Ask my my dog be looking at me like, yo, my nigga. Oh, you go loud, nigga. I'm going loud. My neighbor be walking by, they be like, ah, 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 put in my ass. I'm like, he's wild. I'm like, what you want, that on MSNBC? Come on, that's wild. You know what it is in here. You take a beef stroking off. The Mac got like, I don't know, what is it, ten, twelve squares? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing like two, three Max. Yeah. If there's people in the crib, if not, I throw the headphone on and just. I gotta hear the dialogue, baby. Headphones are a I must. I live on the I first floor, right by the front door. Up. I need to build so. them. I need to know why this electrician is in this hotel room. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I need to know all that. Okay, <laughs> well, yo, not I need something wrong with the electricity. Not me, bro. I'm, 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 I'm uh, yo. I, I jerk off like it's a slice of pizza, B. Like it's a necessary thing. I gotta eat right now. Like I gotta do this shit quick. I'm quick and dirty. I need time to develop it. I need location. Yo, when we do this episode, like you was here. See, Mary, that's Mary. No, not you. She's not here. It's different. It's Excuse different, me. Different game. Why? Why would this be different from Laia? She who alerted us to the Jill Scott video on Pornhub. Right. Okay. Yes. You're she right. Did. You're yeah. right. You're right. She did. No, she did. Jill Scott does not have a porn video. I was on like, porn. <laughs> wait, yo, yo, about yo, oh my God, the look no, on yeah. both of her faces. Wasn't it her like, like blowing the microphone? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was, was a microphone video. Like, it was yeah. a microphone video. But it yo, made it to Pornhub. Yo, yeah. the nigga, uh, another B. All, all my BX connections coming through. The nigga, um, the porn nigga Johnny Depp. The nigga, <laughs> <laughs> son, yo, the nigga Johnny Depp, son, he the nigga, you seen the nigga, he the nigga with the dreads and the glasses and like the big shiny nose and shit. This whole tap porn? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to decalcify that vagina, ma. A lafia. A lafia. Open that third nah, eye. He, he's like from the Bronx. I was yeah. in the studio with Buckwild. This has been like years ago. I was in the studio with Buckwild. Shout to Buckwild, man. But um, one of his boys was. There and like he was saying, like Johnny, he's like I think he's from the Bronx. Like, yeah. He's a New York dude. He be Johnny Depp. Getting in Johnny that Depp. Up. Remember Tony Ever already? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga with the straight backs. Straight backs. Yeah, straight backs. <laughs> and that nigga always be like, yo, I just got out of jail. I was like, yeah, what the second? We can tell. Fuck. All you gotta do is like fuck people. Why you keep going to jail, nigga? Like, or oh, <laughs> homie, that um, damn, I can never remember the nigga name. Uh, <laughs> shit. You talk, uh, hold up, okay, um, it was all, oh, cause it the wasn't like five is. black boys. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. the nigga, the nigga, uh, the nigga, ah, uh, the nigga with the bandana on that looked like Pop. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end, all he sees, he always be like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the nigga's name, but you know. <laughs> And he's talking, he's talking what cash shit was yeah. he? He's like, you like that dick, huh? Oh, oh, oh no, that big no. ass black dick. That's Wesley Pike. <laughs> Wesley Pike. Wesley Pike. Wesley Pike's oh, oh, suck that motherfucker. He got the suck guns them. tattooed on the side of his, <laughs> of his head. Yeah. He was like, I don't nothing touching me. And then the, this dude, the new dude that always rocked Tim's. That's when he's the smashing. Yeah. <laughs> That's only the rocks Tim's. Yeah. Yo, this nigga will take his jeans off his Tim's and then put the Tim's back on. on. <laughs> you need that? You got knee pads. Remember uh, Laura Fishburne's daughters? Chippy D. Yeah. Chippy D. Oh, and the shade. And the shade. Oh, and the shade. I was like, I was like, does she, have, does she have leopard? Oh, yeah, I remember that. After that, I was like, nah, you're not Lawrence Fishburne anymore. You're back to Larry, nigga. Back to like a high, nigga, high knee hole. Fuck that. Whatever happened to her? She's not still doing movies, is she? Nah. Nothing is worse. Montana. Think about it like this. Think about it. It's like when the Knicks draft somebody. Like, if your first porn is whack, niggas ain't checking for you. It's a rap. Because that's You know what niggas pulling you through your porn? Like, But I'm just saying, like, I figure, you know, some company would have seen all the attention that she was getting. And been like, you know, let's capitalize well, off. Let's kind also of remember the fact that, that she looked like Larry Fishburne. Nick. Like you want to see like Larry that, like that's going to stop every nigga. I but mean, not every nigga. Not but every nigga. Nah, <laughs> it is kind of hard to jack your dick the Furious Styles yeah. there getting back to more <laughs> Yeah, yeah come on, Cowboy Curtis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like you right. Oh. They want us to kill us. Yo, yeah, shout out to yeah, Jimmy Jump got a fatty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit was a little. We got Bob kind of like how in South Central. I'm like, ah, Will Smith. This motherfucker said Cowboy Curtis. I well, think we need to end the show now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he, he was Listen, like, Mom, <laughs> I love you. Mom, 
Wait, let's just say one thing that will re- redeem us <laughs> and keep our jobs. That's all I'm just saying. Oh, shit. Jesus is Lord. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Jesus is Lord. Steve, how you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, 27 yeah. weeks. Yeah, 28 on deck. You no, already yes. know. This is the wildest episode. Yeah. Does this top, uh, what's your name's episode? Heather? Uh, Negative. Oh, uh, you yeah, the top this year, you got the bridge. I mean, uh, Heather, Heather, Jane the Virgin, Jane the Virgin. Oh, Gina Rodriguez. Yeah. Oh, oh, nigga. Yeah, yeah. This time, oh, Gina, Gina Rodriguez. Come on. Heather, 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 Heather was, it was kind of tame. That was kind of tame. Really, oh, it was way too tame. I wasn't Ooh, there. Heather, Heather I missed yeah, Heather Hunter. Yeah. Heather Hunter not want to talk about like old shit, or she just want to talk about like new shit. She wouldn't. They wouldn't. I was not there. We we pussy footed. We yeah. We not talk about fucking. We wanted to respect the ladies. What the thing that wasn't even do. It was just. It was. I'm saying. I was not there. I would have. Did fuck you ask yeah, it was, about the Tupac video? I mean, there was there was also you know the optics of it. Like, and her boyfriend like, was there. That, even if her, that, I didn't even worry about that. And, it was just and plus it was woman. it was also you know the it was also during the the the, the period of. Quest Love Supreme when we were very heavy into Latin Quarter stories. Ooh, and wow. she worked at Latin Ooh, Quarter. So. Oh, cues. Cue, yeah, the, cue the song. Tales from the Latin Quarter. This song's still racist. It's very racist. It sounds like the Tiki Room. Tiki, but like a racist version of it. For like MAGA supporters. Racist Coco. And we're going to build a bit of bit of bit of build that wall. Yo, if this episode. If this episode makes it. Oh, it'll make it. It's it'll make it. Make it. Oh, oh, it'll make it. Not the whole thing. We gonna be all right. Oh, it's, I, it's gonna. Oh. And I still have a job in the industry. I, <laughs> I'll be surprised. Listen, we had John Legend singing about anal lingus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, <laughs> shot. Remember, uh, Plaxico shot himself for that quarters. So. Yes, he did. He did. Right. Yeah, he did. Yeah. 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 It, it was Let's LQ, get him man. on the show. L- LQ. LQ. <laughs> Club LQ. Yes. It's sweatpants. Yes. On, boy, on, on Apple shop, Martini night. Shop, 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 <laughs> my boy Pat, who I mentioned Martini before, night. he was locked up at the same time as Psycho. Psycho wow. had his own microwave. He had a bigger cell than everyone, and he was getting toppy every day from a corrections officer. Wow. wow. That's like, so he's on some good fellas. He's living. He's living. Yeah. He's living. Slicing the garlic extra. Thing. Yeah, just see it next day. It's really about the well pork. It's really about the pork. <laughs> With the all right. Blade. But b- before we go, we've got listeners all over the country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell them something about New York that they should know, because as far as I, as far as this I, whole episode, I, no, like I see you, I see you guys as the unofficial ambassadors for New York, mm-hmm. because I'm not from New York. I lived here for almost 20 years, and I watched the show, and I feel like you guys like pretty much embody the spirit of the fucking city. Yeah. So, what do people that don't live in New York need to know about? What do they need to know about New York? If you're on a main strip in New York, or in the outer boroughs, I'm not gonna, I might even say like Manhattan, like Midtown, because that shit don't count. If you're in the outer boroughs and you're on the main strip, don't veer off into them side blocks. You know what I'm saying? Don't go down that side block, bro. Yes. If you're going down Fordham Road, don't go down Decatur. Don't go down Creston. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because th- you're asking for trouble. Yeah. Because there's going to be six motherfuckers standing in front of the building and you are looking like a whole, a whole meal. meal. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what you're like saying? an entire like, snack. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. Don't do it to yourself. I think for me is that when people say New York is the greatest city in the world, it sounds like hyperbole and it's not true. But the experiences you can have in New York are just so – like even the show, like just the stuff we talked about is just – there are certain experiences you can only have in New yeah, York because you so have real, to have yeah. – New York is that bizarro place where kind of rules don't apply and people, social norms don't really apply. And New York is the type of place you can leave your house at 7 <laughs> on a Friday and you don't come back home until, <laughs> until, until 7 or on Monday. Yeah. 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 Like until on Monday if you get locked up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because it's a booking. booking. Love it. Right. You'll meet people you'll never run into again. <laughs> yeah. But for that night, you guys are bonded. Best friends. You are yes. best friends. Facts. And Yo, I've got so many phone numbers in my phone from people I've met ne- just like at one night at a club somewhere. Yeah. And Fam, I've never spoken many- to them again. Bro. And that's the thing. Like, I've always, as a, being born and raised in New York, you're like, you know, like, you moved here. So you knew what to expect. Like, yeah. I... Yeah, just you popped up here, yeah, and I was, like yeah. never was like, oh, New York. I, was, I mean, I didn't really know what to expect here because I moved here maybe like five or six months after nine eleven, so yeah, shit was changing. Shit was changing up. Really it was quickly. a different New York, mm-hmm. very, you know. So, but New York is New York is a great place. It's just like you have to. You probably have your preconceived notions of it, but just remove those and allow yourself to experience New York. And what I'm saying is like. Our show is kind of an extension of New York. Like, you can watch that in the safety of your house. And it's like, if you can handle us in your living room, you could probably handle New York. <laughs> if you're like, they talk too fast, they're too nah, dirty, too they're filthy, yeah, yeah. 
This ain't the city. Yeah, yeah it is. Because like, this city is just basically like twenty million of us. Do you, you guys know? get Do you guys get pushback from Showtime for being like so nah. New York centric? No. no, not Showtime. They were like, Yo, y'all want to y'all want to put graffiti on the wall? I'm not gonna name the network, but one network was said <laughs> that um, we people in Iowa couldn't understand us. Well, I can I can understand where they're coming from because. Oh, uh, can you? Because no. um. I, like the saying goes, as Iowa goes, so goes the nation. I mean, <laughs> no one has ever said that. No one gives a shit about Iowa. Iowa is not a very popping place like that. But you got to understand, like, Iowa is maybe, like, you know. Just the representative of. Well, like, not necessarily yeah. representative. They just may not. They, every, stuff that happens in New York doesn't get to reach the rest of the company, country right. until much later. Right. You know? So, you know, what's happening in New York may not hit Iowa until maybe, you know. Six months a year from now. So why yeah. should New York be penalized for that? I'm not saying New York should be penalized for That's that. That's the thing. It's just like you can make different types of culture and different type of content for different type of people. Yeah. But the idea that there's a monolithic culture and everyone wants to listen to the same thing at the same time yeah. is a problem with a lot of networks and why they're not bringing new shows to the network. And shout out to Showtime for having the gravitas and the balls for even taking a chance and putting mad money behind us and being like, yo, just do y'all. And even too, and man, no, like... Go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say, like, even if, you know... You not to me just when I watch, watch all stuff to me it's just more so a spirit that comes across yeah. you know what I'm saying so it's not even about it's like I mean I'm a southerner you know what I'm saying true you no know, whatever but I still all the references all the shit it's like it's a it's a lot of class shit it's a lot of yeah. just you know what I mean and it's just like okay. They call it a bodega, but we just called it, you know, we go to the candy lady or whatever. Exactly. Like, it's the same <laughs> and shit. that's what I'm saying. Like, you know what we, mean? we had um, uh, Michael Arsenal on the show. We were interviewing him. Yeah, yeah. Him, that's a homie. And he was talking about, like, I'm talking about, like, Dominican food. And he's mm -hmm. talking about Southern food. And he's talking about, yeah, we eat pig feet and this and that. And I was but like, call oh. it something and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah you eat patika? Yeah, yeah, we, we eat that too. I you think know the best saying? example of it, like, shout out to the homies, uh, Carlos Miller, DC Fly. Oh, DC Fly, yeah, yeah. They have 85 South. Which is basically Jesus and Meryl, the southern version of it. Yeah. And everyone's like, yo, y'all should do a crossover. Y'all should do a crossover. And I'm like, yeah, that's a no-brainer because we all – like, we're making the same podcast. We're just using different words, but it's just like the archetypes are the same. Mm -hmm. The storylines exactly. are the same. Like you said, like you said, like hood. if you peel back that layer of like, yo, Bronx, it's like it, it shit is relatable. Like yeah. Yeah. it's class shit. Like, the hood is the hood. The hood the anywhere you everywhere, go. Everywhere. Everywhere. You could be in the hood in Bosnia. <laughs> And the shit is still the hood. You feel me? And I think that's what people relate to with us. And it's just like, if you can, like, you know, like you might come in like, oh, I don't like New York niggas. Like, it's like that scene in Belly. That. Like that like, scene in Belly where yeah, we go to with the perm oh, yeah, and shit. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. <laughs> and what's, where were they? What was that, Missouri? They was like, he was in, uh, uh, since they was in Nebraska. Yeah. yeah. It's just not about it, food. Exactly. <laughs> but they in Nebraska, but they still. It's the it's same still, shit. It's the same shit. You still in the hood. And that's our whole thing. We never, we're like from New York, but we're never trying to force New York on people. Yeah. Like our whole shit is like, yo, we're two guys from, we're not like, yo. Here's the New York report. Yo, Tim's are on sale. Like, nah. It's like, leather fit is two for ten. <laughs> right. Yo, Pelly Pelly's 100-pound leather jackets on sale now for it's the like, summer. You know, we just say the news. We say whatever we're talking about. And every now and then we'll get, like, an email or a DM from somebody. Like, yo, I didn't, at the beginning, you guys talked too fast. I didn't get all the references. But I stuck through it. I figured out your speech patterns. And I love this show. Yo, it's the, the same thing. thing. It's the same thing that David Simon got with The Wire. Yeah. For Baltimore. Where it's just, it's just one of those shows where... You just got to just jump in. It doesn't, it just puts you dead in the middle of yeah. it. And you figure out, if yeah. you stick with it, you figure out what it is. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's what it is. Yeah, and you get it. It reminds me of uh, Outcast albums. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. growing up in the yeah. Bronx, I was just Yeah, like, I know y'all was, <laughs> was. I was like, Southern what? Nigga, we was on that shit. <laughs> and like Southern playlist to Cadillac Funky Music. I was like, yo, <laughs> this shit is crazy. This, are they using live instruments? This shit is so good. And then, like, Equemini and all that. Yeah, yeah. And, I like, growing up, in, like, I was to tell people in the Bronx, I was like, yo, Outkast got some shit here. And, like, people were just like, them niggas from Atlanta, I can't fuck with them. They don't they don't know about real shit. Bro, when I was hood. Not, when I was and I'm like, yo, the hood in the Bronx and apparently the hood in Atlanta is the same, same shit. They're talking yeah. about the same Dog. shit. Mob Deep is talking about the same shit. M.O.P. is talking about. Yeah. Yeah. The chance. Fam, the Hot Boys came out, you know what I'm saying? BG, all, Juvenile, all of them. And I'm in high school in the Bronx in d Clan High School, and niggas are bumping the hot boys. And niggas are bumping 400 degrees. Yes. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, yo, the hood is the hood, man. So basically what we're saying is nasty niggas is universal. That's right. Universal, <laughs> nigga. Uh, uh, listen. Listen. You know what I'm saying? And, That's today's mathematics. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Neuro. Uh, I'm uh, Bill. Uh, Sugar yes, Steve. Sir. Boss Bill. Uh, my ear, you Mr. Yeah. Classic, man. Oh my god, please don't deserve it. 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 O
Questlove Supreme, produced by Pandora. Tonight.